And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast, man. We're back from Vegas, man, with a Yo. full house. Let's get into it. Let's go. Nobody cares, bro. Get out. Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. All right. And we are back. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. We're joined with a bunch of lovely ladies. We got a full panel. It's okay, ladies. You guys just stare at the screen now. Uh, so quick announcement we're getting into the show. As you guys know, we just came back from Vegas. So rumble.com slash Fresh Fit, man. Check us out over there. All the podcasts that we did while we are in Vegas, I know some of you guys asked. They're going to be up uh, this week. And then uh, I think Graham Steph will release the interview that we did with him. Probably they got their backlog. They got like 10 plus, 15 today plus today we videos. released Ryan Pineda. Yes, Ryan Pineda came out today, guys. We talked about real estate, making money, house flipping, you know, pretty much creating wealth. So uh, we got you guys. And then Wednesday, we're going to drop the Dan Bilzerian interview, which was fucking lit, talking about, um, you know, using Instagram, uh, social media, uh, the power of setting things up, social circle, uh, he told poker, a, how he made 50 plus million. A bunch of poker. stories about his life and like other girls. Yeah. To his crib. It was hilarious. Man. Yeah, it was. It was great stuff, man. <laughs> so that was a great interview. And I admired. I heard you Frank Castle with uh, a few girls in Vegas. Yeah, man. I didn't Vegas want Castle. to. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I didn't want to. But the, that girl was being insufferable. And I found out after the fact she had came there just to go and talk shit about our boy, Mike Rashid. That's the only reason she came. Wow. Found out after the fact. So glad we got rid of her. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. So rumble.com slash fresh fit because uh, kicking girls off podcast isn't politically correct in 2023. So go ahead and check us out over there in case we do get canceled off YouTube. Also, freshfit.locals.com, guys. All the behind the scenes content. Uh, live yeah. streaming behind the scenes. We just had a pre-stream we just did earlier. So go check it out. Nice. And then and if you want to see the biggest Frank Castle is on there as well. Bam. All cool. right. Uh, also, guys, check us out on uh, freshfitpodcaststore.com. Uh, get the merch. You know, Chris's bum shirt is live right now yep. in stores. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the Punisher shirts are back up. Go ahead and get the merch over there. Also, guys, check us out on our other YouTube channels called Fresh Fit Clips. As you guys know, we post, uh, what, six clips, 10 shorts per day. Bro, we'll point out a lot of content, content for y'all, man. man. That's a whole other channel. Go subscribe to it. Help us hit one million on that one. We got one mil already on YouTube uh, for the main channel. We want to go ahead and hit one million on the clip channel as well. It's almost at 50 million views, but 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the goddamn channel. Right. So subscribe so we can hit. One million. Actually, shout out to Chris for pulling it up right now. Here it is, guys. It's a completely different channel. Go subscribe. We're at 515k subscribers, so we're Walk over halfway there. Clip going, going viral, yeah, bro. It's going viral. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys. Oh, also, just see how you guys have been asking the entertain interviews. We put them. We're putting them on Rumble, Rumble. guys, because YouTube is lame. And they took down a couple, one of our Andrew Tate videos. No, actually, they took down two or three of our Andrew Tate videos, and they ate a bunch of others, man. Yeah. So if you guys want to see the interviews that we did with Andrew Tate, some of the best interviews, by the way, uh, you got to go to Rumble to go check them out. I just uploaded the first one that we did with him back in 2021, man. Yeah. Uh, probably one of the best interviews. Go check it out. Uh, and then also, Fresh, your vlog. And guys, if you want to see our vlog tra uh, travels for like Vegas, Dubai, they're all on my vlog channel. Go check it out. Uh, 200 count away as well. And once again, guys, I made a network called CEO Network as well. You can join in there, become a better man, become successful, learn about networking, join our group. Let's go to the top, baby. Uh, and then for me, guys, go check out my other YouTube channel. It's called Feta 1811 on there. Cases. The last one I did was the Trump indictment that's coming out of the state of New York. We went over all the other uh, you know, criminal investigations that are happening, and we broke down the current case that he's facing with um, basically falsifying business records, which is what the state of New York is trying to go after him. Four, we broke down the person that, you know, caused this issue, Stormy Daniels, former porn star, whatever it may be. So we go into detail timestamps are there. Go check it out. Uh, I like Trump, so fuck the haters. So, yeah. Isn't it crazy oh, yes. how one woman could destroy your whole kingdom, bro? Bro, it's crazy, That bro. shit's crazy, dog. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. She, she cloud chased her too, bro. <sighs> she, she had sex with him back in, like, 2006, and she's trying to still make money off that shit now, man. That's like scary. Anyway, get the book, guys. Yeah, get the book. Uh, Why Women Deserve Less, guys. It's out right now. Okay, I got it in hardcover <laughs> and in uh, soft. And also, we got it on Audible as well. <laughs> Thanks, bro. She went like, hell no. <laughs> and we also got it. Uh, Audible coming very soon, guys. We have to make the final edits on it. So, you know, Audible is kind of lame about that. They take like 10 days after you make an edit. So we had to go back and forth with them. But it should be out very soon. Kindle is up. 
uh, for only 10 bucks. Or if you want to get hardcover for about, I think, $29.99, and then the, uh, the soft cover is 20 bucks. So, yeah, man, go ahead and get the book, man. Put it in your desk somewhere and have the girls get mad when they come over. Uh, <laughs> and then Chris. Yes, uh, ladies, get me Nancy Poxon on IG. Uh, ladies, I only have one account. It's uh, pinned down below. So make sure you send me a DM there. Please stop sending me <laughs> fucking paragraphs. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to see your life story. Stop doing that shit. It's not going to happen, all right? Send me uh, some photos, uh, where you're from, and that's about it. And let's make it happen, ladies. And you should be getting verified soon. <laughs> Anyhow, <Of course. laughs> we're from Vegas. Yeah. We're back in Miami. So ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status. And if you want to, of course, your body count. We'll start on the couch. <laughs> Bam. Welcome back. Hi, glad to be back. Um, my name is Ava. I'm 22 years old. I'm a student. Um, Where are you from? Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Jacksonville. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> and then you said you're an uh, esthetician? Yes, I'm an esthetician. Um, okay. I do cosmetic injections. I'm a massage therapist. And I do tube trims as well. So okay. if you're in Miami, get at me. <laughs> All right. So uh, what's your highest education level completed? Is it esthetician school? No, I'm still in nursing school. So I get my BSN Wait, in nurse? October. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why that? And then what's your current uh, relationship status? I'm single. All right. And she belongs to the screen. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five nine. You know I'm tall. She's pretty tall, man. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Okay. That's, uh... Cool. What about you? Hey, I'm Rad. Okay. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I'm Rad. I'm 23. Conrad. Okay. Rad, just Rad. Okay, okay. Cool. What do you do for work? <laughs> um, I'm an artist and I'm a blackjack dealer. Okay. Cool. Uh, when you say artist, are we talking music, uh, painting, yeah, drawing? Music. music. Okay. You can rap? No. Oh. <laughs> sing? <laughs> yeah, I can sing. I can make beats. I write. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're a music artist. And uh, what's your highest education level completed? A bachelor's degree. From where? UCF. Okay, cool. Um, and what'd you major in? Philosophy and music. Uh, awesome. Useless degrees. Oh, thank you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and then what's your relationship status? Uh, single. All right, cool. So you, you, you said you're what, 23? Yeah. So you literally just graduated then, yeah. like last year. All right, yeah. cool. What about you? Hi. My name, name is Charnelis. I am from, well, I am from Puerto Rico, but I live in Sebastian, Florida. Char, Charnelis, you said? Charnelis, yes. Okay. How old are you? I am 35. I can't even say that word. Huh? <laughs> okay, so you said you're from Orlando? No, I am from Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian, Florida. Mm -hmm. Where's that? It's up, up north, right? Up north, Vero. Like, Mel is it Central Florida? No, Vero Beach. It's south, no, it's east. It's south Melbourne. Okay, okay. Melbourne. It's like three hours from here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so you're from Sebastian, Florida. Uh, what's your highest education level completed? A uh, bachelor's degree from Penn State University. <laughs> okay, Penn State. All right, what you major in? Criminal justice. Oh, okay. That's what I majored in too. Another year. So don't feel bad. Uh, <laughs> I majored in that too. All right. And then what's your relationship status? I'm single. All right. Cool. Do you clean houses? No, I work for the postal oh. service. Cool. Wow. I don't know why it's in my head. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm just saying, bro. Okay. And then you said you, you work for the postal service? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Who's, mo whose mom's is this? Okay. All right. Yeah. What about you? Auntie. What's up? My name is Kat. I'm from New York, from the Bronx. BX, yeah, New York. I'm 23. Okay. And, and you said you're from uh, the Bronx in New York? Yeah, from the Bronx. Okay. Bronx. What do you do for work? Me, I'm an artist, so okay. a songwriter, uh, design. I'm in school. I rob and shit. And yeah. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and you said you're in, currently in college right now? Yeah, I did two and a half years, and I'm studying interior design. Want it. So you're pursuing design. your bachelor's degree mm -hmm. in interior design. Yep. Okay. And then what's your status? Single. Okay. And and she's wearing Tim's in the studio right now. This yeah, is I'm definitely shit. wearing Tim's. Stepping over. Yo, by the way, you tattooed your pinky finger. That. Is that tattoo on your pinky finger? Me? Yeah, yeah it's a tattoo on my pinky finger. God, damn, you're not playing with them. Yeah, okay. you already know the vibes. All right, must have hurt. Cool. What about you? What about it you? Definitely did hurt. Uh, yeah. my name's Christina. I'm 27 from Indianapolis, Indiana. And I'm a lash tech. Okay. Um, what's your highest education level completed? Uh, cosmetology school. Okay. And then relationship status? Single. Okay. Well, we could tell by earlier twerking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. We can are tell. you? Uh, do you live in Miami now? Or are you just visiting? No, I'm just here for spring break. Just here for spring. Okay. Uh, what about you? Are you streets. just here visiting, or are you actually? Uh, do you live here now? Who? New York, Bronx. 
What you said? Yeah, are you? <laughs> My fault. I'm like looking at the. I'm yeah, are, are you? Are you visiting? Or are you here on? Uh, nah, I live too? over here now. I live over you here, live here too. Break. And then, uh, Miss Sebastian Florida, are you from here? Are you? Or do you live here now? Or are you from? Are you just visiting? I live in Sebastian. I just came here for the podcast. Okay, cool. And then we have Fort Lauderdale, oh, that, Jacksonville. Is that fall? Are you? Are y'all yeah, still? Do you guys live in Miami now? Or are you guys in just visiting? I live here in three years now. Oh, you live here? Okay. What about you? You live here now too? Okay, cool. But you're originally from there. All right. And then uh, going back to. Uh, uh, Christina, uh, so single, you said single, right? Yes. All right, cool. And the cosmetology school is the highest, Indianapolis. All right, cool. What about you? Um, I'm Priscilla. Okay. Um, How old are you? I, I am 26. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Hollywood, Florida. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you do for work? Um, right now I'm a waitress. Okay. And then, uh, highest education level completed? I'm an esthetician. Okay. So you got like your cosmetology license or esthetician license? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what's your relationship status? Single. All right. What about you? I, my name's Kiera and I'm 21. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from New York. The city or? No, I'm from the Bronx. Oh, shit. All right. Did you come with her? I got it. <laughs> oh, no. no. Okay. I both. Okay. Do you live here now or are you just visiting? No, I'm just visiting. Just visiting? Spring yeah. break? Mm-hmm. Okay. Park Chester. <laughs> what do you do for work? Um, I do Airbnb. Okay. Do you man do you like own the Airbnb or do you just like find people to um I'm working on that right now, but for right now I just You manage use, it yeah. for someone else. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I use like other people's properties and rent it out on That's Airbnb. what I mean. Subleasing yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, okay. you you manage it where you you find people to come in and use it and yeah. you get a cut of whoever whatever the okay. Uh and then uh highest education level completed? Um uh, I'm in school right now. Okay. You're pursuing your bachelor's or what? Um, yes. No, my doctor's. <laughs> Yo, I'll show you my doctor's. Book. I want to be a doctor. I'm studying medicine right now. Okay, so do you do you have your bachelor's degree yet? You're only 21, so. Yeah, I'm, I don't have it yet. You don't have it yet, but you're trying to, but you're, what are you majoring in then? Are you majoring in bio, biology or pre-med or? No, um, I'm a, it's a. <laughs> I mean, it's only what you're spending a bunch of your time in. I would think you would know. Oh remember. my goodness. Uh... Well, I do online school, so I don't really, I just do it whenever I kind of feel like it. Oh, so you do it part time? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, okay, oh, yeah. okay. So you're in school. What, what are you majoring in right now then? Medicine. Pre med? Yes. Okay. You had to bribe or something? Like, goddamn, okay. <laughs> Forgot. All right. And then what's your relationship status? Single. All right. That's funny. If she don't know what she's learning, how's she going to treat you properly? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn. Uh, I think I'm going to school for this. Yeah, I think this needle goes right here. Uh, okay, I think this needle goes right here. Okay, so. okay. Just, just take two pills of this. Two pills of this. Uh, 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 You'll be okay, uh, B. All right. What about you? My name is Sophia. Um, I'm Boricua, so I'm from Puerto Rico. How old are you? 20. Okay. And are you at, where did you like go to high school? I went to high school in Dallas, Texas. All right. So are you from, I would say you're from Dallas then? Yeah, I'm from Dallas. Okay. And then, uh, what do you do for work? OnlyFans. No, Ooh. of course. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I used to work in a warehouse. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, and then what's your highest education level completed? High school. Okay. And then, what's your current status? Like, what you mean current status? Like, do you have a man, situation, oh, sugar um, daddy? Yeah, Shay, I got a man. Okay. How long have you been in a relationship? Um, high school sweetheart, so five years. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So y'all y'all met when you were fifteen. Um. Yes. Okay. Cool. What does he do? Um. <laughs> he does like online <laughs> shit. Like. You know what that means? Scammer. Like, scammer. Like, scammer. Shit. <laughs> that part. You're scamming the shit. Swipe. Swipe. Oh. You know how to know. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Allegedly. Swipe or no swiping. Allegedly. Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> she know how to pick them. Allegedly. Swipe or no swiping. Fantastic. Okay. No, no. What about you? Scandemic. Hello, my name's Dessa. I'm 27. I'm Mississippi made, Indiana raised. So I got to give a little bit of both because you're going to hey, hear that. You're going to hear the Southern hospitality. <laughs> I'm going to get shit for it. So I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, what do you do for it? I drive a dump truck. Ooh, I have wow. a class okay. B CDL That's Queen B. They gave me a CDL to haul this ass around, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I have a high school diploma. I've done trade school, no college, not a nerd. You have your CDL though, right? Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah so trade school. Me, I'm put that in there for education. So high school formally, and then you also have a CDL. Class B, correct. Okay. And then uh relationship status? Single. Okay. 
<laughs> Are you the only female that does that? No, there's actually an upcoming root of the men industry. You guys think you just rule? We're yeah. kind of sneaking up in there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. She's a woman doing that. Yeah. 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 Shout out right. to Joe Bates, who does hey. not listen to YouTube at all. I'll teach okay. him this link later, guys. My dad is who raised me, so hillbilly made. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> you, said, you said single, right? Yes. Okay. And, and dump truck. Okay, cool. How long, How long have you been doing that for? How long have you been doing that for? Uh, I've only been driving for about a year and a half. I plan on buying my own truck this year. I actually have an OnlyFans. Follow me at T H T A Z Z. That ass is going to buy me. Oh, oh, makes sense. Hey, actually, okay. the homegrown so, made me my OnlyFans. I just made it for a year. I have not had this in a while. Yeah, we came together. Wait. On spring break? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Red flag, bro. They want us together. It's double trouble. truck. Get it? Hey, I already said that. <laughs> I will dump you in the dump truck. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, baby. Wait, okay. where is it? I don't see nothing. <laughs> oh, you, am, I, am I allowed to stand up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I'm oh, all that ass. Well, yes, 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 girl. Yes, yes. 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 Move over a little. She also got the yeah. knees. <laughs> I'm wearing a wild pack. Back I'm making it easy, okay? <laughs> My spandex <laughs> aren't on. Okay. Move <laughs> back and park that truck, please. Okay. I'm going to park right now. What about you? Okay. What's your name? Hi, everybody. My name is Caro del Rio. I am oh. from Bogota, Colombia. Okay. Caro, what? what? Say Caro, one more time. Caro, Caro del Rio. C A R O D E L R I O. Roll your R. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spanish What's your, name. And then, uh, how old are you? 32. Okay. And you said you're from Bogota? Bogota, yeah. Colombia. Okay. And uh, what do you do for work? I do modeling, I do runways. Okay. I am top model. Okay. I She's have my <laughs> online shop. Okay. Have you I sell been in Vogue? clothes and, and shoes from Colombia here. Nice. Have you been in Vogue? No yet, okay. but I did yeah, Miami Swing Week, New York Fashion know. Week, and LA Fashion Week. Nice. I am top model. Okay. Real okay. model, baby. Yes. Real model. Yes. 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 What's the drug say? It's not the same. She's okay, close. Right. She's close. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what's, your, uh, what's your highest education level completed? I have a bachelor degree in international business. Nice. Okay. Uh, what school? In Colombia. Okay. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, that means it's not worth shit. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. What's your uh, and then what's your status? Single. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. What about you? Um, I'm Chelsea. I'm 31 years old. You said Chelsea? Hey, yeah. Yes, I'm okay. Chelsea. Okay. Okay. 31? 31. Okay, where yeah, are you I from? Yeah, I get it, I get it. Where are you from? Hollywood, Florida. Okay. All right, did you come with uh, Wilson? No, I did not, oh, okay. but she my people's now, though. Okay. 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 <laughs> you plugged in. Okay. Right. <laughs> and then, uh, what do you do for work? I'm a supply chain analyst for a major telecommunications company, and I'm also a pole fitness instructor, and okay. I just happen to see a pole here, you know, okay. coincidence. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And then uh, what is your highest education level completed? Bachelor's degree. In? Business management. Okay. Where'd you get it from? FIU, right down here. Ooh. Okay. And then what's your relationship status? I'm in a relationship. Cool. How long? About a year and a half. Okay. Nice. Oh, How'd you guys meet? Long story. Long Very story? long story. Tinder? <laughs> nah. Black.com? Online, in person? <laughs> it was in person. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I ain't drinking up Hennessy yet. I'll tell you the story like Got later it. on in the night. Got it. All right. <laughs> uh, what about you? What's your name? Welcome back. What's up? My name's Hennessy. I'm an oh, artist. Oh, wow. I rap that was Hennessey. literally. Hennessy. <laughs> 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 you can't make this up. Okay. All right. Uh, is that your actual government name or just your nickname? That's my real name. Oh, Hennessy. Oh, where's, okay. where's academics, man? Yeah. Where is he when you need him? For real. Okay. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Dade, North Miami. Okay. Oh, okay. North Miami. And then uh, wh what do you do for work? I hustle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey, I'm 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 Let me guess. Let me guess. You're an entrepreneur too? Only. Hustle only. Hustle only. She can vouch. That's my cousin. Facts. 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 Hustle only. Period. Hustles only. No jobs. What, okay. What are, what are the... Uh, what is that involved? Tell us the, yeah, tell us the legal ones that you are participating. <laughs> the legal, legal ones. Yes. Ain't no legals. No, it's, a <laughs> it's a list. It's a, it's a list I ain't get to yet. Okay. So, would you call yourself an entrepreneur? Yes, I went to school for business. Nice. Can you spell it? Yeah. Go ahead. B U I. No, no, no. <laughs> entrepreneur. Can you spell it? Probably not. I have dyslexia. 
Bruh. Okay. Give me this shit up. So uh, you are a, I'm putting your hustler with quotes. Uh, okay. And then what's your highest education level completed? The streets. I dropped. <laughs> No, I dropped out of college because you don't need college for business. Did you get your Did you get your associate's degree or no? No, I didn't. I didn't legally graduate because I was supposed to go to the externship and never went. Externship? Yes. But you graduated high school, right? You graduated high school? No, I dropped out of high school. Oh shit! But I went to college. (laughs) Because it's like um. It's mixed with high school. Oh, I get it. DeVry. But I didn't finish the high school. <laughs> I didn't finish the high school. I just did the college. I think this is the first. I'm going to put middle school as the highest completed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all right. Okay. Type uh, shit. Will you Type ask shit. Some, uh, Chris? No, I'll just pick it up. But yeah, I do music. So oh, follow DeVry. me on Instagram, Hennessy All right. So you're a musician as well as hustler. Type shit. Okay. And then what's your relationship status? Entanglement. Spice So it gets complicated, I guess. That's a good one. Situationship. Hold on. Are we going to bypass what you said earlier? (laughs) Externship? (laughs) (laughs) We just started. Okay, go (laughs) ahead. Yo, we already got 10,000 of y'all watching. Plus, yo, I need you guys to go ahead. We got 10,000 on YouTube. I don't know what on Rumble. Probably another 5 or 10K over there. Let's check. So, guys, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, Okay. Who's up next? Uh, Go ahead. Hi, my name is Jen, and I'm from Stewart, Florida, but I'm originally from New Jersey. Okay. How long have you been in Stewart? Um, probably since COVID started, so three years. Okay, so I'd consider you from NJ for real then. Yeah. What part of New Jersey are you from? From It's called Kearney, New Jersey, so it's by, like, Newark. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your, so you're, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay. What do you do for work? I just had a baby two months ago, Aww. so okay. I've been sticking out, home, home up. but I'm pursuing my insurance license for okay. life insurance. Cool. cool. But right now you're a stay-at-home mom? Yes. Cool. Don't let nobody shame you on that. <laughs> Definitely one of the, not. One of the most important I'm having jobs. the best time of my life with my son. Okay. One of the best Where's jobs. Where's the dad? Where's the dad? Yeah. I'm engaged. Oh! oh. oh. Here he is! Here he is! Snapback. Snap back. He's an awesome okay. Yeah, snapback. Snap Catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's your highest education level completed? I graduated high school, okay. and that's it. And then, uh, what's and you said you're engaged, so that's your status. How long have you been engaged for? Um, we've been engaged since December. Okay. How oh, long okay. you guys been together prior to that? Two years. Okay. How'd you guys meet? We met at a bowling alley. Okay. I was like drunk as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. Let me guess. He bowled you over. No, I was oh. like, you're cute as fuck. <laughs> yeah, traditional way. Traditional <laughs> way. Okay. That's good. Don't ever let anybody try to shame you for being a stay-at-home mom. We need more of that. All right, what about you? Okay, so um, my government name is Vivian. Okay. But every co- everybody calls me Vivi. How like old my you? family, everybody calls me Star, too. Thinking about Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> Vivian! Vivian! Come exactly. All right, well, uh, how old are you? Technically, Prince said that we were only born one time. So I'm only one, like technically, because I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? So, but if you want to be like chronological and all that, yes, like, please. The age that you've been, I've on, been this on this earth. earth for 31 years. Okay, fantastic. Her. It's amazing how girls have a whole creative ways to describe their age once they pass 30. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> 30 wonderful sis. I'm right here with you. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Two okay. six and. Well, I'm a mother, that's a job all in itself. Okay. Yes. Stay at home mom or um yeah. I okay. do stay at home. Right. I work from home, I stay at home, I model too though, and I act. So sometimes I gotta step outside. How do you do all that and still be a mom? It's hard. Can it's imagine. a challenge. I can imagine that. You said yeah. you work from home. Like, what do you do when you work from home? Like, are you um I had a Medicare job where I was helping people with old people get their Medicare and stuff. Okay. From the crib, it was real easy. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, what's your highest education level completed? So I'm a college dropout. I did go to college for five years, but it just wasn't for me. School wasn't for me. Oh, so you, you made it through five years. You didn't get. You didn't finish. Mm-mm. ECU, East uh, Carolina. Did you like? Were you like pursuing some kind of degree that took longer than than five years? Yeah, I was actually pursuing psychology, and math didn't sit well with me. Mm. Statistics and all that. So I oh, tried to change years. it, and by the time I changed it, it mm. added you me an extra year. In. So yeah, I was did like, you, you know what? This did you get it. into one of those accelerator programs that would give you like your master's and your bachelor's in one shot? No, I didn't know that existed. Okay, because normally, okay, because f- four years, cool. you should get your bachelor's. So you were in you five. I'm so. like, you would think so, but you know, okay. America doesn't work like that. So. <laughs> Maybe you didn't do full. Were you, were you like going back and forth between full time and part time? Is that why? 
Um, no. I just changed my major. So when I changed my major, I had to change oh, the courses okay. I was taking. So the courses nah. I was So you taking... came in. All right, you came in on another major, then switched it midway, and that yes. set you back. No, I switched it at the end because I was like, this statistics, this math isn't working. Nah, okay. so. don't lie. All right. I switched you it know what you was doing? You're pursuing the football team. That's what you was doing. <laughs> yeah, don't lie. I don't know about that. <laughs> just saying. Okay. I, would, I wouldn't say so. Okay, so <laughs> high school is what you completed. And then what's your relationship status? I am single, okay. but I'm working on a new ting. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right. Single by choice, let me guess. Single and I'll put in parentheses, mm -hmm. ting coming. All right, cool. Ting coming, yes. yes. Right. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Ting on the way. Okay. All right. Uh, here we all right, go. so, uh, guys, we already got 11,000 plus y'all on here, so do me a favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'll read some of these chats, and then we'll get into the first question. Uh, Wyatt goes, what physical feature on a man is the most attractive to you, forms, big hands, etc.? You know what? We'll run around the table real fast on this one. We'll start on the couch. Uh, could be a smile. Yeah, a give us one uh, physical feature on a man that is the most attractive to you. Shoot. Mm. I don't know well, hold on. We'll start with yeah. There you go. Yes. I would probably say his smile. Like okay. So with <laughs> teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. Oh. Wait. What you said? Teeth as well. Yeah. Okay. What about you? His eyes. Okay. What about you? Teeth. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Next. Oh, um, I got a weird thing for hands. <laughs> okay, hands. Wait, manicured hands, just like regular hands, big no, hands. No, like um, Sexy maybe hands. not necessarily like big, but like I like the fingernails to be nice. I don't want dirty fingers. Oh, nasty. Okay, are we talking manicured where they're shiny, or are we just talking about they just no, need to be they cooked? don't have to be manicured. I mean, naturally clean and cut is perfect. Okay. She doesn't want man hands. Okay, so just clean fingernails. Yeah. Okay, all right. That is that's so you true. can't be a mechanic, basically. No, no, no calluses. Can't touch me. <laughs> okay, okay. What about you? For me, it's the eyes. Eyes, okay. Um, they say that um when you grow old and you grow old with the person, the eyes okay is what keeps you in. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So we're talking about black, eyes, brown, yellow, green. What what type eyes? Have eyes. If you fall in love with the eyes, it's there. What do my eyes say? <laughs> okay, moving on, moving Crickets. on. Okay. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> um, the smile. All right. Cool. What about you? For me, it's a guy's back. I don't know why. <laughs> I okay. mean, okay, look, but if they work out. All right. So you, you want a V taper. You want the V. You want a V taper. Okay. Mm, yeah. Does does your man have that? Yeah. Okay. okay. Just making sure. Um, yeah, I'm like honestly you? biased. I'm gonna say height. But mm. okay. That's because I'm tall. How tall? Yeah, anything over 5'10 is great, but you get me with the 5'8 and mm -hmm. under, and I can't hang with you. Six foot and up. Yeah, right. see, you're just doing too much. Like, no. you got, oh no, mm -hmm. it's okay. Six, I'm gonna go up? for the six, six, five, six foot and up. You two, six foot and up. Six foot and up. How tall are you? Five eight and a half. Okay, how tall are you? I'm five eight. Okay, okay, pretty tall. Uh, what about you? What is the number one thing for you? His eyes, because eyes. I can see their soul. Okay, mm -hmm. soul. Okay. What about you? Height. Height. Is that why you picked your guy? Was one of the reasons. Yeah. <laughs> How tall is your guy? Six eight. Oh, oh he's a titan. Oh, he's a titan. <laughs> she wants to climb that tree. Oh, I love climbing trees. <laughs> she trying to climb that tree. Okay. Is that what you do? Fitness. Yeah, one oh, of the reasons is it's helpful climbing it. up that pole. Okay. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> the lips for sure. Okay. Lips. You got to be able to go down. Oh, oh my god. god. Definitely the eyes. Eyes. Is that what drew you to your guy? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even though you're a drunk, Wait. okay. <laughs> she was in two of them. What type of eyes? I like my man's eyes. They're light brown. Oh. Is he black? No. Is he white? <laughs> yeah. Hispanic? No white. No, he's he's white. Cool. All right. Yeah. What about you? Um, I guess I would say skin. Like, if you crusty and dusty, you can't come near me. Okay. No so. crocodile skin. All right. A lot of girls said teeth. Uh, are we talking veneers? Or are we talking like regular? <laughs> nah, does really? Does veneers matter? Yeah, does, does veneers somebody? matter? Does they matter? Have veneers? No, no, if they have big ass veneers, that shit is unattractive in anybody. Right. Really? Like, yeah. In reality, anybody who's like fly is attractive. Okay, so veneers are cool, but they just can't be like too like chompers, like chompers. Yeah, like, 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 right. like, right. Not some people yeah. that be would having that, would like tart. Would that be tart. for all the other girls that said teeth too? Yeah. 
in between okay. their veneers. Like, right. we having tart in between their veneers. That is not a lie. I really be in people's mouth <sighs> watching Sorry, they, like, not even to be all in people's personal business, but I just be like, ew, is that tart in your mouth? Did you brush the bottom of your teeth today? Okay. Uh, Zarino goes, girls, rank these characteristics in the men you're dating from the most important to the least important looks. How good he is at bed. Three, how much money he has. His charisma slash humor. Mm-hmm. We can do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to do that? What? How about this? Because uh, I know that one is going to be... We'll bring it up. Yeah, keep keep that. Keep yeah. that. Because I, I know we're probably going to hit that. Yeah. Uh, Zarino, uh, and then guys, Chris, call it. Because we already uh, got almost 12,000 watching. 20. All right, guys, from this point forward, 20 and up, uh, we're going to read these chests that came through before because yeah. y'all got them in, but we're going to go 20 and up, and then we're probably going to have to upgrade after that, so get them in now while you can. Girls, do you have any regret about the things you've done in your past relationships or ending a relationship that could have gone further? Oh, yeah. How about this? Always. I'll start here uh, and then work our way. Uh, <laughs> have you ever let a good one away that you regret? Mm. Hell no. Anybody no? that's away from me, they away from me because they weren't shit, and I was moving on and doing better. Damn. I'm not surprised by that answer. Boom. Okay. What about you? Have you ever let a good one get away? No. No? Okay. What about you? Rejection is redirection. Okay. Yes. Yes. Period. Okay. Uh, did they reject you or did you reject them? They rejected me. Why? Oh. Well, you a queen, right? Why? <laughs> yeah, why'd they reject you? Because they had a past. And Criminal loyalty pass. played a part. Criminal pass. There, Joe. What kind of pass can we be a They had a, a, an, an, a, sit, a relationship for like years so like i oh. can't compete with that a wife so he picked her he picked her over you yeah a okay. wife all right it's not common that guys reject girls so that's why it's always very interesting to see why it's not common people. not at all <laughs> men rarely if ever break, initiate breakups statistically speaking mm. uh girls initiate most nah, he didn't initiate the breakup i broke up with him because he cheated, right? He got tired of yeah, shit. he cheated on me with the girl. But I mean, how did um, he? You said he that he rejected re- you, which means because he lied to both of us, and we, he was dating both of us. So did he really reject you? Yeah, I in reject- a way, in a way, in a way, he rejected me because like, he could have been like faithful. He could have yeah. been faithful and real. It could have been one. And if he was two. real, then I wouldn't have been a homewrecker. What? What? So wow. I think you- his actions caused her to say, "You know what? When he's cheating, he's." Re- Rejecting me basically is that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay, well, that's rejection. You think you think a man cheating is rejection? Of course, <gasps> that's rejection. I would disagree, uh, very strongly, but we'll continue on with the show. Uh, um, okay, but y'all did a peep. She said she was a homebreaker, so basically, the person her, her her man basically was dating a girl already and then he started dating her, right? Yeah, no, he lied, he, he lied so. that she he was in the picture, he said that she's not a single. So, no, yeah, not I'm not a homebreaker, but that's what she's saying, that she feels rejected because he lied about being in a relationship and got in a relationship with her mm-hmm. exactly. and not being honest. Mm-hmm. And then boom, boom. No, I get that, but I'm saying that, I mean, <laughs> how about this? I'll ask you a better question. Do you think, would you agree with the statement that men are only as faithful as their options? No. You don't agree with that? <laughs> no. So you've only been cheated on once? <laughs> no, I've been cheated on my whole life. Right. Oh my god. So would it be fair to say that my statement holds true? Then? I swear to god. Would it be fair to say that the statement holds true if you've been cheated on by every guy that you've been with? Not every guy. I'm not I'm not gonna say that. I'm but an overwhelming majority. Most of them from Miami are just naturally cheaters at my age, yes. Interesting. A lot of okay. cheaters. All right. Uh we'll continue on. Uh what about uh you going back to the original question, Chris? Can you pull it back up? Uh have you ever let a good one go? Get away? Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Do you regret it? Yes, I do. Fair enough. All right. What about you? Life moves on. No, I'm not. Everything is perfect. Everything is made to be. Okay. So <laughs> you, never let a good, you never let a good one get away. No, uh, everything is perfect. How it's mm-hmm. called, everything mm-hmm. is perfect. I like that. She I believes like that. in let it yes. be. Yeah. I learn I learn about everything, yeah. about each relationship. Yeah, yeah. So it's perfect to me. It's an experience. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah, it's Have an you ever let a good one go? Um, I'd say no, because it's better to be alone than be with the wrong person. Okay. What about you? Anna. No? Anna. Well, you only have one guy, so. No. <laughs> I'm one other guy. <laughs> what? You said what? One other boy. <laughs> one other? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you, yeah. the guy you got now, it's probably better than, I'm assuming, better than that other guy? Yeah. Stop the cat. Does he make his money legally, at least? <laughs> the other guy? Yeah. He didn't make shit. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, he probably still don't make shit. He's a bum. Okay. bum. High school sweetheart, right? So when did you have the, the other guy? 
huh? She's only a. Ro- she's that's what I'm saying. It wasn't even like it's not really considered like a relationship, but that's just the guy I was with for like a year before. Oh, before the guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, of course he's not going to have shit because you're. Yes, I'm kidding. saying. But <laughs> you don't know what I'm he's doing right saying. now. He might be rich now. Man, you're not about twenty. <laughs> no. Right. What about you? God damn. Um, no. You never let a good one get away. No. No. Okay. What about you? Me. Yeah, you ever let a good one get no. away? I'm the good one. <laughs> I could vouch. let me go away. Not surprised by that answer. <laughs> yeah. He let you go. Yeah. Why do he let you go? Um. He couldn't handle um the whole long distance relationship. So um, where was he at? Where were you at? I was here and he was in Texas. You didn't want to move to him? He didn't offer. Would have you moved if he <laughs> if he asked? I would have. Okay. And you broke up with him or he broke up with you? Um, it was mutual. Translation, he broke up with her. Okay. Yeah, that nigga's like, I got no. peace now. I got peace. Stay over there. Stay over there. It's a it definite no. It was definitely mutual. It was, definitely yeah. mutual. It was <laughs> respectfully mutual. There's always one party that initiates the breakup. The other one might agree, and you guys okay, might say all on right, paper. So but I'm, someone a, I'm the one who initiated. I was like, okay, okay, you can't accept the long distance, so I'm going to cut it off. Okay. So you initiated, and he agreed. Facts. All right. What about you? Um, I'm going to say, yeah. You did? Yeah. What happened? Why'd you? Uh, what happened there? I don't know. I just chose the wrong person over another person. Um, because he was that, tall, right? That's just what happened. It, yeah, <laughs> kinda. Yeah. Because he was tall. Yeah. Is the guy that you left behind? Is he in a relationship now? No. No. Would you take him back if he hit you back up? Mm, oh, no. 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 <laughs> nope. Yeah. So, well, well, so if he was a good guy and you let him go, why'd you get rid of him then? I don't know. Honestly, I was like kind of intimidated. Intimidated? What you, yeah. How so? Um, successful men intimidate me. As crazy as that. No, sounds. he was successful. Yeah. And you didn't know why he picked you. Is that what it was? I mean, not necessarily why he picked me, but it's I don't know why. I just always lean towards people who like need help. Okay, so you treat the you treat the leechers. The leechers. Okay. All right. What about you? Um, I don't know. 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 Like I really don't. Away? I really don't feel like that. But maybe it could have. Could have been like because you know when somebody's trying to change consistently and they keep trying to come back. Yeah. And like you see the change, but at that point, by the time someone give you the change, it's like you don't want to know more. more. Like it's oh, done. I don't want to know more. Or at this point, I've learned more myself and learned to value more myself. So I what you give have to offer me now. I don't. I want more. You outgrew him better I outgrew than it. you. Like you feel yeah. me? I'm no, no, better. No. Than I outgrew evolved. from one. I evolved. Yeah. Evolved. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. What about uh, what about you? You ever yeah. let a good one get away? Yep. Yeah? Well, uh, if, would you take him back now if he hit you up? Uh, it's been like more than 10 years, so... I've Is it, do you know what he's doing now or no? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, okay. he was a doc. He was... Um, Turn the mic towards you, by the way. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. He was uh, graduating uh, medical school at okay. that time. So, oh, shit. Yeah. Do, you, do you have him on Facebook at all? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> Not I, I, Facebook. no we, we, we broke it. I was 18. He was like... 23, 24. Uh, and okay. then after that. Okay. I was too that young. Was a long time ago. Okay. I was way too young. Yeah, way too young. That's a long time ago. I think a girl should try to find a guy <laughs> as soon as she turns 18. In my I opinion. know. I regret it now. But at the time, I was, my mentality was not that one. Fair enough. Did you believe that like the, like, you know, in feminism and hey, like live yes. your life and make money oh, and be successful? Yeah, that. And your boss, babe. Biggest lie that, ever. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I regret it now. Okay. What about, uh, what about you? Um, I don't think so. No. Okay. <laughs> what no, about you? Yeah, I have. You have? Where's he at now? Mm, in yeah. the military with baby mama. Wait, wait. Mama. What happened? That you, <laughs> that part. That you, you guys aren't together right now. What happened? I mean, you know, I'm only 22. It was a while ago, but you know, a lot of us can be delusional. You know, trying to act like we that bitch, or you know, looking at other options. Yeah, we can Damn. be very clouded by dudes with money or status or whatever. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Is that yeah. accountability? Yeah, that's incredible. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 I mean, that's you. the reality, okay. especially yeah. here. Yeah, like, I, this like, is Miami. Really like, you turn around to Dolphins play. You turn around, and it's, you know, what I'm saying they live in Paramount. Like, yeah. oh yes, <laughs> right. tell me about it. A couple of girls. Let me say, girls Go. take accountability, okay? You think so? Facts. Yeah. 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 No, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. No, I say no. I want to point out that if some good ones go away, I'm taking not accountability. All. It was all yeah. me. It was all my fault why he walked away from me. Not all. I'm taking full accountability. Some people take accountability Wait, just to like, I feel like females say sorry before a man do. 
Actually, merch. that's if you <laughs> notice, <laughs> one girl said the truth, sorry, and they all apparently are not accountable. Yeah, <laughs> all right, can you know, that's, that's, that's not, that's women, not, I, I, women I, apologize <laughs> far less than men do. No, I feel like women take accountability, really. Yeah, they don't say sorry first. But they do they, take accountability. No, no, no. First. They lie first, and if they get caught, then they no, might. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. That's what what they they like, no, so. we do lie first. What we lie first, said? then we take accountability. We we yeah. Yeah. What, what you just said kind of doesn't make sense because the first step to taking accountability it's is apologizing, time. acknowledging it's what you did was incorrect, and then changing behavior. That's what I was yes. getting at, but you interrupt me. I said, I take accountability and then apologize. <laughs> but nah, you but I can't even lie. Some, going there. some women yes, take accountability just to gaslight you. you feel me? Mm, I can't even lie yes. about that. Give us like, an example. I don't know. I don't like, know. No, no, like, for example, like, they'll acknowledge what they did to you and, like, they know that you, whatever. They'll just acknowledge, like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I won't do it again. Da, da, da. Then they repeat the same cycle. So, okay. like, yes. same thing that Amanda, yes. every time you take an accountability, you're not really sorry in no reality because the next time I'm going to catch you doing the same shit. So, it's All right, still, you know like, what? the best this? apology on the is panel. Change. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so, yeah. that we can actually get uh, uh, an idea on this. We'll start back on the couch and then work our way. Um, do women in general take accountability? Yes or no? No. No? Okay. What about you? I'm probably going to say no. No? Okay. What about you? No. No? What about you? I, I Like I said, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, so not really. like. No. Okay. No reality. Okay. I'm going to say yes. Okay. <laughs> Why yes? <laughs> because we take accountability. I mean, what? You think so? That's pretty direct. I think. Don't. Yeah, I don't. do. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I wouldn't say women direct, but me, I take accountability. But women in general is the question. Mm. <laughs> Half and half. Nah. Yes or no? <laughs> yeah. That's yes what I'm saying. You gotta say three times. Like, no. Like, you, know I mean? you gotta be in the middle. No. The in general. No. You would say no? No. no? Okay. What about you? Oh, uh, no. No? You? No. I'm saying no because we self-sabotage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Self-sabotage. Yes. Miss Columbia? Yes, no. No? <laughs> okay. I would say maybe after some time, like I think with women, again, a lot of us have very inflated egos. Bruh. So, yeah, in the very beginning, it may take us time to really take a self-accountability. But after some time, I think we do eventually. So in general, no, but you're saying yes with some time. I yeah. feel like yes, eventually yeah. with some time. That's March. Yeah. Okay, interesting. All right. What about you? And I, 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 That's true, I, though. That's true, though. I'll add to that. Yeah. You, what are you going to say? I feel like we take accountability once a man pushes it on top of us. Is and it really it's not, taking accountability if someone needs to push you? Yeah. And it's not even no. with just a man. It's even with... That's why so many so no. many friendships with females fall apart because yes. a lot of females are not taking accountability yep. of their actions. You know Shots I mean? fired! Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. Yeah. You originally that's said true. that women take accountability more than men. You originally said that. True. So do you think women take accountability in general? I believe that the men can push that on top of us and we naturally take it because we're supposed to be the victim. So you think women do take accountability? I believe we are forced to. How so? I believe the man can dictate the relationship or to where they manipulate and gaslight you. And in turn, we take the accountability <clears throat> and because is... we are guilty. Can you give me an example? Let's say the man cheats first and the woman cheats after. Then now we are taking accountability for being a fucked up person, but in reality, we just matched energy. Do you think men and women are equal to match energy as you claim? <laughs> I don't think men are, are equal to women. Okay, so is cheating the same for a man as it is for a woman? No, <laughs> it's definitely not the same. So wouldn't it be fair to say that women need to be held more accountable for infidelity than men do if it's no. not the same? No. Hold on, I believe answer. it depends on the circumstance, um, according to who cheated first and how did the person react. Who's it easier for to get sex, men or women? Huh? Women. Huh? <laughs> I believe men can get sex easier. Really? No. What? All I gotta do is pick. No, I think. I think, I think no. Oh, hold on, man. ladies, ladies, let her answer. Okay. You think it's easier for men to get sex? I believe men can get sex easier. They just go to the club or the strip club and just get any bitch that's. Throwing pussy. Bro, they really gotta pay so. for that though. That ain't free. Even if you pay for right. it, it's That's easy. No they come off yeah. off work Bro, with bread and like they go and get pussy. Okay, okay, so me and you walk into a nightclub. Who do you think is gonna be easier to get laid? <laughs> me or you? It could be both of us walking in with me. <laughs> <laughs> No, we we walk in, 
You walk in on your own, I walk in on my own, and it's a comparison. It's a, it's a battle. Yeah, we both. I, I, mean, I go and talk to girls, and you go talk to guys. Being we think it's gonna get easier. I'm not gonna talk to no guys, so probably you. Okay, so in reality, it's far easier for women to get laid than men. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So for wouldn't sure. it be fair to say that since it's easier for they're YouTube, more approachable. Not it's really. not even that. Guys is always looking Hold for on. something to What's your body smash. Count? That's all. My body count is under 10. Oh. So by your logic, right? Guys can pick whoever they want, right? A, ooh. So that should be way higher than 10. Crazy. Guys can pick whoever they want. They are higher than 10. So why is it so low then? Mine is low because I don't choose easily. Oh. So oh. it's your choice, right? <laughs> it's your choice at the end of the day. I'm no, picky. Hey, that's the whole point here. The girl is the initiator, but the guy is going to eventually make the decision to stay no. or leave. Uh, women initiate? No. If you say no, it's no. It's the no woman like is not going to be the one to say no. The guy uh, is. What? Wait, what? That the is guy crazy. is. That is crazy. Listen, 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 listen uh, fine ass listen. nigga listen. walk through the door. What you going to do? You going to say no to him? Uh, yeah. 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 No. My nigga crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That means you are lying then because you're no. kept 10. If he's a ca- high caliber man, then like, he could pull anybody. Well, there's many, so that means mm-hmm. your body comes way higher. Yeah. yeah. If it's no. the truth. No. Okay, it let's let's just let's just that. go through this so that this makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it easier to get laid? Men or women, realistically speaking? Women. 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 Ladies, let her answer. We see what you guys obviously you guys are living in reality. That's cool. I'm men. trying to bring her to it. So you think men. Okay. I know men. Okay, let me correct you. The reality is it's easier for women to get laid. A girl can go into a nightclub and get any guy that she wants. Men have to get who will settle on them, okay? <laughs> men have to initiate most of the interactions with, with women. So it's actually a lot easier for women to get laid, right? That's that's a fact. That's not even disputable at this point, and all the girls here at the table agree with me. So I still disagree. Well, well you're incorrect. You can you can disagree, but you're that's incorrect. Fine. So since it's easier to, uh, to get sex for women, is wouldn't it be fair to say that something that is easy to get is not respected? A hundred percent. Okay. Because so, it's easily accessible. Boom. So but since it's reason... easily accessible, why, and we asked you a second ago, what was your body count? And you were reluctant to give an answer. <laughs> you do realize that your answer in itself proves my point that women are more selective with sex and look at it from a different perspective because if they have sex with a bunch of dudes, it lowers their value. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. So <laughs> therefore, that is why infidelity for women is not respected and it's totally shunned because Girls aren't supposed to run around and fuck a bunch of dudes. Your own answers prove that. You didn't even want to say your body count. Why would I want to say that? <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> That's why it's, this is all to say, to bring it back full circle. That's not true because why, if the no, guy stop, messes stop up, stop the guy messes stop up. Stop interrupting. Period. Your own responses validate what I'm saying. Women that cheat, it's far worse than a man cheating. And your own responses prove that. Okay. Because question. sex is easy to come by for women, so it's not respected. Sex is hard to come by for men, so it is respected. There's a reason why when guys are at the table in a section, they got 20 girls, they're respected. When a girl's in a section, she's there with men that have money and status mm-hmm. and they have all the girls. Mm-hmm. There's no such thing as a girl at the table and a bunch of dudes there. Can I interject? Do you have anything for that? Huh? I want to interject. No, no, this is for, this is for her. Okay. Do you have anything to, to that? or? No, go ahead. Did you even hear what I just said? I yeah. heard what you said. <laughs> what I said. You said in the section with women, it's easier for a man to basically. No, that's not what you said. Okay. Right. Have you okay. ever had a dream? Do you understand the point? has something. Okay, Myron, I wanted but, to interject. No, I just had a question, but Myron, when you say things as far as like women with high body counts are not as respected as men, but do you take into account like women that live a certain type of lifestyle? Like, what if a woman is literally like with her partner, she's a swinger? And she she's with yeah. a guy that, that likes to watch her with other men, and that's just her lifestyle. She's a swinger. She likes being with other men. She has a high body count, but that's just her lifestyle. Do you feel like she would just be, still be less valuable? But what if she's with another swinger? Well, the reality is, is mm-hmm. when a when a woman is with a man that she loves and admires, respects, she doesn't want to have sex with other guys, and all other guys are invisible to her. But what if she's a swinger? That's her that lifestyle. Means, if she's a swinger, that tells me she does not respect her man. But what oh, if her man okay. like like her man may like that? Her man may like watching her be with other men. Correct. That's well, their that's lifestyle. Opinion, okay. like her that's, in general, that's in general, that's that's your, polyamorous. That's hold, on, hold, on. Time. hold on, hold on. In general, most women don't want to have sex with random people and don't want to be swingers. A lot of times they are swingers because the man that they're with doesn't fulfill some type of capability that they need fulfilled. Mm. Unless they're no. opportunity. Oh, you know what? You don't believe me? Hold on. How many no. of y'all want to be swingers? Raise your hands. How many girls here want to be swingers? Some don't people. Be <laughs> 
There you go. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Some people will cap. Some people will cap. Females are like that. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say. Again, it's a lifestyle. A minority of women would like that lifestyle. A majority of women will prefer to not be in that lifestyle. Okay, so we have anomalies. We can we can take account. But you can't make an argument for the small. You're right. You're right. If if you're gonna make an argument for you know five percent of women that are okay with being in a swinger lifestyle with a man, that's cool and all. But nine out of ten times, those girls don't respect their men. Mm. That's not I true. So I don't think so. I they can know. treat their man like a king and still do out and but go again, whatever. It's a, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> no. what you some men are okay women okay with well. that. Yes. Some men are okay with that. that. That's not the point. Some guys like watching their women be with that's, other men. Ladies, ladies, that's not the point. What okay. I'm saying is that if a woman is with an open cuckold, most women are not going to respect that. Yeah. Okay. We can say most. I understand where you're coming from. Uh, 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 yeah, majority. I mean, how many of you guys would date a guy? You know, let's go around the table. I feel like believe me. Stop. Secretly, stop. Secretly stop. Secretly stop. Secretly stop. How many ladies, raise their hands, would date a cuckold? What raise your hands. Mean? A guy that would want to watch you get fucked by another Boom, dude. That's what it means. Raise your I mean, hands. It depends. It depends, right? It depends. I don't kink shame. Hell no. I don't kink shame. Would you date a guy that watch it, want to watch? Would you? Would you be with your man right now, the six foot eight guy, if you want to watch you fuck other dudes? I would. Uh, yes. You would. I don't kink shame. Okay, that's you. <laughs> what about the rest of y'all? How much? No. You, how many of y'all would nope. you want to be with a guy that wants you to fuck other dudes? It just no. depends. It like um, if that's what he's into. Like I, I want to please my man. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, has anyone ever done it? Like I've never done it, so I can't give an answer because I don't think I would. Want to. Yeah, how many of you have been with a couple before? How many Nobody. of you have been with one? I just Nobody. <laughs> See, like, yo, this one. Nobody. You raised my hand, I have. So I, I just have. Have. Oh, you have. Hold on. I what? wouldn't call him a it's couple. Okay. It's, 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 All right. it's, it's, okay. You know what? Where's that nigga now? He was like five other bitches. What do you mean? I left. I left. He still got his rotation going on. Thank you. So I left and it didn't last. I wonder why. It didn't last because, you know, it was too many women. Like he was free to do whatever he wanted, but it was it got out of hand for me. So it was me leaving the situation, but he still got his rotation going on. So he used to watch you get banged by other dudes. I mean, do I got to say that on air? Like, shit. (laughs) (laughs) You actually respected that man. I don't kink shame. It was a lifestyle to me. That's not. That's not the question. Did the I question, respect him? The question All of his women respected shaming. him. Did you respect him? I did respect him as a man. I did. I did. Forcefully, not though, the cat. I have. <laughs> I did. I don't got a lot about Sam, that. I did respect why him. Why'd you leave? If he, if he, he was so much respect for him, why'd you leave? Because he had too many other women going uh, on. Like it was. Yeah, it was too much competition. Too many girlfriend. Like mm, it was a polyamorous type of situation. And I was like, for me, the, where right, I want to go mm, in my life, this ain't. But that's that's him. Mm. But I, cu- I couldn't accept that. You're he's, right. He's him. He was being himself, but for me, I couldn't so you're accept. you're making an argument for so someone you don't even accept exactly. no more. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, I so you me. involved yourself and Bruh. felt outshined. I didn't feel outshined. It was just too much to keep up with. When you have yeah. like five, six other women, like, where you do I fit? Yeah. So, right. You got a question? <laughs> yeah, you got something. Right? Right, My on. question was, like, you're saying it's easier for men to get not get fucked or it's easier for women to get fucked or whatever. yeah. Okay, so what if it's a gay woman that wants to fuck a man or a woman? It's what? harder to fuck a woman than it is to fuck a man. I call a man on the phone, he's gonna be ready to fuck. But a girl's gonna be like, oh my God, right. that's, that's the point I was making earlier. She's talking about carbon That's the point I was making earlier. Basically, a man would agree faster than a woman would. I can call up anybody right now. You guys are a woman. What is your argument? Hold on. What is your argument? I said that a man is easier to get fucked. So you're agreeing with me then? That a, you said a woman is easier to get fucked. I'm no. saying a man is easier to get fucked. No, what I said was it's easier for a woman to get sex than it is for a man. Yeah, and I'm saying it's easier for a man to get sex because... Really? No, no but if the a reason- girl's calling them, they're not going to be like, no, baby, don't come Let over. Let me ask you a question. How many guys DM you and or hit on you? Let me, hold on, stop. Let's use your logic. How many dudes hit on you? Um, Enough. Okay. Do you fuck all of them? No. So you reject most of them? Gotcha, bitch. But I'm saying if I <laughs> wanted to call this man, he's not going to be like, no, I'm not That's throwing my point. That's my point. That's That's my point. point. Wait, wait, wait. wait. If it's men so... are not monogamous, then they're more open to being with multiple women at once. Yeah, I'm just saying that a man's going to be easier to fuck than a woman. Listen, listen. No, a woman's that is, no, that that is that your choice, not his That's choice. That's all I'm saying. It's your choice. Yo, Green. You, no, but look, do you the not reason realize, it is easier on, stop, stop, for a stop, woman stop, stop. because of men. Do you not realize what oh, you said literally sense. just proved my point? <laughs> that it's easier for a man to get fucked. No, not, no, no. It is easier no, for a woman to get fucked. He's because... got to find the right, he got to find the right bitches. That's all. 
No, it's easier no, for a woman to get fucked because men, men have rotations and all this other. No, let's not even you play that you, you you Women have a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, a Saturday. And you women decide you when we're having sex. Also have that too. Right women decide, but... All right, so wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. It goes both ways. Question, no. question, question, question. So if they you call a guy, right, you know that guy wants to fuck you, right? If I call 10 girls, how many girls will want to fuck me that night? See, though. That's... That's when you gotta get your selection up. Like, but we're okay, but you gotta speaking. have your rotation up. But generally, generally if you're speaking, talking, yeah, random guys, you're not gonna fuck them just randomly, are you? Is that is that what you do? She no. said it's over What I'm saying is that <laughs> if I went to the club and I wanted to fuck a girl or a guy and I didn't care which one I get, I'm gonna get a guy easier exactly. than I'm gonna get a woman. But what are you? What do you mean? What a am girl. I? It was your choice, right? So... Yeah, you made the choice. So it's, you're, you're proving this point even I further. Guess so. Yeah, yo, women so, decide. Yeah, I guess women decide. from a woman's standpoint. But Thank that, you. Yo, okay, that's all but that's my point: is that it's easier for a woman to get laid. Simply put, a woman fucks who she wants. Men fuck who they can. Thank 100%. you. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I'm not disagree with that. I'm just saying if we go in and we you look can't at the, disagree. No, you made no sense. No, you tried to disagree. You no sense. I'm you going didn't to make get sense. a man easier. You tried to make a man easier. I don't see why you're saying that right now with two kids. Like you just argued to argue just now. Like that. <laughs> like all I'm saying is that it's easier for a woman to get sex. A girl can go into a nightclub and pick any guy she wants. A man, even the highest status that looks good, etc., still has to put in work to get an average chick. Are you are you ladies not aware of the fact that a girl that's completely average has more pull than a celebrity male when it comes to getting the opposite gender? Yeah, and even an ugly Very chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, one in three men but right that's because now. Guys always want to smash. Yo. Simply put, one in three men right now between eighteen and thirty is a virgin or hasn't had sex. Oh yep. shit. Okay. <sighs> a couple of y'all do OnlyFans. You want to know why you make money on OnlyFans? Because mm. guys aren't fucking. <laughs> Ta-da! Your business is contingent upon dudes not getting laid. That's why y'all are able to make money on OnlyFans. If dudes were out here really fucking like you guys think, uh, they wouldn't fans. be on OnlyFans. They wouldn't be on OnlyFans. They wouldn't watch porn. Y'all would all go broke over fucking night if guys were actually smashing. Facts. But they're not. OnlyFans mm-hmm. is not only fucking. What? Who, who's but, arguing but that right now? They're using their <laughs> hand on your OnlyFans. Wait, what? So, it's an example. The point is, is that women are able to sell their sexuality, even if it's not even sexual. That's how desperate men are, because they're not getting laid. Who paying for dick out here? Like, what woman is really paying for dick? That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Exactly, yeah. So, so, I mean, if we're going to, ladies, if we're going to have a conversation here, we have to have some ground rules. Like, it's common sense. It is harder for men to get laid than it is for women. Chris That's a Rock fact. Yeah. 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 Free yeah. pussy yeah. costs money. Okay, and let's you. say it depends <laughs> on the guy. Yeah, it depends on the guy. guy. What do you mean? Not it, explain it depends on the guy. Go ahead. It depends on the caliber <laughs> of the male because if he's a high caliber, then he can have any woman he wants. Not true. Not true. Not really. Not true. Mm, That's not we true. find out with celebrities and we watch them get uh, declined. I get mm-hmm. declined. It's not like... Celebr- Trey songs. That's not we high. Watched, we, we literally <laughs> watch top tier guys. But look, if you can buy whatever you want, usually they have power to get whoever they. <laughs> We're want. not talking about tricking. We're talking about actually attracting a woman naturally. Yeah. Naturally, oh. not paying for prostitutes and no escorts. Money. <laughs> <laughs> naturally, it depends. It depends. It depends on the mm-hmm. guy. Oh my God. I, are you missing the She's point not. that a man must be exceptional and still gets declined, versus a girl can be mediocre and never get declined? Yeah. I hear you. What did I just say? You said the man can be exceptional and still get declined, and the woman can be average, average and still get declined. So, th- therefore, by that logic, it means it's easier for women to get. Uh, it's easier for women to get sex. It goes hand in hand. <laughs> it's vice versa. <laughs> wow. All right, man. Guys, don't versa. drop out of high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Okay. It's still about the circumstance. I'm I got a question. Here, man. I got a question. Yeah, go. Ahead. Somebody, there's somebody on the couch. Uh, somebody on the couch was trying to say something before go ahead, too. Go ahead. go ahead, please. Oh no, I was, I was basically saying like, like the reason it's easier for women to get laid is because men o- always looking for someone to smash. Mm-hmm. So that's why. So basically, is e- men are easy to fuck, but it's harder to get laid. They're harder. But it's harder we decide for them to get laid. when the but sex we- happens. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. But- Thank you. That's legal. Yeah. Either way, the woman is always. Like it's always easy for her to catch a body because the men is o- always looking for a body to smash. That's and that's cool. all I'm saying. And that's basically that's and, saying. and the reality exactly. is most girls, I talk about this in my book, Why Women Deserve Less. Okay, in stories right now, number one Amazon bestseller. I bought the book. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, sweet. I, I talk about this how a majority of women don't like a majority of men. <laughs> right. But a majority of men definitely like a majority of women. Yeah, that's y'all that's because y'all That's because women look selective. better than men. Ow. <laughs> okay. Ow, that's women. fine, but it doesn't refute what I just said. No, I can. 
most women don't like most men, but most men sure. definitely like most women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what does think about that? It's, it doesn't make sense. So therefore, girls uh, only want a minority of men. Men have like some some men. I'm not gonna say women. most. Some men don't have any type of like. I just said that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Next. Yo, I love how I'll say a fact and then they'll be like, "Yeah, I agree." Yeah. Then they'll say why, but that, that's not the point. Like, we're not I, we're not talking about the why. I'm just simply saying this is why it's the so specifics. hard for guys to get girls mm -hmm. because most girls don't like most guys. Yeah, that's the truth. So yeah. by default, that means most guys struggle to get girls. I don't know why yeah. we're still going back and forth on. It. I think well, most y'all agree. She's the only one that said she thinks it's we easier. are more selective. I'm losing well, brain cells here. All right, Me all right, too. next. All right, uh, cool. guys know how yeah, to get women easier than men know how to get men. What? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm definitely. No, okay. <laughs> Before you speak, you think. Period. <laughs> okay, question uh, for yeah. All right, all right. Question for ladies. Uh, do you think you deserve a high value man, and why? Wow, that's actually a very mm. good, and simple question. Very good question. All right, great. we'll start here and then work our way around. Uh, okay. So, do you think you deserve a higher status guy, and why? I would say yes, definitely, because I bring so much to the table. Like, okay. I'm taking care of my man. To the table. Please tell us. I'm catering to my man. I'm gonna rub his feet. I'm gonna rub his back. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wash his body if he need me to. I'm gonna take off whatever he need. I'm gonna okay. cook for him. I'm making sure that he comes home and he don't gotta do no work because that's what I'm here for. I'm here wow. to go. Okay. Take all that off your back. Like, right. I'm here for that. Fantastic. What about you? Do you? Well, you got a guy, but do you think you deserve a high value man? Yeah, definitely. Why? I'm, I mean, I'm still working on myself as a high value woman. And um, he's working on himself as a high value man, but we're working on it together. And I, he's helping me. I'm helping him in both ways. What does he do for work? He and his dad run a landscape company in okay. Jupiter. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, okay. So you said you bring to the table, you're working on yourself? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> right now I'm helping him grow himself to become that high value man. But what are you doing in, in particular? My eyes, he's already a high value man, but. Okay. What are you doing in particular for him? Um, well, I take care of our child right okay. now, okay. Um, keep the house clean, cook some good ass dinner every night, and he okay. loves it. Okay. Make sure, you know, everything's running smoothly. Okay. That's good. As best as I can. All right. What about you? This is more of a question for the single ladies anyway. Oh, the single ladies. Right, yeah. What about you? Definitely. Do you deserve a high status guy and why? Yes, because I feel like I meet your wants and needs. According Explain how to you meet them exactly. Whatever you ask for. Like what? Okay, generally for a man, what is generally, his yeah. needs and wants? Do you know? Whatever he asks for. No, depends. no, no. I ask you. Do you know what it is? G generally. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, to s listen, mm -hmm. to meet the sexuality and mentality, mm -hmm. and then to evolve properly and longevity wise, stay consistent and be faithful. Okay. Okay. It's pretty smooth. What about you? Do you deserve a high status guy and why? I think I do. Okay. I feel like. Stop the cap. <laughs> All right. Now why? I feel like I do offer a lot to the table as far as okay, um, tell us what cooperation. Okay. Stop the cap. And swinging on trees too. <laughs> All right. Cooperation. If he wants me to, yeah, cooperate. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What else? Listening. All right. Guidance as far as looking for my man to be actually a leader. Okay. Well, um, how would you give him guidance if he's supposed to be the leader? No, as far as, of course, I feel like it's a team. And of course, it's maybe things that he wants to, you know, start on his own that he may not have the proper guidance to. And I may have the tools to assist with that. Such as? As far as maybe it can be finances and maybe things he may not know. Let's say he wants to start a business. Remember, this is a higher status guy. He should probably already have Oh, okay, okay. High, high value? Okay, all right. Never so mind. how are you going to? Okay. High value. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Um... You mean you're gonna follow his his, his leadership? I would follow. Yeah, you mean? more she said so cooperation first. And cooperation, listen. and as far as maybe it can be guidance for me as far as where he wants to go in his life. Maybe he may not be in a specific. He may be in a specific field. What if he wants to have a career change? He's set up already. He's good to go. But what if he wants to have a career change? Just because he's high value. Okay, what, what career change would you be able to advise him in and give him guidance then? What if he wants to get into my career field? Like, okay, logistics? I want to start a business. Logistics? Yeah, maybe you want to get into logistics. Maybe you want to know, learn how to start your own business just because, you know, you are already set up. What if, you know, maybe you want to consult with me and see as a team, is this the best option for both of us? And I'm willing to cooperate and I'm willing to do give you the tools and try to find the tools to help both of us and especially help him succeed. Do you think and a higher status man finds that attractive in a woman? Um, I think as far as like helpfulness, why wouldn't Not he helpfulness, though? Not helpfulness, but like helping him start a business, as you're saying? 
you have a point. If he's already <laughs> high value, if he's high value. All right, we'll move on. Okay. Uh, what about <laughs> you? Do you deserve a high shot? Do you deserve a high value man? And if so, why? Yes, for sure. Because why? Amber is smart, spiritual. I work in myself every day. Hold on, in hold on. my You're smart. And you said spiritual? spiritual? Yeah, I work in myself every day in okay. my ball. Okay. Um, You're a top model too? Top model? Yeah. Mm -hmm. An model. entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Uh, I love to work like a team in a relationship, and that is very, very important mm -hmm. for that, for having so a relationship. So smart, spiritual, work on yourself, and an entrepreneur. How Classy does that, and beautiful how, how does that and educated. Guy, how does that benefit the guy? Say it again. These these all benefit you, but how does it benefit the guy? Okay, for sure, his benefit. Because you, you need how, a woman. You him? need a woman like that. You need a smart woman. You need a spiritual woman. You need a woman that hear you. That pay attention. Okay. That love business. To do what though? That love to work in herself every day. Okay. Confident. Do you, do you think men elegant, care about that? classy, do educated? Think, do you think men care about these things? Say it again. Do you think men care about these things? Do you mention? For sure. Okay. Interesting. What about you? Do you deserve a high value guy? And if so, why? I say yes and right. no because I don't care because I am the high value. Not saying <laughs> I don't care. That's the wrong term. But when you're independent this long. When you're independent this long, uh, by choice, it's yes, by choice for sure. No children, no nothing, straight guidance. I want to own my own business. I want to do everything on my own. So it'd be nice. You to know, have it's okay to say no if you don't think you qualify for one. That's fine too. <clears throat> well, I can hold it too. I could say definitely. Um, it goes by hand in hand. Like I said, do I deserve a high value man? Yes. Am I in a, okay, a tell race us what qualities or a marathon? I bring the whole table. Can you describe what this table is then? Oh, high value man. Um, no, I honestly don't have a good argument for this one. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go back. I'm gonna have high value. She does. She owns her own house. She has three fucking cars that she owns. Yes, she does. Period. Here's a man. It's hard to find a man who's not intimidated of you. I just raised my one. I can't find one who matches my energy. She's got a plaid shirt. Period. So, well. So you're trying to say because she, she I think she have. understands that men don't care about these things, but you're trying to make the right. argument that they but do. But why wouldn't a man care about a woman having her own shit? That's exactly what it's intimidation. Yeah, yeah, ladies, are you a man? No, I'm not. Okay, so would it be fair to say that men are attracted to different things than you are? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I have I a question then, Myron. Okay, so let me go back to her. Success is different in everyone's eyes. That is true. The fuck. But why would a man want to be with a woman that he has to take why care of? Why would you want to be with somebody that's broke? Right, right. Nothing. Me, to be ladies, a man, ladies, she has nothing on her. She's a broke bitch. Yo, yo, so, yo, so, ladies, ladies, I get it. You're we'll asking, get to that. You're not saying why, but he's, he's telling, telling yeah, me why. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. talk about you that in a second. Okay. But let me, just, back to that. let me continue on here. with. So I, I do deserve a high-valued man, yes. Would it take a good pocket to deserve it? I got to change my answer now. Okay, let's go back. Change it. So yes, and then you said no. Okay, what about you? You deserve a high... Well, you got a man, right? Yeah. Yeah. You deserve a high status guy. Well, yes, I feel like, March. but you're, wasn't the question like, what would I bring to the high? Well, why, yeah, why do you deserve one? Oh, why do I deserve one? Well, shit, honestly, I feel like I'm very like um, submissive. You know what I mean? Like, okay. I don't know. I let I let Men the man like be the man. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Obviously, like I feel like I'm ambitious. Like, do you think a high value mm -hmm. man would take a woman seriously that does OnlyFans? Honestly. Yeah. If it wasn't my man. Yeah. Uh, no. No. No, I don't. You don't think, think so. they would? No, okay. just because the stigma around it, and honestly, it is like controversial. I mean, it's it's not only is it controversial, but I mean, shit, you're putting your body online. Like, you know Hold what on, I mean? like, do you do it with your man? Um, I have, but it's <laughs> mainly me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Do you deserve a high value guy, and why? If so. Um. Yes. Okay. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter. I guess. Why do you deserve a high value guy? Um. I feel like Merch. I'm very faithful. Um, I try to help them grow mentally. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Like, I have my own place, and my ex used to, like, stay with me most of the time. So I didn't mind cooking when he got off work. I didn't mind picking him up or doing whatever he needed me to do. Do you think a high man's man is going to lead you mm -hmm. to pick him up, though? Well, no, but, like... You never know. What if your car gets towed or something? But yeah, don't you think some high value exactly. men can have seasonality? Right, so she can Uber him. Okay, yeah, you don't even know what, where you're studying. I mean, you never know the situation. <laughs> so you're his, his backbone. Like, yes, okay. you're his backbone. And then you said faithful. Wouldn't it be fair to say that faithful is kind of like a given? That's a given. 
I mean, not really, because nowadays, I mean, no. Well, y'all can't yeah, be nowadays, faithful. Don't hold us to that. That's definitely right. the bare minimum. Right. Relationships right. are like women are relationships. That's the bare minimum. Y'all gotta stop interjecting well, when someone, not, is right. when someone is speaking. When someone is speaking, shut the fuck up and let her talk. All right. If you have something, just put your hand up like this, and I'll get you in. But it hurts the quality of whatever she's trying to say. So, like a lot, I feel like now, now, like in this generation, a lot of people like aren't loyal. Mm -hmm. Like they're not faithful. They don't have like no self respect for themselves. I but wouldn't it be fair to say it doesn't change the fact that faithfulness is kind of like a prerequisite to even get in a relationship as a woman? I mean, yes, yes, and like in general, yes. Like overall. Okay. I feel like it's a. Did someone else have something that they were trying to say? I know you were trying to say something. I won't interrupt. Well, no, go ahead. She's, she's finished with her point now. Go ahead. No? But no. I am agree with See, her. See, I want to interject and then I give you <laughs> the floor. Fresh pointed at me. I am agree I with you. I wanted to add Sorry. to what she was saying as far as when you're saying is faithfulness like the bare minimum, I feel like in this day's society, no, it's really not. You have an, a society where being a sex worker is now, you know, acceptable at, it's at a this job. point. It's Yeah, it's a job, but you know a couple years ago being a sex worker was very stigmatized against so you have now we're in a new reality where you have sex workers that are actually in relationships nowadays where you think like 50 years ago that was not the case so i feel as far as this generation as far as now i think a man should really consider when or really appreciate when he actually does have a faithful woman when a majority of women nowadays are not we have access to sex we have we're only a lot of them are only fans models a lot of them are sex workers like whose fault is that though no. What do you mean? Who's Society. Who's, who's yeah. fault is it that we live in a sex worker industry where women what? aren't faithful? Who runs the world? The men who don't go. No, realistically <laughs> speaking. So, okay, that's cool. You're talking about how women are more promiscuous, but whose fault is that? I mean, I don't know. There's the right. accountability. Okay. Let's, sure. let's, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's ask a question. Who picks who has sex, men or women? Women. So since women control sex, whose fault is it that we live in a sexualized but world? But why do you have men that are, they accept it at this point? You have men that accept dating sex workers. It's not, it's not about accepting mm -hmm. it. Who gives out the sex? Women do. So since women control sex, who takes the accountability for that? Women. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, okay. You got uh, it. Okay. okay. <laughs> what about you? Well, yeah. Do you deserve a high value man or why? Um. Yes, I do. Why? Because I bring a lot to the table. Okay. Tell us what. I'm very independent. Okay. okay. All right, I don't queen. ask nobody to pay my bills. Damn right. Okay. All I ask Got it. for you is your respect. But what do you give? Loyalty, oh, yes, my respect, my loyalty. Okay. That part. Go, queen. And all I ask for is communication. That part. Well, actually, you're asking for him to make a lot of money, have status, etc. Because that's what a high value man is. He asked me why I have that man. Yeah, what do you bring mm -hmm. to the table? So you said independent, respect, and loyalty. Mm -hmm. That's what you bring. And I bring my own money. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Do you think <laughs> men care about a woman's money? <laughs> he don't have to. It's going to be there regardless. But I asked you why you qualify for the individual. So why are you bringing a quality that they don't care about? Because it's me. Fantastic. Myron, can I ask a question? That's when real. You don't yeah. get a chance. That's real. I'm yeah. just curious. Sure. Well, let's say, right, <laughs> your message to you, you know what, babe? You've been for dinner this whole week. Would you be mad? I'm sorry. Let's say, right, your man said, told you, pay for dinner this whole week. Would you be mad? No. Let's say for a whole month. Would you be mad? No. Stop whole, the cap. For a whole year. <laughs> would you be mad? For a year, yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Because he needs to step up. Fresh. Why? <laughs> She's not talking to the high value man. man. It needs to be no, no, but you said you're bringing money, right? Right. It's your money, right? Right. So you're helping your man, right? Right. So what's the issue? There is no issue, but Fresh. if She's I'm putting in. Week. If I'm putting in, mm -hmm. then he should also be putting out. Do you get what I'm saying? I was spot, uh, of course. So your money, your I money, have... his money, his money, and your money, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's my point. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. What about you? Uh, do you deserve, deserve a high value <laughs> man, and why? Yes. Why? Um, because because I have my own everything. I'm. I don't. I don't need a man. Uh, to yeah, take care of everything. Me. Um, I have a house. I have multiple cars. Oh, I have my own oh, business. You're balling. You're balling. <laughs> okay. Do you think men care about these things? Smart men. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Let's go party. 
<laughs> I mean, like, I mean, let me ask you a question. Why do you want a woman that has nothing? Right. They don't so you can't control her. They don't I never said a word, actually. I'm just asking you it's, a question. That's it. I'm not asking you a question it's an extreme. Oh, well, I'll answer in a second. All's an extreme. Yeah, it's nothing always the extreme. or everything. Yeah, it's nothing or everything. Yeah. It's not in the middle. So but okay. you just want me to have, you just want me to come with part of, of No, no, part no. Of I'm it. just asking you simply, do you think men care about you having your own everything, cars and money? I do. Okay. Uh, huh, huh. Did you ever ask a guy if he cares about that stuff? Yeah. What do you tell you? Yes. Some men actually a do. Smart yeah. no, a smart man. A smart man. If they have standards. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go ahead. Depending on standards. Got you, got you. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you deserve a high value man and why? Um, I think I deserve a person of high value in general because, you know, I bring why? exclusivity. Okay. I'm teachable. Um, I bring reassurance. I cater. Okay. And you cater food? Like, no, like I cater like all in general. Like, I'll, okay. you know what I'm saying? Make sure you nurtured. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, make sure. Okay. I don't know what I'm you're saying, also, okay. Like, you don't know how you don't know what you I'm saying. If I'm nurturing you, I'm catering to you. Right? Okay. Right? okay. What about you? Uh, do you deserve a high value man and why? Is it just uh, on the money side? That's why he's high value? Or? It's, it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's status, money, looks, etc. Okay. Talk to your pinnacle elite guy. Okay. Do you deserve uh, him and why? If so. Or you can say no, ladies. I'm, I'm waiting for Winnie to say no. I deserve a good guy. A high value, I haven't. I don't know. I mean, I bring to the table the um, ability to make a house into a home. I take care of him, nurturing him. Um, I am a good leader. Uh, I'm sorry, follower. So I think okay. I, I have a lot of qualities. But that... do you deserve a high value man is the question. Yes or no? Probably not the one that okay. you're suggesting. All right. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Do you deserve a high value man? Yes or no? And I why? I would say definitely because okay. I take care of myself, not in the sense that like I could pay my own bills. I mean, I do, <laughs> but that's not what I'm going for. So you're independent. Yeah, but like I just mean like I'm always like I smell good, I look nice, like, <laughs> okay. I, I put it together. You know, I'm also great emotional support. You know, I feel okay. like if a man is of high value, he's usually not having somebody that's like worried about his mental and stuff. He's usually doing business. So okay. like, I'm good support in that sense. I could do all that catering stuff. I could cook. You can cater that, too. But like, okay. <laughs> we can have a maid for that. We can have a chef. Fantastic. All right. What about you? Do you uh, deserve a high value man? Yes or no? And why? I'm going to say yes, because I feel like I've put in the work to be a high value woman. Like, OK, I explain feel that. Like, um, <laughs> well, basically, from my last podcast, you know, just very out there, you know, like out there <laughs> in a sense of accountability, one not okay. wanting to listen to. And every woman can say, I understand I could be submissive and couldn't clean. OK, I mean, you can do that, you know, OK, every woman can provide pussy and look good. A okay. prostitute can do that. But... So accountability and listen. What else? Um, comprehension, I would say, because you can understand something, but to really comprehend it on a deeper level is that part. Okay, deeper. All right. Uh, very interesting things that you guys have said. We have everything from catering to cooking to washing him to rubbing him to being smart to making your own money to being faithful to, to being nurturing. exclusive, independent, etc. These are all very interesting traits. Uh, now let me ask you, ladies, a question: Who do you think is more common, you or the traits that you just gave? Excuse me, you or the man, man. that you want? What's man. more common? Us. Mm. Hold on, we're going to go around the table. Mm. We're going to go around the table on this one. <laughs> we'll start right back with you, okay? What is more common, this high-value man or the traits that you just said that you bring to the table? Mm. Women. Us. Okay. Mm. Go, what about you? Who's more common, the high-value guy or the traits you just described? Are we talking in general? In general, yes. Okay, then girls. Yeah. Okay, what you described in general. Okay, what about you? Yeah, us. Okay, what about you, Miss Bronx? Yeah, women. Yeah, I, yeah, women are more is more common, but no, it, but the traits that you described. The traits that not because not every woman is exclusive. Not every woman is teachable. You do realize not a bunch of girls on the table said the same exact things you did. Exclusivity, yeah. teachable, cater to him. So all of us is thing, but not a, a lot of women aren't. You get what I'm saying, like, but. I don't know. I mean, if a bunch of girls at the table said the same exact things you okay, did, and, and we a extrapolated bunch of girls that over a general population, table is what I'm saying. What was that? There's a whole bunch of girls outside of this table. <laughs> okay, what if I told you that we interviewed over 2,000 girls and they all say the same things in general it, that you just described? A lot yeah, of people. They lie. Okay, well, it doesn't matter because that's what they're saying that they bring to the table. Yeah, that's what they're saying. So okay. you say, so obviously, what about it was you? more common. What do, you, what do you think is more common? The traits that you just described or a high value man? A high value man. You think he's more common? 
than a girl that makes real money. Not just because they say that doesn't mean that's true. A lot of women are not shit. <laughs> That's true. But, <laughs> yeah, tell me about are it. Are you aware that there's more women attending college and women are starting to outward men in a lot of professions? Yeah, but that not everybody here said they attend college and that's why they deserve a high I'm saying in me. general, though. So, like, there's more women making more money nowadays. Yes. So, wouldn't it be fair to say that there's a lot of successful women out there? There is, but there's also a lot of successful men. What do you think is more common? Successful men. You think successful men are more common than the traits that you described, the woman that can take care of herself and makes money and yes. has her own cars? Yes. There's a lot of high-value men in the world. There's more men in the world than there is women. What percentage of the male population do you think uh, hit high value? I mean, it depends on what you're considering high value. Everybody's obviously... Let's say you want a guy that's different. six feet tall, right? You said you want six feet bare minimum, and mm -hmm. then how much do you want him to earn per year? 100K, 200K. Probably over 200K. Chris, pull out the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, because you said you own you own that you bring it, your own stuff and you have your own cars and you have money. So, okay, so you well, think what are that, the statistics? So you think? Don't worry, we're gonna pull them up for you right now. But you think what you bring to the table is less common than a high value man? Yes. Okay. Interesting. We'll we'll show we'll talk about that here in a second. Chris, just keep the calculator ready. We'll come back to that. <laughs> what about you? Do you what do you think is more common, the high value man or what you bring to the table? What you bring to the table. You think what you bring to the table is more common? Yeah. Okay. What about you? What do you think is more common? What you bring to the table or a high value man? Um, what I bring to the table. Okay. What about you? I mean, I said I said submissiveness and Yeah. Do you think that's more common than no, a high not today. No. Really? I I mean I honestly don't think a lot of women are submissive as they you know, I guess used to be. <laughs> so you think I... so you think there's more high value men than submissive women? Yes. Okay. What about you? What do you think is more common? Well, you don't really have an argument here. I was just saying. Show them my opinion. Yeah. Well, let, let's let's go ahead with uh, having money and cars and homes and stuff. Do you think that's more common than a high value man, a girl that's independent? Um, not. There's not a lot of independent women. So yeah, if there's more successful men, I'd say women are successful. Yes, but it is a front, like she was saying. It's totally interesting. Okay. What about you? Do you think there's more? Successful men or high value men or the traits you bring to the table? Is this still more successful men? You think it's there's more still, successful men? Yeah, it's still. Day by day is more powerful women, but they but it's still the That's guys cool. okay. are more successful. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. What about you? Do you think there's more successful men or the traits that you bring to the table? I think there's a lot more traits that I bring to the table. Especially okay. now we're living in a you know, an age where, you know, you have women that are in male dominated roles, male dominated um, careers. Truckers. <laughs> right? Like a female dump trucker? I've never heard that in my Whoa, life. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay. Vroom, vroom. What about you? Vroom, vroom, unique. I agree there's more high, high value women than there is high caliber men. That was not the question. The, the question was, question. the traits that you bring to the table, do you think they're more common than a high value man? Yes. Okay. What about you? Do you think the traits you bring to the table are more common than a high value man? For me, I wouldn't say like... To remind the... you, I was working on self, taking care of kids, etc. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like having my own cars, my own house and stuff, but I do think that women, especially like stay at home moms like myself, the cooking, the cleaning, there's more of that than there is of high value men. Okay. What about you? Do you think that there's more high value men of the things you bring to the table? Which for you, you said you would cater to him, rub him and wash him. Yeah, I'm gonna wash him. But what's more but, common? Um, I think that if we're speaking statistically, there's more women like in the world right okay. possibly so i would say women because there's women that are unnoticed and they do everything they need to do but they might not have a man okay and then going back to you miss columbia because you said that you think there's more high value men than women that are smart spiritual working on themselves and entrepreneurs it depends because for you for you what is high value it's about money or about your well i'm asking you the question you're the woman you're supposed to attract the guy right yeah you for me, money... high for me, high value is everything. Okay. It's everything. Okay, but, but do you think now, men look, look now for that? in the in the society, the guys have more power. You think so? Yeah. Again, that's not the okay. That's a whole other conversation. The question is: so you still think that you're more that high value men are more common than what you bring to the table? You Which to remind you it was being smart, spiritual, work on yourself, and an entrepreneur. 
I don't compare that. That's the question. Because though. it's not a competition, you know. <laughs> what if I told you we're all competing on Earth? It's not a competition. That's life. You compete right now as a model, don't you, with other women that are models? Ooh. Yeah, but if I have Ooh. a relationship, I don't compete with my partner. You do realize that if you have a high value man, by default, you're taking him away from another woman, which is competition. Every single girl here at this table thinks they deserve a high value man. So if you actually do get one, you are competing. Ooh, bars. Correct. Ooh. Myron, I had a question. Gotcha, bitch! All right, anyway. Oh. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, all right, so... <laughs> like, okay, so we're going to go back to you. We're going to go ahead and put this guy in the calculator. So just max it out with money. What age range do you want him to be? Mm, like 30 to 40. 30 to 40 years old. Do you care about race? Mm, yes. Okay, what does he got to be? Not white. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say black. <laughs> no, I like, I like Indian Spanish. men. I like Hispanic men. I like black men. You'll but... take an Asian guy? Oh. Okay, that's a no. it, it depends. Okay, Ooh. so she'll go Hispanic and black. You know what? You'll, you'll, you know, let's give her Asian as well. <laughs> okay, Asian. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said height. She said six foot bare minimum. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, do you care you if he owns or rents? Asian off if that's what you're gonna select. Do you, do you want? Do you care if he owns or rents? <laughs> um, well, Asian also counts for Indian. That's why I put it there. You said you did an Indian it? guy, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, yes, I don't really care is. about India is an Asian. owning <laughs> or renting. Yeah. Okay, you don't care. <laughs> care about education. I mean, if they're a high-valued man, why would I care about their? You don't care. All right. And then, can he be obese? <laughs> no. All right. Uh, sorry, Mo. All right. Now, uh, can he be married or not? <laughs> it's a safe space, sis. You ain't got to cap. Can you cash, too? I mean, Say no. hell no. Let her answer, drama? ladies. Can he be married, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And just so you guys, ladies, know... This includes the EO Census Bureau and the National Girl. Center for Health Statistics. So this is the most accurate assessment of men. So you still think that you are more rare than a high-value man, right? You so what? The traits you bring to the table you think are less common. Yes, do. Okay, let's see statistically speaking right now. Let's go. Delusion score. Delusion score. Not the score. Not the score. Oh, I, like, I feel like this is five great. Out of five this... cat bags. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You scored a perfect five out of five cat bags. Good so job. the reality, ladies, right? This is very interesting because all of you think that you qualify for a high value guy, but yet everything that you guys said that you bring to the table, a girl next to you probably said that they can do as well as as well as other girls that we've asked on the show. Yeah. So the reality is, if you're all chasing the same guy, right? What makes you think you qualify when you're all bringing the same thing to the table? that part but it's also about like the connection you have with the person yeah you can't just go to some random guy and be like oh you're a high value man let me date you like it has to you have to have some connection it has to be a good foundation okay foundation what i'm trying to say is that there's not enough for them to go around yet all of you want them he gonna choose something Mm -hmm. and then you you think oh i'm special because i bring this stuff to the table whatever statistically speaking your guy that you want is rarer than you are Mm -hmm. mm-hmm That sucks. Probably why I'm single. <laughs> there you go. Right, it's, it's funny, right? You make a connection, right? But connection is going to be built if the person wants you. So, for example, yeah. if you're all mm-hmm. doing the same stuff, how can it connect with you versus her? Mm-hmm. So, it, the connection is kind of like a but point. But it's more than, than just what we said, though. That, that's the whole like, point. What? It's not enough. But There's I asked no you to difference. name, I asked you you to name what you bring to the table, and all of you guys pretty much named the same things or things that men didn't care about. Yeah, the thing is, how do you stand up? Oh, I'll cater to him. I'll cook for him. I'll clean for him. So what do Men? we care okay, about? Okay, yeah, that's what I was. That's yeah. my question. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I had a that's question. Not, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> not you, but I was going to get to it. What you said, being independent, respect, loyalty, a lot of girls can bring that to the table. And then on top of that, men that are high status don't care if you're independent. At all. Your money doesn't affect me. <laughs> But see, I had a question as far as that. But as far as why would a man want to like, what if you had a woman that had nothing? Why would you want a woman that, you know, literally if a woman that has nothing, you're a high value man, you know that she would only be with you for your money. She can't take care of herself. Can I answer it? Not true. You know, it's very interesting because when I asked you specifically, what do you bring to the table? What was the first thing you said? I said cooperation. Mm, Mm. Why'd you say that? Because a man would like if I can cooperate with the type of lifestyle that he's living. What's more important, a woman that's cooperative or a successful woman that isn't cooperative? Okay, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> but no, but thank you. Okay, you. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> you literally answered your question by yourself. Yeah. Because you said, why would you want a girl that has nothing? Then I asked she's you. she's cooperative. I get it. 
I have a question. I have a question. I get it. They want someone who's dependable. I get it. They want someone who's who they can lead. City girls up one. You were asking us. City girls are down. So like, city girls down. City girls down. So like, what would you say? Um, like. What do you think a woman should bring to the man? See, this is the scary Nothing. part. Because if you ask me what men are supposed to do to attract women, I can list it off systematically. No, no, no. Well, hold on. Let me finish. Oh, we're talking about if, high caliber men. No, I get that. But my point is that this is the scary part. As a man, right, you have to understand women to attract them. As mm-hmm. a woman, however, you don't have to understand men to attract them, mm-hmm. which is the scary thing because y'all think you know what men want, but based off your answers... You guys really don't have that much of a clue. Or if you did bring up something, another girl can easily replace it. Like not one of y'all, only one of you guys said being a good mother. Mm-hmm. Only one of you guys said, none of you guys said not being a hoe. None of you guys didn't say anything about, I'm not going to dress or embarrass my man in a certain way. None of you guys mentioned about being uh, um, indispensable piece for him that he can't necessarily replicate with another girl. Right? None of you guys gave any of these examples. You guys gave a about, bunch um, of... But what I would make a woman said, an indispensable piece? I definitely said respect. What would make her special? What would make her shine... From another woman. I definitely say respect. Make him feel like he okay, needs you. Okay, but any girl can respect yeah. But realistically being, speaking, if most the men... that a woman would bring would make her shine. Thank you. So, he needs to need you. In a nutshell, let's say you're, you're in a room, right? Mm-hmm. It's all you guys in a room and one high value guy. Why would he choose you over the next girl? So, for, for example, you're saying, for okay, cool. Oh. How do you stand up? How do you, how do you get that piece, right? Of adding more value. Right. It's simple. Figure what that man wants and be that for him. Exactly. Mm-hmm. However, what, what happens is, oh, I'm a bad bitch. I'm independent. So he, he should want me. No, he's really high value. He doesn't need you. That's the whole point here. I have three cards. So don't be in the room. Don't be. But what if you're a woman that also is able to take care of yourself? And you're cooperative because I feel like with a lot of high value men, you have to swat away a lot of gold diggers. You have a lot of women that are only going to be with you because they can't take care of themselves. You're a man that can support support their lifestyle, can give them a lifestyle that they could never even imagine. OK, you want to hear some? You guys might not like this, but I'm just going to say it. all women are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. Yep. No. Yeah. What about oh, no, 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 no. Stop the show. Stop the show. Pay attention to what I just Parsh fucking said. Shoe. Yeah. Pay Parsh attention to what I just they said. They had the shovel. I shoe. said all women are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. What do I mean by this? Parsh if a girl that's successful makes $100,000 a year, she's she might not be home. a gold digger, but she might not say, oh, I want a man that has money, but she's going to want a man that makes more money than her. I just Let's say a girl wants a that's bum. successful, right? She's going to want a guy that's at least on her level, if not better. She might say some bullshit like, oh, I want a man that's ambitious. I want a guy that's responsible. A guy that, you know, has a shit together. Translation. I want a guy that has money. These are all very nice ways to put it out that you want a guy that's financially capable. So that's why women look for these things. It's just that some girls aren't as overt about it. So the reality is the more money a girl makes, she might say, I'm not a gold digger, but she actually is because she still wants a man at her level, if not better. So I would argue successful women that make a lot of money are actually bigger gold diggers than regular girls that are unemployed because their standards are up. We have high standards. And I was about to go there. I don't, there you go. I have I questions. Have, and again, I have the same question. That's my point. If you're a man, yeah. when you need to pay the bills for a week, would you do it? For a week? Yeah. Like we're Done both it. living, like, okay, is he yes. unemployed? Like what's the no, situation no, he has here? Money, but remember, you got money too. Right. For a week, would you do it? Reimburse me. Uh, why not? No. We're in the household together. Bro, look, 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 for a week. Her answers. No, no, no. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> the fact that she's yeah. like asking and all this. I'm trying to understand. Like, no, no, no hesitation. Do we normally go 50 okay. 50? Like, what's honestly? What, 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 do we normally go 50 50? No. Yeah. Honestly, I have a question. Do you have any support? Yes or no? Simple. It should be good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the show. Y'all want to know why we don't give a fuck how much money you guys make? Yep. Because your answer just told it all. No matter how much money you make, you will never support me. However, stop interrupting. interrupting. Stop interrupting. No matter how much money a woman makes, she's not going to support her man. Okay? However, if I make a lot of money, I will happily support you. Because men and women are not the same. When men make money, they say, damn, I could raise a family. My girl don't have to work. I'm the man. When a woman makes money, I'm independent of niggas. It's very different when men make money versus when women make money. Okay, and some of you guys said, oh, I did her blah, before, blah, blah, blah. Even you, you support a guy. Why didn't it work? Because women are not designed to provide for a man long term. That's why I'm telling you, ladies. So men we don't give nice. a shit about your money because you're not going to share Myron. with us long term anyway. I have a now, hold on. So men are like, yeah. yeah. I have questions. So real quick, real quick, right? Yeah. This is some this for me. So once again, notice added time limits to this payment, right? So let's say, for example, a week. Are you going to do it? Depend. Okay, what's the situation? Did he get laid off his job? Okay, okay. Like, hold on, hold on. But really, if, hold on, hold on. if I ask him, point, if I ask him, oh, I need you to pay the bills for a week, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna expect him to look at me crazy. Yes or no? Are you gonna do it? Depending on the situation, yes. Depending on okay. the situation, for a month. 
are you going to do it still? Pay all the bills for a yeah. month? Yeah. Yes, depending on the situation. Yo, the answer's no already because she keeps saying depending on the situation. <laughs> it depends. Did you, <laughs> you no just want to not work? Like, you just decided, hey, but, I don't need to work no more. I'm going to just be a bum. Or did you go through a layoff? Like, what's going on in your life? What What is making, what's the situation for me to not have to pay all the bills? Here's the difference between a man and a woman. He doesn't care. He doesn't yeah. care. Yeah. See, I think a man should. Yeah. If yeah. I come That's to my man and I say, you need to pay all the bills for a month, I'm going to expect him, like, what's going on? Like, yeah, what? but if the man you takes you. Did you just lose your job? But like, no, okay, you just, you just, no way. If the man takes you as who you are, then it should be reciprocated. Are you saying that? I don't no, think that's everybody. Are you saying that? But I want to go have back to Myron's point when him. he speaks as far as like, okay, but Ma- I just want to ask you a question because you speak as far as like, okay, women that are like high earners will always want to date men that are either on their level or above us. Yeah. But I would say for me, mm-hmm. I'm technically, I make more than the average woman. I have no problem dating a man that makes less than me because you I make more make, money than your guy? I do. You do? I do. Okay. Is a big part of that because he's physically attractive at six foot eight, so you will, you're you okay with kind of I have, compromising on that? I have. Is he, he's able to take care of himself? I'm not taking care of no man. Are you able? Thank but, you for proving my point. Our, but What's the point? I don't expect okay. the man to take care of me, realistically speaking. I don't expect the man for me to come in and I just, when I don't work. You need you to take to care of me. And go out to have a good time. Who pays for it? You sometimes, sometimes I pay. Sometimes he pays. Okay, let's make on last. Exactly, let's make on last, bro. It's a give bro. and take. For the her. point but is, you want to do it all the time. That's okay. the whole point here. As a man will. Women are not to built to okay. provide for men long term, but yes. men are definitely That's built to provide for women long term. When a man true. makes money, he's okay with sharing it. When a woman makes money, she'll share it. For a given time period. Period of time. It definitely yeah. wouldn't Something. work. It wouldn't work if the woman is doing more. But see, no, here's, here's my question. It wouldn't work. That's not right now. true. Hold I want to kind of go back to my point. I support you. Where's he at now? <laughs> Damn. The man is lacking. Hold on, stop. I want to say it's lacking. Guys, long term. Yeah, I have. Okay, uh, where where are they at now? In my six year relationship. Okay, what? Well, where's he at now? In Texas. <laughs> are you, the dude that the dude from Dallas that didn't want to move you in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but I, want, I just want to ask something. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I'm saying, like, was it the same guy that you had a long distance relationship that didn't want to move you in, and it was a mutual breakup that you described earlier? Yes. Okay, so you were supporting him, sending him money. Yes. It, did you? Did you? Did you not initiate the breakup? No, we didn't initiate breakup. At no, all. you initiated the breakup. Wrote it yeah. down. Yeah, you did. But it was like mutual type shit. No, you initiated no, no. Like, type did. shit. Yeah, type shit. <laughs> Well, he didn't want long distance. I was ready for it, and he wasn't. But you initiated the breakup. Yeah, you did. Okay, so the relationship ended, and you're providing for him. Yeah. So that proves my point that women can't provide for men long term. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, bitch! I'm still providing him. What do you mean? Are y'all together? Yeah. No, we're not together. What? Am I still providing? Yeah. So you're sending him money now, even though you're not with him? Yeah. Stupid. (laughs) So let me (laughs) ask you. Let me get this straight, right? You guys are broken up. You're sending him money. And he's still want, he's still the one you move it? <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. She's that's saying crazy. No, it's not even yeah. about that. It's not so even it's about that. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it's about, it's about it's about it's about it's about longevity. It's only it's only sending me money every month. Long move in. Long <laughs> I don't know. So you're sending him money no. every every month. We're both trying to help each other grow. So he sends you money and you send him money. Yes. That's so cap. you guys are breaking even. Basically. That's cap. But y'all are not together. No. And you initiated the breakup. Yeah. <laughs> so your own actions prove what I'm saying that women can't provide long term. I'm still providing. What are you talking about? No, but, but, you, but no, you're not winning. He is too, though. He is too. He's providing to you as well. So y'all not, are basically breaking not, even. Not at the moment. But he's provided for you in the past. Yeah. Periodically. Okay. But I'm providing now. Sums off. <laughs> Sums off. So, so, hold on. You're not, you're not, how long? You know, how, how long? Are you gonna keep doing it for the rest of your life? No, until he gets to where he wants to be. Ah, uh, so it's gonna start eventually. Oh, you're with him on potential. Mm. But see, this is my I'm question. With, though. I'm with him off of. I believe in him. Potential. Yeah. yeah. I believe. So what did I say earlier? <laughs> all women are gold diggers. They just have some are better hiding the shovel. Didn't I say earlier that ambition but, and all that but, matters? Okay, but- I'm not the one getting money from him. He's getting money from him. But you're begging that he will give you money in the future and he'll be successful. No, I don't expect no money from him. Did you not just say a second ago you believe in him? Yeah, better for himself in what way? What do you See, mean? See, women like to beat around the fucking bush. No, there's you no around the bush. You believe in him because you think he's going to become successful. 
Okay. Yes, and I want Even him to if be he that. doesn't. Yeah. But I have a question, Marlon. Hold on, she would not be investing in him if she did not know for a fact yeah. or have a heavy belief system, which she just said a second ago. Oh. She's Maybe letting him successful. prove himself. Hold I'll on. tell you what, hold you on. don't believe in her. Hold She's on, letting him prove good, himself. Good, good. Thank you. Yo, this is crazy. I just want to say, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. I just want to say uh, that my relationship before this one with my fiance, I gave the guy so much fucking money and I got broken up with at the end. It wasn't fucking worth it. He made me feel like shit. And my fiance, Ooh. it's nice to feel like you deserve something. It's nice to feel like, hey, wow, he's helping me out with this. Like, I must be doing something right. I must be, you know, it makes him feel good and it makes me feel good, especially if the man is high value and you are you have something to bring mm. to the table. It shows. It shows both ways. Well said. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's not. she's giving her example, but the reality is most girls don't want to support a man. I, a I got a question. Though. I mean, you can say I whatever you want to say, but yo, she city girls down bad. So I have two things. So um, back to her. If they've been together for six years and she's been contributing for exactly. six years, I six doubt years. that he's gonna be successful. So I don't think she's waiting <gasps> on him to be successful. She just said a second I ago, I believe in him. him. <laughs> I can believe right. you can But believe. it's been six years. You know what I'm saying? So your point is what I'm is what I'm getting at. I'm not getting at what she's saying. I'm saying it's been six years. I don't I don't think that that she's hanging on to him being successful and making her she rich just or whatever. She just not she's playing stop. her part. Exactly. For what? Yeah. But what? Oh, because she has love for him. I love for him, and I've been with him for six years. What does he do for you? What does he do for me? It doesn't have yes. to be done no, to her. My question is, what does he do for you? Like, I want to know. Out of curiosity, pal. everything he'd be there for me. Pin pal. Why is he emotional? Emotional. Sometimes it's not what about she's she's how, how, how he makes you feel. How is she satisfied? Yo, my nigga's a paid therapist. But get on the phone. Yo, you feel sad right now? Send me some money. Because here's the thing, they're not on the same page because when I asked her earlier, what's your relationship status? She gladly said she pretty much said single. I am single. So, OK, so that means by default, you saying that you're single, you're not with him. And since you're not with him, I think a big part of the reason why you're not with him is he can't support you, which is why no. you initiated the breakup. No, you're, you're saying assuming one thing. That. You're assuming that. Your actions speak louder than words. No. You can say whatever you want, why but you your assume... actions show that you ain't with him now. No. But you're if you was really that guy, you'll be with him. You're Don't assuming... jump to conclusions. Yeah, you're jumping. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, I'm right. using logic and common sense. Rook, rook, rook. There is no logic. On the there couch. Is... You got a point? Yeah, I was saying. Y'all saying that women can't provide for you long term, but you say you don't care if a woman got money or not. Thank you. Because men want to take care of a woman. That helps them feel like a man. Like, y'all don't want a woman to take care of you long term. Well, well so first off, what does that have to take away from? What, I, what, what's your point? So why y'all asking us that if that's not what you guys want? It's to prove that you guys don't know what men want. It's that's why women... I asked that question. Because a lot of you guys gave... Things that you find attractive in men, but, but we we're don't not mind readers. <laughs> men want someone that's dependable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I said that yes, we're not mind readers. You know what's funny? So I hold can, on, no, no, no. You know I can funny? assume. You know what's funny? The man you want. Do you know what he wants? Yeah. No, no. Do but you, your answer is clearly not. You, you don't mind reader. So what if you ask the question to the man that you want? What does he want? You think he would he would tell you? No, he wouldn't tell me. <clears throat> okay. See, I'm notice how she oh. had a cop out. Oh, we're not mind readers. I had like, a question. Men have to he understand. Tell me. Hold on. Men have to understand women to get them. Why shouldn't you understand men to get them? Because even if I Y'all try to understand, understand, I wouldn't be meeting his level of mentality. You know what's mm. funny? What? Hold on. Explain that. His level of mentality is too perplexed and intricate for what? me to understand. What? what? It's common sense. <laughs> what? No, what? some Hold people on. are he have a whole nother level. Doesn't have to of say a word to you. Deception. It's like, yo, what does my man do? Watch action. What does he do, do for a living? It's simple. It's common sense. <laughs> hey, yo, Not what? if the person is complicated, then they're meeting needs. What if that I told you that perplexed. men are far simpler than men women are? Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Basically, you're saying mm. modern men, but not every men. Men in general, since the beginning mm. of time, have been very simple. Mm-hmm. It's women that are complex. Mm-mm. If you mm. really cared about that man, he would talk. You know, you know what? He wants this, this, and this. He does this it's for a living, does that for a living. It's simple. Cool. My man needs this. Somebody it's else not- was trying to say something before are she just... It's just simple, really- man. I just had a question. I was kind of going back to what she said about how she's dated a man and she gave him money and like he never gave her shit, but then she met her fiancé. But it kind of like goes back to what you guys were saying about how men don't care about finances or anything like that. Um, yeah. I kind of feel like I've learned like along the way that 
um, when you do too much for a man, that's like kind of when they take advantage of you. Exactly. They take like you, you can't you can't be a woman trying to play a man's role basically because mm-hmm. you demasculine them and it kind of like they question. use you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something like okay. Well, let me add. Okay. I have something to add. With that, okay. Let's say I get with a girl, right? And she never liked me in the first place, and she just takes my money and ends up breaking up with me and and everything. Whose fault is that? Ooh. I mean, that's your fault. Oh, so oh. you go with the guy and he's a bum. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'll take accountability. Okay, for that. so because you were trying to say, oh well, you know, it, it's like the guy you just emasculated, blah blah blah. No, that's on you because you picked the wrong guy. That's yeah. what I was saying. I wasn't. I wasn't disagreeing. Mm, I'm really. saying like you no, can't. You no, can't. No, you can't no, play a man's no. role and expect a man to be a man. You can't what? do that. No, that's Something what she's saying. I have a question, Mark. Hold on. I've been trying to add this for a minute. Okay, all right. so I was just gonna say that y'all are saying like men don't care about women's money or whatever, but like aren't men supposed to be the providers? Is that not how society has been set up and biologically a man is supposed to be the provider? So it I'm gonna be looking be. at you like provide because that's what your job is, and, and then the woman's job is to be. add, make the house a home, and then turn what the kids into a family, and all of this and that. So it should. Is that be. a question? What do you no, that, that, that was a, that was a comment. Question. It was. It I wanted to interject. <laughs> no, no. My interjection was that men are supposed to be the so providers. Your girl always says, yeah. It shouldn't so, be. So men want. Why would a man care about a woman's money oh. if you're supposed to be the provider as a man? It should be. That's my comment. No, that's my comment. I still have my question. It all right. Be. Okay. No. Okay. I just wanted just a question in a sense, as far as when you're saying all women are gold diggers, but again, we're living in a society where women have the potential to make more than men do, especially when you have things like affirmative action. You have systems in place w- to make sure that women are being compensated as much as men, if not more. Okay. So realistically speaking, right. as a woman, if I'm making more than the average man, I have to understand if I'm looking for a man that is making as much as I am or more, I'm shrinking my dating pool as that. And if I'm looking for him not to have kids, I'm looking for him to be over six foot, my dating pool is just slowly shrinking. So I have no problem dating a man that makes less money than me. Okay. Because I just know, realistically speaking, I have a higher chance with being in a successful relationship or being finding a partner because he with a man that's going to make less money right. than me. So see what you did there? You used some critical thinking skills and you pretty much figured out that, yo, oh, my wants are pretty high. There's not enough guys to go around exactly. that get what I want so I have to bring yep. my standards down. Congratulations. Exactly. That's you. Most women will not settle. Yep. I have a comment. And good luck with them. Go okay. be a single well, for the rest that, of your life. That's why we're in the situation <laughs> that we're in where a lot of women think that they qualify for a man wow. that is way out of their league, but every other girl wants him and they don't get him. And then they get mad. Like, why can't I find a guy that makes under K per year? Well, there's not enough to go be, around. Yeah, be realistic. <laughs> and then a guy that makes a lot of money Yo, he's, he's not gonna want me. I'm not an Instagram model. Like Facts. realistically, Facts. they don't want. No. And I, honest, honest, and I have, I have dated, I have dated men that were like you know, higher, high value to say or high, made yeah. more money than me. You fuck and, men. No, I have dated, dated fucked, men that fucked. made, <laughs> dated, I work in corporate America, they're all around fucked. me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But as far okay. as I got dating, a all right, can I, say I, I already, knew, like, right. I already knew how it was. These are men that are good. I'm going to be one of many. These are men yes, that can get facts. any woman that they want. Okay. I already know. Like, but here's the thing. You get that, but a lot of girls don't. Oh, I don't. She knows her place. Oh, I know my place. Role. Role. If they don't know their role, then they won't play their position. Mm. What the fuck? Well, if you knew better, you do better. Well, oh. I would say that you don't know your role either, but that's fine. Uh, that's somebody so has some? You yeah. have some, right? Yeah, I just feel like as we're not in back in the days where men are providers. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You know, your what I'm saying? parents they don't pick okay. our like, spouse. That's just not it. Okay. As far as like society nowadays. Okay. I feel like it should be equal. Thank you. You think so? I do. Okay. Men well, should not be the only providers. All right. I just women should women should also bring something to the table. Okay. Because yeah. back then, yeah, men were providers, but okay. women weren't allowed to have jobs. Okay. Well, here's but the now thing. that we have jobs, I don't feel like men should be the only providers. Okay. How you Can feel and what should or could or would is one thing, but we got to deal with reality. What is the reality? is that women are biologically hardwired to want men that make more money than them and have more status than them. So you can say, yo, it shouldn't be this way, but we're all human and attraction isn't a choice. Can I you could say answer? men should be, men and women should be equal, but it doesn't operate that way. Do you, do you want a guy that is your height? Mm-mm. I have something. Yeah, hold on, stop. Do you want a guy that's your height? <laughs> I'm just saying. Answer the question. Do you want a man that's your height? No. Or preferably not taller, right? Oh, I'm taller. Okay, do you want him stronger than you? Yeah. Do you want her to be more competent than you? Mm. Smarter than you, <laughs> being able to lead you. Yeah. Okay. Do you want her to be make more money than you, preferably? 
if you had a choice. Yeah. Okay, so nothing about what you want is equal. <laughs> Duh. But that's what I Stupid. want. That's not what I'm saying. Stupid. But that's what all women want, is what I'm trying to say. You're not that special. All women have the same requirements of men. Typically, they'll look for the same traits. Myron, you know most women are that delusional. Different. That's what I'm trying to say. She's trying to say it should be equal, but her own attraction triggers are not equal at all. She wants a man who's superior to her. No, that's not what I'm saying. Did I not just describe traits that are superior to yourself? No, you didn't. The fuck? Yo. Roll it back. Myron, where you going? Yeah. 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 Okay, can I say something now? No. No. Myron, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody wants to say something. Wait, wait, wait. I was saying, Myron, you know, most women are delusional. You know, most of us live in a state of delusion. So, we're brainwashed. Amen. False, false we're brainwashed. reality. Yes. We call this feminism. We're brainwashed yes. by this Shit. independent women. Yeah. My point was if you have a child right now and the baby daddy don't want that baby, who's gonna say the baby? Period. Who's gonna say the baby? Please, somebody tell me. The mother, the mother, the mother, mother. Mm-hmm. The mother because the we're more accountable because it's not equal. Yeah. Things are not equal. No, a man's not, not gonna take that baby no, unless something not. happens that they have to. Still, Still ain't gonna do it. it. Well, let's be hey, 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 hey. Most of the time, I'm not saying every time I say most of the time. Most of the time, I don't have a baby, so exactly. So I'm not, I'm not like coming at you or nothing. I'm just saying, like, in general speaking, if that was a situation where we want to be equal to. There's no equality. There is no equality. Right. There's no but equality. In my situation, okay. I have no child. So, so she now nah, so also, also, also let's I'm just say yeah. a lot of men take I got, risks. I got you. So, a lot of men so take risks I, you want to take. I just hope that for the rest of your life, you take care of all your men, okay? All right. Take care of you, baby. <laughs> take care of you. What am I? What, Myron really walked off. Where'd he go? No, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's our show now. He needs a moment. A man that's a 10, but he has no car. What do you rate him one out of 10? One. Okay. Oh, Question for the men. She's a ten. Has three kids, three different daddies. What do you rate her just for the latest reaction? Uh, well, you said uh, she's a one. zero. Girl. We'll give her a for negative one. Okay. Real. <laughs> Real. 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 Wait, why he don't have a car? Yeah, like, did he, he just get into a wreck? <laughs> like, what's going on? Why he got no car? Wait, fuck the specifics. Question for Myron and Fraction ladies. What's your thoughts on the whole Michael Irving situation where he lost his job? Because the woman accused him of... Uh, that's not for this show, bro. We'll cover that in okay, uh, one-on-one. Yeah. Austin Wright says, Hey, fellas. Love the channel. I've been making some massive changes. That, thanks, you guys. I'd love to see a book list from you. Favorite books for financial management, investing, etc. Uh, we'll cover that on Mondays. Yeah, Lalo like says, uh, Ladies, would you rather have your man sleep around or spend his money on another girl? Mm. 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 What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I got okay, ladies. Would you rather have your girl. man... Spend wrong with other girls or spend his money on a different girl? Spend his money on a different girl. You gotta ask me first. I'm gonna say, if I had to choose between the two, yeah. you better spend that money on some other bitch because if you get some other bitch pregnant, I'm gonna kill you and the baby. <laughs> okay, so you take the money <laughs> being spent. The baby's spent. What about the you? Baby. Not the baby. Not the baby. Not the baby. Not the baby. Everybody. Baby. Oh. Spend, spend the money. Baby. Double home side. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a stupid question. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Shut up. Money because there's no emotional attachment. Mm-hmm. You think so? I believe so. But either with, okay. with a man just smashing the emotional I mean, if he's sleeping, like, can, exactly. am I watching? Like, am I involved in this? No, no, no. Like, it's separate. Oh. She's kinky. Oh, he's you like that too. Yeah, I'm a little weird over here. She's kinky, girl. Okay. Don't kick shit. That's change. why you wear that sheet of print. <laughs> so you want him to be with other girls? Okay, like, am I watching? Or like, no, am I involved in this? No, you're not watching shit. Oh, he just goes sleep with other girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or spend his back money. Clap. I'd rather mm-hmm. him just like, mm-hmm. okay, again, why are you spending the money on the other girl? Bro, like, is she, just answer the she, question, bro. yes or no? Yes, Depends. Yes, you know, look, 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 look. <laughs> I don't accept the, that. The question was, no, what? I don't accept that. I don't negotiate that. No, no. Neither. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't. No, I don't. Like the argument. That. Either yes or no. No, no. no. I don't accept that. Let me ask a better question. Okay, hold on. Um, Do you want a high value guy? Say it again? Do you want a high value guy? Yeah. You do? Okay. Do you think you can negotiate with a high value guy? No. Okay. Who do you think has the power and control when you're with a high value guy? You or him? Together. He's a team. Okay. <laughs> She's a the answer is actually he has the power, not you. So 
I mean, if anything, it's not my situation. I don't want to to have a guy that tell me what I have to do or what I have to think, that's why or what single. I have to feel. That's why you're yeah. single. Okay. You know? She wants her own mind. Okay, maybe. Well, no, it, it, that's why. Well, you, yeah, maybe. You but here's the thing: if you're with a guy like that, they're but gonna they're gonna be actually, masculine and they're gonna expect you to have certain. You know, you're gonna have to follow him. Yeah, but the question is that it's a degrading. Question. I I don't accept that. You don't accept either one. No. A guy cheating on this you. This or... is my this is my my position. You know okay. what's funny about this, right? This yeah. happens all the time behind your back. You would never even know. Mm -hmm. So this this actually happens a lot of times. So we're just <laughs> no, saying, all the time. Right? No, no, all the won't time. Hurt me. I'm telling you right now. No, all, all the time. time. You know, some guys actually you do know, not though. cheat. I think it's possible well, for some men to just not cheat. Hurt me. Right. No, everybody are the same. Let me. This so is this is going to be uncomfortable, but I'm just going to have to say this. Um, youth. What is what do you think is more common, a high value man or you? Say it again. Can you speak slowly, please? What is more common, you or a high value man? Mm. Successful man with money, status. What's more common, Un you or him? Que tiene dinero. But. Huh? B both people. You can find both. No, can... what is more common, you or him? What is more common where? In the world. In the world. You, a girl like you, or him? Que es más común, un hombre, I, I, yo entiendo, yo entiendo, I understand, but I, I, I don't know, okay. I don't know, I don't, I don't have the answer, I don't have the facts. I'll give you the answer. You know, you want to make false I don't like to talk about anything about I don't know. Okay, you know? well, I will tell you, you are more common, not him. He is rare, you are not. Because here he can choose another girl. I don't care. Okay, that's fine. You can choose another girl. <laughs> you know? I didn't need to accept that because I love myself. So I have to accept the things that I don't like it because I can be by myself. It is... I, I prefer to stay by myself that I said okay. that shit, you okay. know? Mm -hmm. So you would prefer to stay by I yourself need that. than have a man? Yeah. Okay. okay well, cool. as long as you're okay with that. <laughs> That's fine. The reality is you're 31 years old. Okay. I don't care and... the reality. No, uh... You ask me what I think. Okay. But I'm telling you what you think might not be the best way to think given your circumstance. You're 31 years old. You have a profession that a lot of guys might say, mm, I don't know. So you don't really have the power to negotiate with a higher status man. It's his way or the Maybe highway. the power is not only about the money. It's what is in your mind. You know? That sounds great, but you're not going to date a homeless guy with a great mind. <laughs> what you would be said? homeless if you had a great mind. Yeah, yeah like you right. can say that. That sounds great, but you're not going to date a bum. The man will mind. lead the relationship, basically. The man will lead. Hold on. Just let her talk. Just comes to the man with me. So no, for you, none of these. No. All right, single. Cool. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're okay with being single, but that mindset is not conducive to finding a higher status man. Is what I'm trying to say. If I am in a relationship, I don't accept that. I don't negotiate that. And then they're just gonna get a younger, more attractive girl that will accept that, and so, you'll be single. Well, mm. I just have a question. How no, much, like, I don't think how women much... understand. Like, yo. Ladies, when you're with a guy that's high value, who you all think that you deserve, by the way, there's no negotiating. It's my there's way not. or the highway. Mm -hmm. He's going to have other bitches. Get there, He's going to have other women. Let's do it. And that's how it goes. Straight up. 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 Straight Look. She's gonna cast a spell on him when he doesn't act right. That's why she's spiritually in tune with him. If I only choose a man <laughs> only for the money, for sure I have to negotiate that. But I don't choose a man only for the money. Oh, what do you want? You know? What do you want then? A good hair, a good feelings. Spiritual energy. You know? Pure soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, will you date a man that makes less money than you? <laughs> Say it again. Will you date a man that makes less money than you? No. Oh. <laughs> and a man, so a man with money is going to have multiple women. <laughs> I can't even lie. Like, yeah, but nobody knows it's going to have one. Nobody knows something. Now the people, now the people is working in both things. You can, you can work in your spiritual lifestyle and in your, in your money too. Why not? So you need both. So you can. Hmm? Yeah. Why not? So you need even more then. Why not? So she needs even more. So you I, want a guy I, with money that's going to sit there and negotiate with you? Say it again? 
You, and yeah, but, <laughs> it's a headache. All right, okay. we're gonna, yeah, we're yeah, gonna move yeah, on. Cheers. Like, what do you? you, you, you I'll, I'll just be honest. With you. you don't qualify for the man that you want. I'm just gonna say it straight up. Sorry. You don't know me. No, based on you your actions, know me. I don't have to know you. I know that you have certain you don't habits know me. and mannerisms. You don't qualify you for the don't man that know you want. Me. I don't have to know you. Okay, I'm telling you, you okay, don't qualify boss. for the man that you okay, want. Okay, boss. I won't lie, you're pretty annoying. Yeah, like, <laughs> even before the show, you're pretty annoying. Uh, you're mid in Miami. You are annoying, uh, too. You're 32. Uh, you can't and what happened? Uh, what, what, happened? I, what happened if I am 32? You're, you're old as fuck. There's a girl that's 22 that doesn't behave like you. Is the point. I don't care if I am 32. The man cares. Oh, they are 32. So bad. So many guys she don't want, a man, want so to I stay with me. No, they want to fuck you. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, yeah. and they don't want to maybe. do anything else. Maybe, maybe, man. Like that's a maybe. problem. <gasps> maybe they just want to use you for sex and nothing else. Logic. I didn't need your approval. Oh, no. I'm telling you how I, I need your opinion. I'm Validation. telling you how I think. Oh shit! Because here's the thing. <laughs> I'm multimillionaire. He's a multimillionaire. All my friends, multimillionaires. We all think the same. We don't date take their take girls seriously like you. We have sex with y'all and never tell you the truth. You're never gonna get wiped. That's the truth. Don't. You're insufferable. You disrespect <laughs> the woman. What? You Sorry. disrespect the woman. I'm telling Sorry. you the truth. You disrespect the woman. Women like Sorry. you don't get wiped up. You don't know me. You're old. <laughs> You're old no, and you have bad habits. No way. No, she listen. said a woman like do you her want? Get I cry up, because no, you, you say I am all. I'm just telling you. The what man do you, that you want? want? Doesn't want you. You want to cry because you say I'm I am not all. Crying. You are so old. what? You are old. I feel very how good. It doesn't matter how you feel. Yeah. I'm telling you old. I don't Can care what you say. Huh? I don't care what you say. Can someone call someone? No. How old are you? So what does that have to do with anything? Hey, mom, mom. Men age I mean, matter. since you want to know, know, I'm 33. Okay. But here's the thing. Men, if we do the work, age like wine. <laughs> Women, age like age milk. Age like wine. Yeah, I, I, right. I, 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 milk. Yeah. I think it's a better one. It depends on wait, the women. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. wait, wait. You should have seen what woman. Look, there's a reason why it's called Forever 21 and not Forever 31. Okay? Like, let's keep it a thousand. Like, yo, men, since the beginning of time, have preferred women between 18 and 24. This isn't my opinion. We're going to say now, because they be trying to be all weird. This is a fact. Let's not even get on that. Like, men prefer younger women. It's been this way since the beginning of time. It's biology. This isn't even my opinion. This is a fact. Forever 21, not forever 31. (laughs) The majority will say you're correct. No, that is true. This that is, is very true. That is not like literally like women. 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 women younger women. It's a biological fact. Like, women are so, beautiful when they're younger. So, so mm. we've discovered you want to be single for the rest of your women life. Women are beautiful. Yeah. Just, just that. That's yeah. Thank you. Cause... Cool. I'm telling you, the guy that you want ain't gonna sit there and negotiate <laughs> or tolerate that. That's all I'm telling you. Like, so when do you guys settle down? Is there an age preference, or do you settle down with a 22 year old that you think is hot? 55 years old, they'll probably settle down. I mean, what is it? But what do you, what your question is, when you. do we settle down? You, I mean, you guys still doesn't matter. Your preference is still like your your body, or your age thing is still preference on sex. You just want to fuck something that's young because it looks mm-hmm. nice. It's still just a title. No, a younger person you is still just want to fuck. A younger person is more teachable. Men never grow up. You guys at 55 still want to fuck a 22-year-old. They're vulnerable. Let me ask you a question. How about this? When you were 18, did you want to find a man? Were you looking to find a man when you were 18? Did I ever go for the older ones? No, we were scared of that. No, no, no. But no. Did you look for a, ser- a man seriously when you were 18? No. no. Why not? I was worried about finding myself. Okay. You were worried about finding yourself. We know what that means. But okay. <laughs> why did you want to find a guy at 18? I don't want a guy at 18. I didn't have one at 18. Okay. But why didn't you aggressively pursue one? Can you tell me why? Worried about myself. Living Not worried life. about men. You were living life. Living life. Definitely. Right. Five children. Still you had other life. stuff to worry about, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you were at your peak at that point and you didn't pursue a man, right? Yep. Okay. So why do you want a guy at his peak to go ahead and settle down and pursue a woman? Gotcha, why? bitch. No, not gotcha. I didn't answer quick enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. Men peak later on in life. If you peak later, why do you chase something that's younger? You don't peak something that's with Just you. Because when, because they peak when they're younger. Men. Because when he was that age, he didn't have Yo, can you shut up and like... let me answer the question? Because she asked me, not y'all. First of all, chill. Yeah, well, I'm telling you. Excuse just me? interjecting. Who are you talking to? To you. To y'all. To no, you're not. Me shut up. It's our show. Don't tell us to chill. I'm saying chill. Oh. To who? Not to us. I am. Fuck out of here. You, you need to chill, bro. You you need to chill if anything. Don't forget where you at. Wait, is uh this is a uh, fresh castle? Right. You said I mean, what? Fresh is up to you. You call it. 
<laughs> she could chill. Yeah, you, 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 need, chill. Niche, you know. need chill, man. Don't forget where like, you're at. Y'all got offended so easily, like, because I said chill. You telling me to shut up? Yeah, shut say, up. Hey, I'm talking. Hey, yeah, listen, we, I mean, hey, we talking, bro. Let's chill. All right. I found it's hard, right? You look relax. Yes. Chill. Just relax. All right, D. I have a we'll question, give you, I'll, I'll, give you a point to, I'll, I'll give you a chance to Can say what you want to say here in a second. Chill the fuck out. Just relax for a second. All right. Nose ring. A damn bowl anyway, there, man. Going back to what I was saying. Men want younger women. That's how it is. Women want older men. It just works that way. The average distance between men and women typically in marriages is seven to ten years. <laughs> I'm not saying your statistics wrong. My father is with a younger woman, so... So what are you arguing? So what's the point? It's so not an argument. It doesn't make sense on why it, it's not an argument. So we're not going to argue with you guys. You're right. The fuck? I thought she was just asking you, like, <laughs> I was asking when the same. I wasn't arguing down. it. Yeah, when do you guys grow up? I, I like, answered what's the, the question. You still have age. I mean, at what age with the, like, a... When what did you, you guys around? quit chasing young women? So ultimately... Hold on, stop. Do you get older and stop. keep chasing younger? See, this is what I'm talking about when I say women lack critical thinking skills. You asked me, mm -hmm. why aren't you settling down? And then I went ahead and rephrased and said, why did you find a guy when you were at your peak? And you said, oh, I was finding myself and, you know, having fun in life. And then I went ahead and responded, well, we're doing the same thing because we're at our, our peak, peak now. Okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. See what I'm talking about when I say y'all just be, you guys hear us, but you Selective don't Selective hearing? Yeah, you don't Structure listen. criticism is you what your strong subject is, though. You don't listen to understand, so you just talk while I'm talking. That's the problem. You don't listen to understand. You're just hearing me and you're kind of like, oh, well, why? You didn't answer the question. I actually did answer the question. I just wanted to give you an example of what it comes like. You, di you didn't want to settle down when you were 18. Why should I settle down when I'm 35 or 40, 50 when I'm at my peak? That's it's just honestly on why the opposite age attracts. And, That's here, just and here's the other thing, too. Women don't understand. Y'all give you get your value up front. We have to earn our value. Mm -hmm. You guys are born with beauty and able to get men. <laughs> you, you got Each of one of you have probably been on a boat before That's for free. I never. I, I got to pay for the boat. Plain. So how are you going to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, what, you should settle down here, blah, 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 blah. Would I have to bust my ass and make this money become successful to even be able to be attractive to girls? Mm -hmm. But I think that... Women are trustful babies. Men are self-made millionaires. How are you going to tell me to spend my money? That's how it comes down. I have a question. And ultimately, right, if the guy worked on himself, he becomes successful, he can choose when he wants to settle down. That's the whole point here. Why do we have to settle down mm. when we're young? Why were you? Because you have a point? limited amount of time to do so. Biology, yeah. your eggs. Yeah. It goes mm -hmm. well Ooh. over 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, As you get older, older, your chances of finding an attractive man that you actually want go down. That's why I'm telling her at 32 years old, statistically speaking, she's yeah. probably going to end up single. <gasps> well, she will. Because the man that she wants, she no longer qualifies for. That's the truth. And you ever wonder when a guy has a girl, <sighs> no, right? That's young and she gets older. That's and he's what? Like, you know what? I'm going to cheat with the secondary that's younger, you. hotter. Why is that? Once again, I want younger women ultimately. It's so thing is, so is we're that, wrong regardless. We settle down with you when we're young. And then when we get older, you guys are going to age with us. You're going to grow out of us. We're supposed to what grow into your grandpa, yeah. your dad, your what? Like, what do you well, want from us? To be real. Because we weren't good enough when we were 15, 16, 17, whatever you said our peak was. Mm -hmm. What do you mean how you're not good enough? You got the relationship. FBI, open up! You were 18 years old. You got the relationship. How are you not good enough? You just said you left at 33. When you peaked, though, you decided to go for the secretary younger. I never no. said that. It was he an example. Yeah. It was an example. He's giving an example that men typically want younger women. But if a girl's smart... She gets married when she's young, has children with that man, gets a house from that man, yep. and then she ain't going nowhere Divorce because court. men don't initiate breakups. But he's Divorce saying court. that he's still going to cheat on her with you the, be the main secretary. Girl. You be the main That's girl. That's life. They don't initiate <laughs> breakups because they be cheating. You still yes, win. Exactly. You still win, though. <laughs> Divorce court. You still win. You got the main title. <laughs> That's such a way to... That's a lose-lose. You're so Ew, lonely. No. Oh, you get a check? I got a check without this. You... I got less headache with my own piece. Uh, uh, with actually, the independence. No, no, you're not lonely because you have a family, you have children, you have that security. And you're going to get more and you're pleasure from back a to family. woman raising your kid by yourself with the man who had to dip and got to leave and she got stuck with her problems. What did I just say a second ago? <laughs> I don't have kids, so let's hear what you say. It had nothing to do with kids. I said men rarely initiate breakups, if ever. Women initiate 80% of the divorces. Yep. He might cheat on you, but he ain't leaving. No, he ain't leaving. And women initiate the breakups. Sure. Eventually they get tired of being they're degraded. Cheating. But here's the thing. Men, even if they're not like, if they're not happy in a relationship, statistically speaking, still stay in a relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Women are the ones that break it off, not men. They'll feed you, take care of you, tired of the cheating. watch you, you know. What? They tired of the cheating. That's why Women? they go ahead and file for divorce. No, they file for money. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been married, so I don't know. But I'm just saying, Fantastic. like, so well, if I, I was married, no, I, 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 did have to I wouldn't have get divorced. But I feel you're like you're divorced. No. No, I've never been married. I'm telling you why women file divorce in general. It's financial. Okay. I wrote a book about this. <laughs> so. Okay, we got some more chats here. What? what, what uh, chats? I, no, I the Bronx had some. Go ahead, Bronx. You got some? They were tired. Uh. I forgot what I was saying anyway, because I was trying to actually defend some of your point, but you told me to shut up, so I it kind of like left my mind. So boom, doing number. All right, keep it to yourself now. then. I have a question. <laughs> All right, <laughs> <laughs> this is my chance here. 
Uh, I was keeping it to myself. That's what I said. I thanks. What I said. All right, cool. Um, All right. Uh, Michael, uh, Blackest Panther goes, uh, genuine question for the ladies. Is there any, well, if it comes back to you, let us know. Is there any real benefit to dating a single mother other than for easy sex? Fuck no. bro. How no. is the good bro? Oh my God. Fuck no. a thousand. Uh, nah, you shouldn't take single moms seriously. Yeah, bro. No offense. Uh, oh. As a Why woman that has dated ladies? women, I do not date baby mamas. I'll be very honest with you. Uh, no, I don't. Why Devil not? Dog. I just like I can't take like care of no kids. kid. I, I'm not taking care of like kids. Kid. I don't want to take care of nobody. But kid. it's like realistically oh, speaking, man. if I'm kicking uh, it with I don't you, I want to take care of nobody. Kid, oh, we gotta go on a date and stuff. Like your <laughs> child has no to come mom. with us, and no, we have to be in a situation. We go live in together. Babysitter. You have to. Li- I have to move you in with okay, the child. Kid. No, I feel you, baby. Yo, because I'm just being like. Yeah, even a woman won't date a single. I don't date a single. Man, I have it all busted up. Nah, man. At least she's being honest. She can have herself a little sibling or whatever. I'll date a single father, but that's like really attractive. Because you have kids. Because I have kids. It's attractive that's to see point. a single father. Well, like I would date him. Well, you got to remember that when a woman gets with a single father versus a man getting with a single mother, there's different risks. When a man comes 100%. into a woman's life, he's expected to provide a protect. You said that a second ago yourself. Yeah, I did. So, Yo. but, okay, provide a protect for a girl, a kid that isn't mine. Yeah, a kid, exactly. Yes. That's not mine. So, so it's so, like, that's a decision a you lot have to make. That. No, I'm saying Yeah, it's a, a decision that a man has to make. Yeah, but it's an L decision, is what I'm trying I to say. No, if the man already has children, if the man has children, realistically speaking, I don't know. That's saying that. Tell me, tell, me what benefit, tell me what benefit I would derive from taking on a single mother's child from another man. What benefit do I derive? Oh, I mean, the benefit of the woman, first of all, <laughs> just because somebody has a kid doesn't mean anything. If you go adopt a kid, it's not your kid. So fuck, fuck that's that kid. different. I'm choosing no, that not. kid and I have rights over that. child. You're choosing a single mother. So therefore, you're choosing the child that comes with the mother. Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. a negative for me. No, it's not. But you as soon as you guys break him, up, you say bye bye to the kid. Negative. For so you, we can move but not for every man. There no, are some men that every... will date single mothers. We can move on. <laughs> OK, there are. <laughs> if a man is attractive and has options, etc. It's not in his best interest to date a single mother because logic, logically speaking here, mm-hmm. not feelings, mm-hmm. logically. Yeah. If I get with that woman and she breaks up with me, not only do I lose her, but I lose access to the child. Exactly. And I have no recourse to see that child again because it's not mine. Yep. So mm-hmm. it's an L for a man to come in as a single father and take on another man's child. I mean, it depends. I have all the responsibility with no authority. I can't discipline that child the way that I want. I it depends. Huh? It depends. If you if you go into a relationship with a single mother and let's say the father is nowhere involved and you legally adopt, you <laughs> legally adopt the child you because that's what you choose daddy. to do, you can discipline that child, you can do whatever you want. That's no, your you child. Cannot. Yes, you can. <laughs> CPS you says otherwise. Mother? No, at the end they didn't never gonna discipline mother. them. Oh, the that's why she's defending it so yeah. hard. Yeah. Wow. So you oh. let you let random men hit your child? No, I why don't. But if I'm with anything. someone and no, they no. legally adopt my child, we get no. that far to where they legally adopt my child and they're living with me and we get married and we're together for 10 years. Who am I to say that you can't See, discipline this so child? I spent all that Hell time. Is the problem, 10 right? years, no. God damn. I did a single mother. So I'll tell you this problem, right? Mm-hmm. When, Stupid. Let's say you, you date this guy <laughs> and he gets into your life. He's there long term. You trust him. He loves mm-hmm. his child. Mm-hmm. How far is too far? For example, he might say, you know what? He, he, uh, Threw water on my jacket. I'm gonna smack him. Well, but, first of all, nobody is supposed to hit a child technically by law. See, this is the point. Um, yeah, that, I think but you should get disciplining, smacked. Disciplining that a child discipline is not just hitting a child. So, far. so see, ultimately speaking, he has no oh. authority. You have all, all the authority. <laughs> so no, that doesn't make any don't. sense. You don't. Disciplining a child is not hitting a child. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, no, it's it's legally, not. Legally, okay. legally, you can go to jail for your See, I love stop the show. Yeah. See, here, perfect. Let. So let's say you go with a guy that does believe in beating children. Mm-hmm. Now he can't discipline the children how he wants Facts. because you are the main caretaker. You are the main guardian. So already my ability to raise this child, etc., is already inhibited. Gone. So and I'm responsible for taking care of this kid, pay for this kid, etc., and I have zero authority. That's slavery. Responsibility without authority is slavery. So for you, it's great because the guy comes in, you got a man, he's helping you with the kid, blah, blah, blah. But the guy takes on way more risk. So I tell dudes, single moms, don't take them seriously because there's not much ROI for the man. But yep. well, what if you can't have kids? Then what? The fuck? Okay. Here's the thing. And let's say I can't have kids biologically. I'd be better off adopting my own kid. Yep. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. what's the difference in between adopting your own kid that was created by someone else than getting with a woman? Because, that because is, you have, have legal mother. rights you over have that authority. child. Authority. authority. If you legally authority. adopt a child, you have authority. A lot of single moms will not like that. Exactly. And these men well, are not that's the case. See, but here's that's the thing. Y'all are only looking at it from the female yeah. perspective and it benefits you. So that's why you're fighting so hard for it. But I'm speaking from another perspective. Put your son in the shoes. 
Do you want your son to go in that's successful, that's made himself, go take on a single mom that has a kid? He takes all this I, risk with not much upside? You can't ask me that because I'm have... a single mom, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. If you feel like no, that's... The... No. Yes, I would. No, I promise you, you I would. That's, that's, that's fantastic for you to say that. But the point is, is that there's not much benefit for a man to come in and take in a single mom and her child. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Did y'all yeah. grow up with your father in the household? Yes. Yeah. So you don't know what it's like to have a stepfather? Nope. No, okay, because God. for a child that grew up with a stepfather, it's important. It's something that fix the gap. You know it's better than a stepfather? The biological no. father. Yeah. yeah. No. So, but so, sometimes no, a stepfather no, could actually be no. a better figure they than the actual the biological figure. But, but, but he could have been a better figure. He could, right? But you know what they say? Sometimes He did something bad? Not all the time, but sometimes. You know my dad. What do we do at that point? I'm not. You're my dad. It's like it's like there's Nigga. no authority <laughs> in, that, in that scenario. So to me, personally speaking, it's a bad move for a guy. See, y'all are only speaking. It's from never the gonna be the same. Well, not, also, yeah, a lot of men don't want to overstep the boundaries. Same. They don't want to okay. overstep boundaries. With... No, no, they can't. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. If they wanted to, they can't. It doesn't even matter if they've been <clears> raising the child for ten years. A lot of them just still don't feel comfortable. Like you know, that's still not my position because I did not biologically birth yeah. Yeah. what about a man what about a man a single father though what about a single so father so he's gonna continue craving that a single father is that not means? the same as a, it's see, not a single, single, single man single father, I could actually never see the child here's the thing a single father is not the same as a single mother because as you, when you come in as a man right mm -hmm. to a single mother at some point if that relationship gets serious you're going to be expected to take care of that child from a provisioning standpoint it. and spend money. When a woman comes in, right, and it's a single father, she's not going to be on the hook to take care of that kid financially not like a man financially. will. financially. What's the difference? Unless, 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 unless take care of a okay, child and financially thing, take care of a but, child. But, okay, but again, and you still have to expend a lot more as a man coming in, right, mm -hmm. when you're have a when you dealing with a single mom versus a single woman coming not in with a dad, right, that already has a child. That kid is probably going to be not taken care of Not necessarily. You can't, as a single mother, expect a man to just come in and say, here you go, here's this money, go take care of your kid. Right. You, you say you that, can't, you but can't do ultimately that. speaking, as time passes, that's your man, you got to provide. Yeah. It's simple. So you might say that, but on paper, it's going to end up happening. Once he gets serious, he will but, be responsible yeah. for I'll be honest, for that child. Right. Even me, I grew up with a stepfather, and I will tell you, like, at some points, I did not respect my stepfather because he wasn't my real <laughs> yeah. dad. I would tell him, you're not my dad. You right. can't tell me what to do. Exactly. Yeah. Realistically speaking, and you're I got a real dad, all and, of that. And you're assuming that that is, is not involved with a kid. Because if he is, God forbid. Yeah, then it's even worse. You're even worse. Yeah. If so, the father is in the life, then it's even worse for you as a stepdad. Yo, yep. it's an L to be it's a stepdad, it is, period. It is. Like, I would it, tell my stepdad, I'm going to tell my dad that you put your hands on me. Like, yeah. I remember all of that. It's you're an done. L, bro. You're done. It's an L. Yeah. And again, women don't understand this because women take very little risk when they're the mom and the kid is theirs and the man comes in. But you guys don't understand this stuff because you're women. To you, it's all upside. Oh, I got a guy coming in, take care of the kid, help me out. I got a boyfriend now, kind of a stepfather. It's a W for you all the way. But for a man, it's an L. All the way, all the way. Because of the standpoint. Yeah, well, well, men take more risk when they get with single mothers. Period. Like there, you take way more financial risk, personal risk, liability, etc. No, I get it. That's where the independence it, comes into play. You don't want to be single, but fuck it. Right, let's go for it. <laughs> you said what? Where the you said the independence comes in? Yeah, you don't want a woman that's independent and has her own stuff or anything like that. I mean, if I'm independent and I have everything that I need on my own and I can take care of my kids on my own, why do I need you to financially support my child? Okay, so that's not something that you're comfortable doing. That's not something you're comfortable doing. It's not something that I feel like should be an expectation for someone that's in a relationship. But with for most women that are single mothers, they do expect that at some point, once they get serious with that man, that that man will invest <laughs> into that child to some degree. Especially if they're living in the same household. Exactly. Like, realistically, you're so, going to buy groceries I'm for not, us and I'm not. not so, I'm so, not going to make anybody so you're care me, right? You go to Disney with your family. Who's paying for Disney? Mm -hmm. You or him? I mean, if it's for my children, I would pay for my children. And him? I mean, if that's the situation, then sure. But if he has his own money to pay for him on So you can be a man that you got to take care of. I've taken care of a man, yeah. Mm. For how long? Um, about four <laughs> years. Where's he now? Um, in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case, bro. Yeah. All right. yeah. Uh, okay, where are we at? Uh. And we got 17,000 of y'all watching. Yo, let's kill Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. Guys, come on over to YouTube right now and Rumble. Rumble. All right. We got almost, we got over 20,000 of y'all watching right now live. Um, so what's the next one here? Okay. Blackest Panther. What do you think a quality man would prefer? A woman, let's say, it's, oh, okay. That lives with, uh, okay. Th actually, this is a good question. All right. Ladies, what do you think a man would prefer? A high quality guy, right? 
a woman that's 24 that lives with her parents under their guidance or a woman that lives by herself and does her own thing Man. and why <laughs> let's uh let's start the couch and work our way what's the age let's start she's 24 she lived with her mom yeah I 24 think... lives with her mom okay or a girl that lives by herself and does her own thing go ahead shoot <laughs> Second one. I think um, a quality man would appreciate a woman who lives with her parents more just because Why? she has more guidance at that age. When you're alone and a woman, especially in a big city or whatever the case is, you can't have too much freedom. You can just go roam and do whatever the hell you want. Okay. When oh. you're with your parents at a young age, it's easier for them to guide you and show you the proper way to go, especially at the age is very crucial, transitioning into adulthood. You don't know what the world is. Hold you on. Just... How old are you? Me? Yeah. I'm 22. You live by yourself? Now, only because I go to school here, so okay. I'll just but I have roommates, so all right. What about you? What do you think is more attractive for a, a man, uh, a woman that's 24 that lives with her parents, or a woman that lives by herself and does her own thing? Um, I think I'm gonna say lives with her parents probably because she's I don't know, I think that they'd like that more because, like she said, like if you're alone, you got more freedom, you can do whatever you want, but like also it shows that you got good ties with your family. I don't know if I was a high quality man, I would want a girl that's in tune with her family. Okay. Um. What about uh? What about you? Um. I think the one the lives. Wait. Hold on. You said earlier in your thing that a high value man is gonna want independence. I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. I wrote it down. No, I didn't. I definitely did not say that. Mm -mm, I said I could be independent. I could have my own money, but that's not what I said. That was one of the traits that you said when you deserve a high value man. But we'll continue on. No, I said that I look good. I smell good. I put it on. That's what I said. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you also said independent. I wrote it down here. Smell good and uh. Run it back because I ain't said You said you would support him, cater, you'd be emotionally there, and then you'd be independent as well. I said I could do that, but that's not what he's looking for. I didn't give that as my quality. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Run it back. Let's Run keep the going. Back. Uh, what about you? Uh, I think the one that lives with the parents because she's um, more aligned to what a traditional woman would be. Okay. What about you? Um, would a man prefer a girl that is 24 years old that lives with her parents or a girl that lives by herself and, you know, is independent and on her own? I feel like... Merch. I feel like he would want to... I feel like him having a woman that lives by herself at 24, whatever, would show him that she has a sense of responsibility. Okay. So, so you think for, the independent girl is more attractive? So I feel like for a high... Yeah, I think he would think that because I feel like he would want to add on to her play on top of all, the, all of the... All, she, all he's seen that she can do for herself already. All right. What about you? Independent? Um, no, I kind of felt like that was a question that we already answered. You guys already give us what you want. I mean, so, what do you think? Um, I would say independent. But... Okay. What about you? Independent or lives with parents? Um, I'd want to say independent. You want to say independent? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Why? Only because I feel like, um, I feel like. March. It goes back to like who, where, and what <clears throat> she came from. You get, you get what I'm saying. Like, no, the reason why she became independent. So she overcame struggle. Yeah. Okay. Do you think a man likes a girl that overcame struggle? I do. Okay. Do you think men find trauma attractive on women? Emotional damage. <laughs> Here and there, it depends on the man. In general, I'm gonna I'm I'm no. talk to the chat later. Yeah. No, you think? Okay. No. Are scars sexy on a man? Yeah. Are scars sexy on a woman? I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. What about you? Yikes. I like how she said, "I would hope so." Yikes. <laughs> okay. Um... What about you? I would say independent. Why? Because then it could show him like like that she doesn't really need anything from him. Okay. Because he does, she doesn't need him. Well, not necessarily. Just like that, she doesn't really need much from him. From him, except for like an emotional connection, I guess. All right. Let me ask you a question. Let's say you're walking down the street, right? In an imagination world, right? (laughs) And you see uh, an old lady and she's struggling carrying her bags, right? Mm -hmm. And she's, her house is right there and she's almost at the door. What would you do? Help her. You would help her? Why? Because she looks like she needs help. Okay. So you'd be more likely to help her because it looks like it. 
Yes. Okay. Let's say you see a very strong, able-bodied guy walking around grocery store uh, bags. Would you stop him and say, hey, let me help you out? Mm, no. Interesting. Okay. Mm. We'll keep going. <laughs> what about you? What's more attractive? Um, Independent woman that's by herself at 24 years old, you know, making it ends meet, or uh, a woman that's by her, living with her parents? Honestly, I think from a guy's standpoint, yeah. that's the whole question. Yep. I think living with her parents. Why? Because you, you literally just said it mm -hmm. when you were talking to her. Like, a guy is going to want to, a man is going to want to help a woman who's, you know, I guess, struggling or for whatever reason that she's not independent yet. You know what I mean? Because the man is to provide. The man is to do whatever the man does. So it, he would be more attracted to the girl who's, in my opinion, who who's staying him. with her mom or her dad, whatever it is. Not... I don't think the guy would be more attracted to a woman who's more independent. Okay. Do you know, but why in particular would he be attracted to the girl that's with her parents? Because, well, one, she's like, she's staying. She, well, I don't know. If she, I don't know the specifics. I don't know. If she got to, like, if she has okay. to stay with them or not. Fantastic. But, all right. What shit. about you? What's more attractive, the independent girl or the one that lives with her parents? I'm going with the independent girl. Why? I, I like to see someone on their own upbeat, of their own can candle themselves there's if you're still at home with your mom i'm assuming your mom pays your see but that goes back to just being stuck in the independent world so you're saying you don't like trauma it's not everybody's fault on why at a young age we were stuck to survive survival skills just yes. basics and we're put out here on our own yes. doesn't make us less attractive actually i think it's a stronger point it should make you more fierce it should be mm. more attractive so you think a man would like that more yes i think a man would like a woman with more independence and out on her own showing structure than someone who's sitting at home <clears throat> enabled with their parents. Do you think scars are sexier on a man or a woman? I was raised by my dad who used to tell me scars make you look tough. So I was never told that a scars make you look ugly. Okay. But who actually would find scars attractive? You guys love BBLs and that requires scars to get one. So I'm assuming scars are not an option right here. You guys look back at the dots from them, I right? I mean, if we see it. <laughs> scars do not matter to you guys. You guys love a big old fake voluptuous ass. That leaves scars. Lipo, leave scars. <laughs> Fake so titties, fun. leave if scars. Men, if men were so interested in scars, as you try to say, why do women wear makeup and put all this cream on to try to hide the scars? Gotcha, bitch! If your scars are on your face, not, all, scar women not all women do. Yeah, right back to that. In general, why do women wear makeup? It's not for scars. Not no, for why, do, why do women themselves. wear makeup? To make themselves look better. Okay, to hide blemishes, imperfections, scars. Acne that you guys have. Acne, whatever it may be. Acne mm -hmm. scars. So okay. wouldn't it be fair to say that Beauty in general typically doesn't have scars. No, beauty is not is imperfection. We're talking about it from the male sense, not the female sense. I mean, are we all perfect? No, that's a lie in, in our world too. If we all say we are, but we're talking about what men want. Um, I would hope a man would want an independent woman. It's not about what you hope; it's about what do you think men want. What, what do they actually want? If a man, I've never once had a dude look at me and be like, "Oh, thank God, you need me." <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> Take you to school. That's what my dad did, not what my boyfriend did. My boyfriend didn't send me off to school. So, so you think independent because men are attracted to women that have been through overcome adversity? Yeah. Strength. Okay. All right. Cool. Endurance. All right. What about you? What's more attractive, the 24-year-old that's at home or the 24-year-old that uh, is independent? Independent. Why? Because she has more experience. And if you want to build something big, uh, you need a woman with experience. Do you think men are attracted to experience in women? Say it again. Do you think men are attracted yes. to women with experience? Yes. Yes, because if you want to big something, you need a mindset. So you need experience. You need a person to give their opinion, you know? Okay. Do you think uh, a man values a woman that has experience more or a woman that has less experience? What's more attractive to a man? Depends. If you are secure, you want a woman with experience. If you are insecure, you want a woman with no experience or have the control of, of everything. But is it having control of everything when women want leaders anyway? Can you repeat the question? Is it really men wanting control, but the reality is women want leaders anyway? I don't understand the question. Oh, now you don't understand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, it does, when it makes sense, oh, I don't understand. All no, right. no, no, it's not that. I am learning English. That's why. Okay. 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 Conveniently. Where's uh, Red? What was that quote? Because uh, she said a woman that has an opinion, etc. What was that quote in Spanish again? That everyone famously says that you, uh, I think you went viral for saying this before as well. What's that quote? Calladita se ve más bonita. Más bonita. <laughs> I know you've heard that quote before. Eso es una pregunta, lo que le está diciendo. 
Go ahead, Red. No, no es una pregunta. Es un, phrase. Un decir. Ah, él dice que calladita se ve más bonita. ¿Él dice eso para mí? Es un statement. No. Para la mujer. Ask her, Red, Red, ask her this. If, if, if men care about women's opinions, why is that a saying in every Latin culture? Dijo, si los hombres le importa su, su opinión, porque es un dicho en todos los... Lo, uh, Toda la cultura. Ajá, uh -huh. la cultura hispana. Every culture. Yeah. Bueno, todo lo... No bueno. O sea, Andrea, no me lo sabe decir tampoco. Él está diciendo que sí. el dicho calladita te ves más bonita es común y popular porque en realidad a los hombres no le interesa la opinión de las mujeres. Eso es lo que él está diciendo. Oh, but maybe you don't care about the opinion of women, but not all the guys. Él está hablando are like de you. todas las culturas. Claro, claro. You no can entiendo. generalize. You can generalize. Why, okay, why is uh why is that saying? Which, by the way, for our audience that's wondering, they said a woman is more beautiful when she's quiet. Why is that a saying in every single Latin country, right? If it's if it's just my opinion. <laughs> Nina, translate that. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the translation? Because she tried to say that's my just my opinion. Why is that my opinion if it's a saying in every Latin culture? O sea, si es un refrán tan común en toda la cultura, especialmente latina. It's clearly eh, not just my opinion. No es solamente su opinión. O sea, literal, es un refrán súper famoso y súper viejo. Un dicho viejo. Yes, but that's not me. That is the truth. No es solamente su opinión. You don't know. You don't know all the guys around the world, or maybe the guys ah, I know are different because. Machista. Yeah, you you think all the guys Mucho. are like you. Pero está en todas las culturas. No, no, no. Mira, en realidad él está dentro. O sea, es, es una opinión super popular y en realidad así es que piensan los hombres. O sea, no es no es que él es único y exclusivo. Así es que piensan los hombres. Lo que pasa es que nunca te lo van a demostrar. Porque te quieren, tú sabes. Telemundo. Telemundo. No, no, no. Yeah, it's just funny that she tried to say that that's just my opinion, but that's literally a saying. Whether it's Puerto Rico, Dominican for Republic, generation. Colombia, it's yes, been it has been a saying for generations, but it's my opinion. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What about you? Independent girl. Uh, that's, uh, or the girl that's with her parents. Twenty-four year old. At home. I think for me, if, like as a man with actual substance and probably values, I would rather a woman that's living with her parents at twenty-four. I mean, why? I mean, I'm, I'm Haitian first of all, so I wasn't allowed out the house until yes, I was like twenty-one. Yes, so you already know I was on lockdown until I was like twenty-one. Ain't no niggas sleeping over the crib. Uh -uh. Ain't no, all of that stuff. So for me. Uh -uh. I, as a man, and it that's shows why that she wild out. Yeah. <laughs> that's why she wild out. How's she turned up? She's turned up, She's swinging on her eyes, swinging with the monkeys. But anyway, all right. Let me ask you this. So you think it's the woman that's at home? Let me ask you this. Why did your parents put you on lockdown until you were 21? Why did they go so hard? And then we got Bronx on the couch after um to Why? make sure i guess like to make sure that i had values as a woman that i wasn't just going to be out here in these streets bringing different guys back to the house and also i feel like a woman a girl that's living with her parents that shows you you understand rules you can live in a household with parents okay, and yes. understand like mm -hmm. if there's a curfew like this is what time you have to get um come home by so structure would it, yeah, be, fair structure. Say, would it be fair to say that your parents kept you on lockdown to protect and preserve your value as a woman i definitely 100 mm percent -hmm. 100 mm -hmm. all right uh, Bronx, you got some? Oh, no, I didn't see the bathroom. Oh, yeah, you good. You good. They got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go ahead. Just... All right, what about you? Uh, what, what's, um, who do you think is more attractive? The girl that's at home at 24 with her parents or the girl that's strong and independent that has her own spot? I believe the girl at home. Why? Because mindset-wise, it's more stable other than a woman who's independent and was raised on survival. Okay, let's say she's independent. She makes good money. She makes $100,000 per year. What's more attractive? The one at home. Oh, you still think the one at home? Mindset is everything for men. What's what's her mindset? Her mindset is more capable. But wouldn't it be wouldn't you argue that the independent girl is more capable because she makes her own money? You can be financially capable, but not relationship wise capable. Okay. So you think the other girl's a better fit? A candidate. Better candidate. Better, better fit. Candidate. Get it? Okay. Fit. What about you? Who do you think is more attractive to a man? The girl that's at home uh, by herself, uh, sorry, independent by herself or with parents? I'd say the one um, with her parents. Okay. Why? And 
I'd say that because for my own experience, but I know a lot of girls can relate. I left home at 16 oh, and I wow. went to New York City and I thought like, oh, I've got this figured out. I found a job at 18 that made like $60,000. And I thought I had everything straight, but I was getting treated like shit. I felt like shit. I didn't know anything about the world and I should have stayed with my parents. Mm -hmm. It was until I was 19, 20 that I moved here. They had moved here first that I came living with them that I've seen change and like, you know, more respect around me, more positivity, better vibes in general. So I'd say like, yeah, stick with your parents until you figure out Is your what father you're going to do in the house. Yes. Is he, he is. the head of the household? Yes. Would it be fair to say that the fact that he was head of the household is what contributed to that better environment? Yes. Okay. Interesting. What about you? What's more attractive? A girl that's uh, at home with her parents or strong and independent with her own spot? Um, I would definitely say at home just because from a man's perspective, I feel like a man would want someone who, like everyone was saying, could follow the rules, mm -hmm. can be inside of an environment where you're not just wild and free. And that makes them feel like, you know what? You're here. You're in a good spot. I like that. I can do what I need with you. So very interesting. Most of you guys said a, a woman with her parents. Why did all of you guys make an argument and say that, well, being independent is attractive and having my own things? It's not. Modern feminism has lied to everybody and told them otherwise. 100%. I agree 100%. <laughs> okay. 100%. They brainwash us to thinking okay. we want to be independent. Oh, but... feminism. Well, I'll tell you that. I asked a bunch of girls earlier, you know, a high value man, what do you think he wants and what do you bring to the table? A lot of you guys said your own money, independent, etc. Because you were Go ahead. Go ahead. Who, you, you were talking? Go ahead. Well, oh, go ahead. Well, we'll go to her. I was just saying because honestly, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, I, me personally, I did think, um, you know, me being um, independent was better. But then obviously y'all gotta speak some knowledge. Y'all spoke some knowledge <laughs> and shit, you know, like it's now I see that from a man's, you know, point of view that like how they think it's different. We're thinking of how we think. You okay. Me? What about you? You had something? Yeah. As far as like um, living as growing up independent, I feel like trauma and everything that has taught you lessons uh -huh. can give you better perspective okay. when it comes to a relationship. Okay. You Do you think saying? men find that valuable though? Not most. Men think with their dick. <laughs> Y'all don't think with your brains. No, but if we had a choice between a girl that has experience or a girl that has no experience, what do you think men would prefer? If you're thinking with your dick, you'd want the experience, right? It's more fun no than experience. the thing that just lays okay. there. When it comes to a relationship and taking a girl seriously, do you think a man wants a girl who has experience or less experience? Depends if he wants to be the teacher or not. Are you trying to be my dad, even though I had a dad? Yes. Okay. In general, please answer the question. <laughs> Do you think it's, I, it's cool to be called daddy in bed again? We're going with the experience thing. The unexperienced mom at home is not going to go, especially if she's at home with her dad, it's not going to go call you daddy. Okay, so you think men value experience in women? <laughs> Depends on experience we're talking about. Okay, okay. Listen, you guys listen. don't think overall experience, you think men value sex, that? Though. No, no, so okay, listen. So, they, yes or no? I'm asking her, mm. no. So why are you making an argument for that? Because experience, because you guys still, you're thinking of statistics. None of you guys think with statistics. Like we're doing numbers. You guys don't you use your numbers. You still think with the thing down below, not the thing above. <laughs> okay. So you think men value experience then? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you. What's your body count then? My body count doesn't matter versus yours. Oh, okay. Experience matters so much. I Tell us shame. what your experience is. Dun, dun, How about you? Because you think experience matters too. What's your body count? 15. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't think she was actually going to say it. Multiply by three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah, that too. Uh, I'm 26. Okay, I'm not so, uh, She's also uh, not at 15 to 26. How many girls okay, think so. men value experience? Raise your <laughs> hands yeah, of girls that think that men value experience. Raise your hands. Let me tell you something. Raise your hands. Okay, one, two, three. Three. Uh, who else? But not, Somebody else not on the couch? for the right reasons, though. I feel like... Okay. What's your body count then since you think men value experience? I think it depends. You don't want to give it? No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think it depends though on like the what type of experience. I think most men like want sexual experience. Yes. No, yeah, like, like, like I'm gonna give you first one. one. Oh, he looking for that like, 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 go five no, thousand. Okay. Disagree. I think that's a good one. So, all right, cool. What's your body count then? Late thirties, early forties. I don't got my phone. I, I have all the names on my phone, okay. but I don't have it here. Whoa, but okay. late thirties, early forties. Wow. Oh shit! I I the the so here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Let me give you guys the real deal, okay? You're right. Yeah. Most men would prefer a girl to be with their parents, okay? Mm -hmm. And the reason why that is part. because men 
don't value experience like you value experience. You want a guy that has some gray hairs, been through life, had some adversity, overcame it, made some money, made some L's, became a man. Because becoming a man means you must go through experiences to become a man. Mm -hmm. However, we don't look for the same thing in you guys. A man wants a girl that's untouched. That's why virgins since the beginning of time have been highly valued. Why? Because men, men value women that are inexperienced. You value experience. We value inexperience. That's why I asked you guys, what's your body count? A lot of you guys had an issue answering the question. Why? Because the back of your mind (laughs) says, okay, well, maybe not you, but most girls have an issue with it. Most girls don't want to give their body count because they know that the more experience I have, the more my value goes down. So you can say, I think men value experience. The reality is you know that men don't, which is why girls don't give their body counts, which is why girls don't typically talk about their sexual experience, which is why girls are more reserved about that, which is why girls let the guy make the first move and not themselves. Because women understand that men are supposed to be the leaders because that comes from where? Experience. So men, let me tell you something. If I get in a car with a girl, right? And she's been in a Lambo before, or she's been on a private jet, or she's had certain experiences, you know what I assume? Oh, Mm -hmm. if I see her going to... Turks and Caicos, or I bring her somewhere. She's like, oh, I've been here before. I've been in this Did restaurant, you whatever. Buy? You know what I assume? Ho. She goes around. Ho. So we get around. Men don't get value. It? Men don't value experience like women do. But I have a question. And they also want to be the first experience for a lot. What? Like, they feel more special. Like, they But do you think men don't value, like, sexual experience? Let's say you got a virgin and she just out here, she, she ain't so, sucking no so dick. I'll tell like, you what no, happens, I don't right? do that. And for, and for guys, he wants her. experience, right? Do you know why he wants experience? For a fun time, and that's it. Mm-hmm. But to actually wife up, he doesn't want that. So you won't want to wife up a girl that you know for sure you getting that Glock Glock 5,000 every night. No, she ain't that's wiped a up. great time, a late All night right. snack, and I'm good with it. I'm going to give, okay. give you ladies the Temporary. best advice you've ever gotten in your life. So listen up. You could take it or not. When you deal with a man, he puts you in one of two categories. The sex only category or the potential wife category. Okay, Mm. if you have certain habits or certain experiences that you guys claim you think is valuable, he's going to put you in the sex only category and never tell you that Mm -hmm. he just will hang out with you at two o'clock in the morning, maybe take you out here or there, maybe a day here or there. But he's never going to commit to you because men, just like you put guys in the friend zone, we put you on the sex only zone. We have girls that we're going to commit to and girls we're not going to commit to. The more experience you have, the less likely a man's going to commit to you because men want to be the first one for a girl. Men value purity. Women sell purity. Men sell success. I'm I'm I have a question. Agreed. On Agreed. So, Agreed. Makes sense. But you, you can go ahead like, and talk about Gawk Gawk 9000 all this other bullshit, <laughs> right? But men don't care about that when it comes to wifing a girl. Mm-hmm. We'll fuck a girl that has these things, but we're not going to take you seriously. But do you not believe yeah, some men can question. actually fall in love with a woman based on her sex? I have one a question. Sec, one some one, men one actually, do you think some men can uh, actually fall the, in that category? On the couch. On the couch. Anybody can have the couch. The men that you want that are actually attractive, that have options, that aren't losers, that aren't bums, and have other women that they can pick from? No. Yeah, because yeah. the thing is, what women yeah. want is they want a guy who has options that pick her. And mm-hmm. I'm teaching you guys how to get picked. Not mm-hmm. being a slut, preserving your value, okay? Not having certain experiences, <laughs> not having certain bad habits, not being annoying, not being insufferable. These are the things that make men want to wife you up. And guess what? Younger women tend to have these things, which is why guys gravitate towards younger women. It's all rooted in biology. And you're, mm-hmm. you're describing uh... weak men that fall for the sex. <laughs> yeah. Strong men don't fall for sex. It's, exactly. it's like normal. It's, it's mm-hmm. like, all right, cool. Today, tomorrow. But by the way, Carlton, how many points you want to add in? I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's some guys that I know that, like, they don't like, like, girls that live with a pat, or they feel like if a girl's living with a parent <laughs> or something, they feel like she's not on her on her bullshit, basically. Like, there's guys that I've spoken to, and they don't like that. Like, they feel like she's too dependable. That told you that? Um, Probably exactly. not. <laughs> Probably um, not as successful as other men, no. Because when a man has status and resources and has money, he understands, right, and prefers a woman that doesn't. Men are attracted to the opposite of what you guys are attracted to. Y'all want, you know, competence, strength, you know, uh, masculinity, leadership, whatever. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. Why do I want to date myself? And there's a lot of, that's what I'm saying. A lot of men out here, they want that. Like, they want a more independent person so they don't have to be reliable or have someone who's too dependable. Yeah, the know? men that you want typically uh, like don't An care about that stuff. But yes, man. like the guys, because whenever girls say, "Oh, I want a guy that makes," uh, whenever whenever a girl tells me, "Oh, <laughs> no, this dude told me he wants a girl that's successful, makes money, blah blah blah," nine out of ten times that dude's a bum. Yeah. Or a guy that you never liked He's in the first place. Desperate. Yeah. Question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So back to what she was saying. So mm-hmm. a girl who are you crying? No, no, it was a it was a yawn. Nigga, go home. <laughs> <laughs> you asked her, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. go ahead. Ask it. Sorry. Um, 
So what if the girl became independent because her household was toxic? That, that I, I I get it. You know, sometimes what what I would say to that is this: uh... the world. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that dial up. no one really gives a fuck about your problems. The world mm -hmm. doesn't care well, about your trauma. Then that's the because let, let's flip it. Okay, it let's, flip it. Oh, 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 let's flip it. Let's flip it. Let's say I ate Cheetos all day and drank Mountain Dew because I'm depressed. Would you still give me a date? The answer is no. No. Well, are you, are about you my a really a nice guy? Are you a really nice Come guy? On, man, stop. <laughs> she has a Mountain Dew every day. Like, mm -hmm. yo, you're not gonna give me a chance. So no one gives a fuck about my problems. But nigga, you you literally talking about Mountain Dew and Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking about like family. Yeah, no, Mark, I think I think she had trauma. It's best to not put your emotions on that person. No, no, no. She's missing the whole point. Because a girl that's been through a lot of trauma, right, that went through certain circumstances, she's not attractive, just like a dude who's eating Cheetos and drinking Mountain Dew all day. Yes. I like ambition because of is. my depression. You lack feminine capability because of your depression. Mm -hmm. A girl that's been yeah. through shit, hold on, pay attention. A girl that's been through a lot of shit, what does she have to do? She has to harden up, get it on her own. Yep. She's got to be decisive. She's got to go out work. She's got to go get it, right? That part. Guess what? The world masculinizes you when you have to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want a masculine woman. Mm -hmm. I want a soft feminine woman that hasn't been fucked up by trauma and experiences in life. So I get what you're saying. Yo, I went through trauma. I had to do this. Cool. But in the process of having to do it, you also had to become masculine. And men don't want that. Mm -hmm. Not all men. True. Real men. I have Most a men. question for you, Mark. What do you mean not all men? So that's that's men don't want that. Not all men. Not all men what? Not all men. The men that Say you that want don't want that. No. What? You're you're speaking for all men, but not all men. What man that. would want a masculine like woman though, though? Unless he's gay or something. Like, why yeah, would you like want generalizing? A... Do you like... want a feminine man? You want a dude that's gonna wear heels on Saturdays? <laughs> he don't have to be feminine. No, I'm asking you. Do you want a guy that wears heels on Saturdays? He don't have to be feminine. Answer the question. Do you want a man that wears heels on Saturdays? <laughs> no, you're not answering mine. <clears throat> Whose podcast are you on? Right. All right. So, do you want a man that wears heels on Saturdays? No. Okay. So, why would a man want a woman that acts like a dude? Right. I, I'm just saying, like, yo, y'all <laughs> expect us to accept masculine women. I'm not, you're not gonna accept a feminine man. No. So why should I accept a masculine woman? No. Yeah, sip your sip your like, drink. It, it, I'm just <laughs> saying, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> I mean, you want us to tolerate your fuckery, but you would never tolerate my fuckery. Oh hell no. Why do you think <laughs> some men want that though? They like, don't. You think most, all of them don't? Most guys accept masculine women because they can't do better. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. They settle. They said, yeah. like, men get what a lot of you, a lot of masculine women add a necessity, not because they want to. Yeah. If a man had the option, he would go get a bad they chick settle. that's Hell attractive, yeah. not a pain in the ass, that's cooperative. Most guys have to settle on masculine women because they can't Can do you still better. be attractive and be masculine? No. I have she'll a be, question. She'll be physically attractive, but you, at some point you're going to be like, fuck, this is annoying. All right. I don't want to date myself. I've had a, a others say that it's, in. <laughs> I do a lot of manly traits, I guess, which I would never call myself manly. I don't look like a man or anything. But I've had men tell me it's like dating a best friend. It's like finding a. <laughs> it's good when you guys have international have conversations. Heard that. I've heard that. that yeah, narrative. That, that, it's like dating so, a best friend. Who? Where's your best friend right now? Just because I'm not dating my best friend doesn't mean that it, it doesn't exist. Like, but are you, you aware do? of the fact that men will lie and say it do and say and do anything to get sex, including <laughs> you're including basically... taking your bad habits to try to make it sound like it's a good thing. <laughs> How is a a a woman even entitled to just have in a certain way of thinking like i can't th because me, i was raised with a man i'm not allowed to think like one let me explain for you it's babe. a cool world out here guys thinking like a man's the best that's ever happened to me you. babe you're so hot you drive a truck <laughs> that's so sexy you know what i love that you work hard you know what that gets me hard as fuck <laughs> you ready to go fuck in the back of the dump truck now or later <laughs> I can't wait. now or later do you want to take this baby <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing to me. Oh, 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 it's like really honk, think, honk. Yo, like I told y'all already that one in three men isn't getting laid. It's very tough for men to get sex. So what do they do? They improvise. They lie to girls and tell them, oh, wait, they you're interested dreams. in doing this stuff, etc. Okay, let me go Seven ahead and dreams. appease your ego and whatever you're invested in. So if you're masculine as fuck, you're strong and independent, blah, 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 he's going to say and do whatever he needs to to make you feel good about yeah. whatever the fuck that you do, right? To get laid. I love independent women. That takes care of herself. You know what? That's hot. I like that a lot. Room, room. Dudes vroom, say vroom. do anything to get laid. I don't think women understand that. Like, dudes literally will say anything. Bro. No, Brush. they will. They Brush. definitely will. Brush. Anything. Uh, let's move on. All right. Does anybody else have anything before I move 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a question. Yeah. I was saying, do you think it's ever possible for a woman who has been emasculated so long to ever be feminine? Like to ever That's, that's a really good question. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> please give me some like that. Yeah, please let me know. Be like that like counterpart to that man because she's been emasculated so long in that survival mode. Well, let me ask you this. To the right man, yeah. Let me ask you this. If someone gave you $100 without you working versus you having to work for that $100, what would you prefer? <laughs> the free money? That's sure, feminine. Uh, work for that? it. You'd prefer the free money, right? I yeah. work for it. Right. No. I- Human beings prefer the path of least resistance. So why am I going to go through the tri- trials and tribulations of trying to make a woman feminine that's naturally masculine versus just finding a woman that's naturally feminine? Mm. That's you settling. What? That's you settling. If you have to go look for something else, you're settling for less because you didn't have to it. fix or work on whatever you didn't like it's about not the, settling. the. I mean, if I'm an attractive guy and I have options, why am I going to make life harder for myself and deal with a more masculine woman when I don't have to? That would be settling. If it's not necessarily making it harder for being with a masculine woman. Masculine women are very difficult to be around. Very difficult. How? Not Tell me about it. Because they don't comp- compete. You only compete. We do not compete. We're not trying to compete. You only compete because you're the the knowledge of whatever. What? There's no competing. There isn't. What? A men mas- only take offense to a, a, a masculine woman when you're competing. Like, you guys are competing is why it even matters on what makes me masculine. That's not so you true. don't want a woman to have a job at all. A you mas- literally have said that this whole table, that we have to be at home, live with our parents, so that's what makes like us that's, wanted. That's kind of we crazy. have to be... We gotta be broke. Senseless, broke, <laughs> dumb, <laughs> and quiet. Because if we do any of those, we're not valued. No. They, took, they took everything no, that I said no, no, and no, went no, to the no. extreme end of it and said, this is what y'all want. The masculine no, women is, is just want. more resistance. Or we're... Yeah. There's our standard tie because we're just <laughs> for the job thing. They're yes, saying no, like... I would say I would say no. What comes with being a masculine woman? Because again, I'm able to take accountability and look at my past. Being in certain roles and being in certain like high paying positions. Like I remember me throwing my money at men, like literally telling men, like you ain't shit, you don't talk to girls like me, like nigga, you and your bitch Stop can't. Stop yelling yeah. at me right now. <laughs> like yeah, I literally chill. have said this to men, like you and your bitch can't scrape so... the gum from my red bottoms, and I had to understand. That was me being masculine. Uh-huh. And so I took ego. my role. That was my ego. Me uh-huh. downing a man. It made me feel good about myself in that masculine so energy. Your boy. So I've realized after interviewing 2,000 girls, some of you guys are doomed to be single forever. <laughs> it's Just okay. saying. Um, yeah. Well, sure. let me ask you this. How many of you would support a man long term? Raise of hands for any of you that would support a man long term. She will. I was going to say she was definitely has. has. No, like <laughs> actually, no. Come on, man. Keep it a 1,000 because you didn't stay with those guys. So... Who would actually support a man long term? What's long term? Like oh, you're the breadwinner, he stays at home, and you just he just that's just how it stays. Yeah, he stays at home. You're the breadwinner, you support him. Stay home, dad. How many of y'all? This is making me think of that Tyler Perry movie where she did. You, you three him. on the couch? Any of y'all? Would you guys support a man long term? I can't lie. I date you women, so I'd rather date a woman for yeah, me. I mean, for I me. Okay. I, would, I, would. I mean, she's thirty-two. Right, so, so what kind of support are you talking about? You financially Financial. support him, right? And then he stays at home. What do you go he, to work every day? What does he do at home? Does he no. cook, clean, like everything is taken care of? I don't know. Yeah, 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 what you would do. I don't know. I don't want to be at home. Okay, so we got That's a minority great. of the girls here would do that. That's so, cat. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I don't believe it either. But regardless, the, the reason why men don't care about a girl making money is because most of y'all would not support us if you had the money anyway, which proves my point. That's why we don't care. Yeah. Ooh. It, it's that simple. It's really that simple. Like Women only a are few just of you, more selfish. L- yeah. Only a few of you raise your hands that you support a man long term. So since so few of you would support a man long term, why the fuck should we care about you making money? Yeah, and also a lot of women will tell a man how much she makes financially because she's always preparing herself just in case. You know what I'm saying? She you know always... Saying? She always preparing herself. Like you might not even know she's having this much bread because she's just preparing herself for like whatever goes wrong. Like yeah, if you be. leave, yeah. if you do anything, like Shootouts. she got it. Your time. So, you know what I'm saying? Do what she gotta I, do. I don't understand how that aligns with what we're saying. <laughs> Basically, back to what you're saying. Like that's why men don't care how women are financially because a lot of women don't even tell a man how financially stable they are or not. Some girls actually do. A lot of girls do. A lot of girls try to flex with their money or their oh, career and, and make yeah. they think I it's was attractive. one of them. I'll tell you, I've done it several times. <laughs> yes, we know. Yeah, we know. Um, <laughs> you know, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just crazy. To me Women how, like, are more prone to letting guys into their game room. That's a what? fact. What? Okay, we can move on. What are you talking oh, yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With how much they make financially. Okay, uh, right. Tux Blast. I'm agreeing. Uh, salute, family. Love y'all, boys. Ladies, I'll be watching. <laughs> 
Yo, her outburst makes zero sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, yeah. move on, bro. Zena the witch. Uh, question for the ladies. Would you rather be the side chick to a high status slash rich man without financial benefits or the main girl to an average blue collar man? Both are exercises and options with other women, though. That's a good question. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Yes. So we'll start with... Uh, uh-uh. We'll start uh. right here. We'll start right here with, uh, with you. Um, would you rather be a side chick to a high status slash rich man without financial benefits or the main girl to an average blue collar guy? But both of them are cheating. Which one? Mm, if they're both cheating, like, and I had to choose. Yeah. I'm going with the high status because at least I'm going shopping. You said you're not spending no without, financial 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 without financial benefits. You might get a dinner. So you would have to work to become the main girl. You might get no, a drink or two, dinner no, or two. I'm going to take his card and I'm going to go shopping. So. <laughs> it's not an option. It is an option because I'm go, going to take you're it. Going to <laughs> He's not giving it up. Like, you're openly. going to jail. You're yeah, going to fine. jail. That's fine. I'll do my time. Okay. okay. Oh, I, I would say the um, blue collar man <laughs> because it's less drama. It's less, you know, it's just no, like whatever. Move on. Okay. All right. Whatever. What about you? Blue collar guy? Or... Main girl. Always. Okay. So, so blue, the, blue collar. It's a blue collar guy. But he makes 40K a year. Doesn't matter. Main girl. But they're all cheating. He's cheating on both sides. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Main girl. Okay. okay. All right. I'd probably be the main girl to the blue collar guy because, like, realistically speaking, it's going to make probably, like, make my ego feel good. Like, I'm going to look better than most of his side chicks. If you just a blue collar guy, you make your 40K. Come on. You, you, man, you out here fucking with rats out here. And I'll, I'll probably make fun of you and stuff like that. It'll just boost my ego up. So I'm just being very honest. Are you, go- are you going to be able to respect that man, though? Hell no. I'm going to talk shit about his side chicks. Like, look, all talk to his fat girls. Look at you with your baby mamas. You ain't shit. I'm the best that you can do. If you out here cheating, so you're gonna I'm being real. I'm going to ask a masculine woman because I have to, bro. Yeah. All right. What about you? What do you choose? You say, both are cheating? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't choose nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, to choose. You, you have, have to choose. Have to no, because I don't choose. like my guy cheating on me. Yeah, so I, I don't know, choose nobody. Okay. Are, are you aware that pretty much all men cheat? In an instance. <laughs> no. I don't think all men really? cheat. I don't yes. think all no. men cheat. <laughs> Some men <laughs> instance, Some you people were actually cheating have on. values. Bro, Some people have values. This is why you don't like my answers. This is my answer. You make my answers. How about, how, how about this, right? Let's <laughs> say none of, them, none of them are cheating. None of them. Who would you pick? Ah, okay. The blue collar man. The manger. <laughs> okay. He's still cheating, by the way. All right. Let's move forward. He's still cheating. Okay. Every nigga cheat. Not all men what cheat. Like, what if yes, the man gave do. his life to Christ? Every man cheat. Like, no. Not Every all men cheat. cheat. Wait, not all men cheat. Period. Every man cheat, period. Every man cheat, period. Most do. Yeah. Whether it's period. with you or not, they have cheated. Most do cheat. What are you choosing? This is a good debate. <laughs> Y'all want to know why they cheat real quick? Because if you guys noticed, I asked you guys what you guys bring to the table. Most of you guys bring the same shit over and over. So you're not that special. That's why they cheat. Pretty much. But yeah, you don't I think n- some men actually yeah, have values? Some men are afraid to get STDs. Some men like, yeah, actually have morals. Like, put a condom on. No, I buy you guys is special. We're going for the blue no, you can still get an STD with a condom. They're way rarer than you are. You just don't operate on numbers. You just argue to argue. Debate. Hold on, but she was speaking. White the debate is intellectual discourse. This is just her arguing, arguing. I'm picking blue collar, honestly, just arguing. for the main girl. Doing that all night. <laughs> so you're gonna go with the blue collar? Yes. To cheat? Is Columbia else? leaving? No, no, no. Oh. no, she'll be back. What about you? Uh, honestly, <laughs> I thought you ran her off. <laughs> honestly, so the question: you You're not really the main girl if he's cheating on you. Amen. So not the main girl. So if you're not gonna be the main girl either way. Why not? Better be and you're not even getting that even That's getting not benefit. true. What do you mean? If you're the main girl, you have that place in his life. It doesn't uh, matter if he's cheating maybe or not. Maybe what place if he's cheating on you? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. No. Like I said. <laughs> no, no. You're the main girl in his life. You get you get the most energy out of it. The energy. most cheating yeah. energy? I don't I get it. Does it matter? Yeah. Yeah. You get the most energy. Yeah, but it's about the question. It's not about the circumstance. I guess. It doesn't matter. We all look retarded. I guess. Exactly. My bad, my bad. The, you think I your guess, guys fucking other chicks? Look, I'm fucking other chicks. <laughs> That's not the question. Do you think your guys getting other girls? It wouldn't be a problem with me if he was. Okay, so so clearly your own guy cheats. <laughs> Is it cheating? But it's not cheating if she knows about it. If she knows about it, it's not cheating. I mean, whether, 
So that's an be- open relationship. Oh, 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 oh. That's not cheating. You're telling me you can fuck other niggas too? Hey, he's cool with it? He. <laughs> <laughs> and then all I the men's faces come in. I choose to fuck <laughs> bitches. But you, but okay. But so- I have the option. To fuck other guys, but I oh, so prefer. A, other are y'all bitches. even in a relationship then? Yeah, I, th- I think y'all are just fucking, and that's so what look, it is. you said yourself. Nah, 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 nah. You said yourself, or I don't even know when that he's guys... scamming you out of a relationship. <laughs> yeah. She could be in an open drugs. relationship. There's dynamics like that. Yeah, that's an open relationship. Nah, di- there are literally dynamics like that where is there both a part, there's like, most of those end. There's an understanding. There's an understanding. Most healthy masculine men that aren't pussies will not allow their girl to have sex with other men, period. But I'm Facts. not fucking other guys. I'm fucking other girls. And should we do it together too? Yeah, so... but, but him even giving you the option. Oh, should he actually give you the option? Yes. And y'all are actually in a real relationship. He claims you. Does he claim you as his girl? Yes, it has been for the past five years. But he lets you fuck other guys. She yes, but girls. I don't go and do that. Like, I don't do that. Like, I have the option to, but I'm not like, damn, Someone's I want to fuck you. Damn, I want to fuck you. I mean, you. some people, like I said, some people are swingers, Myron. Like, you can just take that Someone's into account. Some people have <laughs> open like, relationships and open thing, dynamics like the that. The whole thing, like, yeah, it's always most, like, it's a generalization. He's just not part of the generalization or whatever the fuck well. you said. I wish you guys the best. Sign off here, bro. Yeah, yeah sign off. Or... I, I think he don't claim her. They just have sex with each other and kind of have a pseudo relationship. I don't think he claims her. Because most guys, if they're with a chick and they actually like her, they would never have her be open to other dudes. At he's all. In the if street. he actually likes her, is he still going to cheat on her? But if he's in yeah. the streets, is he going to tell what? a girl? If he actually likes her, is he girl? still going to cheat on her? Yes. That's the difference. If a woman oh loves and marries So this is a you. non-debatable <laughs> argument. Like, it's like that in street, like my... doing U-turns. Double Are men and women the same? From a man's perspective. No. I'm asking her. Are men and women the same? No. We're different, right? So it gives you guys the okay to think like. Okay. Do we look at Do we look at sex the same? Why do we get hold on a on a on accountability hold on. for it? Answer versus the question. You don't have to. Do Do women look at sex the same way that men do? No, we don't. Okay, we don't. We look for our next relationship. You guys look for your next off. Oh, so you're aware of this yet? You're because still I'm disputing. raised by a man. It's a cruel world. I think like one okay. too now. So pimping ain't easy. I no. know. All right. So here's my thing. A guy can have sex with other girls and still love his chick. If a girl has sex with other <laughs> dudes, she definitely doesn't love her man. What makes you think so, sure? Mm. Because mm. women can only serve one master. Mm. It's not the same. <laughs> What if, oh, what if I, I mean some know. women are like as sexually liberated? I'm not saying it's right, but we're living in a time where women are but... sexually liberated. Like you have some women that will cheat on their man because his dick's small. Like yep. like so realistically they, speak, she could love her man. man. She could love everything, but her side nigga, you nope. know, slanging at ten inches, nope. and she got to work with Ooh. three inches over there. Like, no, look, man, look, mm-hmm. y'all can say whatever the hell you guys mm-hmm. want to say, but the reality is this: if I lined up 100 girls, they would prefer to be with a high quality man and only fuck that man. Versus be d- dating 10 dudes and fucking them that are all subpar. That's what it right. is. Most girls fuck other dudes because they have to and can't get the guy that they want. So they kind of have to pick and choose. This guy is good looking. This guy has money. Right. Okay, let me go ahead and get all my fulfillments met by five guys. But most girls would prefer to have all those qualities in one guy. Now, let's switch it. Right. For a guy, he can have the baddest chick ever, does everything that he needs. He's still going to want to have sex with other women. Period. A man by himself can satisfy a woman. Um, a woman by herself cannot satisfy a man. So you guys are unsatisfable? Yes. Sexually <laughs> speaking? So yes. Yes. Mentally yeah. speaking? So it's sexually speaking? Mentally? Because you think you're not your fucking Sexually speaking? Sexually speaking? I agree. So you, you guys cannot... need to go to church Yo, so you have a lust issue. Can you be quiet and listen for two seconds? I'm listening. That's the problem. You guys just keep talking when I'm explaining what the hell it is. You will never sexually satisfy a man by yourself. Period. Men want variety. I agree. You go into a nightclub. Why does a guy? Why does a dude at the table have thirty bitches there? You go on a boat. Why does he have fifty bitches there? Because they can never have music enough. Video, why do they have a bunch of bitches there? Because yeah. men want quantity. So, yep. but why you gotta cheat and lie about it? Like, why not find a woman that's gonna be? Because y'all can't handle the fucking truth. I've been saying yes, it all show. Y'all be crying. Yeah. Yeah. There's somebody for everybody. You say she a good one. You can be honest with it. Listen, no, hey, I'm not a one woman type of uh, guy. Listen, it's the lie and the cheating. Most women are not like you. Oh, I get that. Get some different. Go ahead. I'm different. I'm you just confused different. because you're sitting here telling us that regardless, men cheat. Cool, that's great. I agree. But mm-hmm. you're trying to criticize her for being in an open relationship and letting her man. Because it's not, because biologically speaking, women are not designed to do that. Yeah. Women are designed to have mm-hmm. the highest quality mate and consolidate on that mate. Men, however, are designed to have the most mates. We don't care about quality like you guys do. So what's wrong with her letting her boyfriend fuck with other girls? I didn't say there's anything wrong with that. She never said she fucked other men, though. She yeah, said that the I'm, option is there. I know, as I mean, a man, 
for him to allow her to have that option, that's strange. Something's off. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. does she really allow her man? I mean, come on, man. Like, this is her Sorry. Instagram right now. Oh, let so, me see. Oh, 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 Oh shit! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. Look at that ass, though. Hey, yes. Hey. <laughs> I knew someone was off. Her man, nowhere to be seen in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, business. Don't be mad now. Pictures worth a thousand words. That's a thousand words, bro, or that lack thereof. <laughs> I mean, that's only fast yes. marketing, but I get it. You're right. You're right. Don't show your man. Okay, cool. What about you? Um. The blue collar man. Why? Um. Cause you're boring. No. Oh. 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 You ain't chill. Oh. Oh. Chinese over here trying to give her statement. <laughs> oh my god. Um. It's just personally, I wouldn't choose either one, so I'm just choosing one because I have to choose one. I got you. What about type you? shit? Me? Honestly, if I had to choose. Neither. Bruh. Do you have a pick one? <laughs> Side piece, main piece. I main one, only one. What you He's say? so cheating, so you're not the only I one. I said it's the main one, only one. Okay, so blue collar. What about you? Um, I'm going to say blue collar. Why? Because there's more security. Okay. Is but, there, though? Because he makes less money. It doesn't matter. There's no financial benefits with the guy that's up there in high class. Just because he makes less money doesn't mean he still doesn't Would you financially work your way become support a main you. You can, you can work your way. That wasn't in the question. Well, I mean, it's just common sense. I mean, you can work your way and become the main girl. How many side chicks really work their way up and actually if a man is the main girl? Talk, please. I'm sorry. Damn, you be God damn. Right. God damn, nigga. You be masculine as fuck, bro. That's, that's a masculine trait right there. Not as fuck. She said Let some real shit, okay. though. Okay. Go ahead. If a man is married and he's been married to his wife for 20 years and you're a side chick, you really think there's potential for you to be the main chick? You think you can work that hard? Well, 20 years worth of marriage? Value for a period of time and shit like that, you might get some benefits. Nah. It, that wasn't Facts. in the question. That Facts. was not in the question. Facts. That's real. See, the problem is that girls don't want to have to work for the men anymore. That's what it is. Longevity. Right. What about you? What about you? Um. Keep the question up, Chris. You you read about what you were saying. That it is true, but I guess I probably do the blue collar only because, like, you could do forty k per year from New York. Honestly, mm. expensive. Like I don't know. Like, but either way, I'm not getting like I, like they said the, in the question. We're not receiving any benefits from the high maintenance guy. So, but like you said, if you want to work your way up, yeah, then obviously you could work your way up. But yeah. You got to be willing to do the work, obviously. Are you willing guys, to do the work the, is the question. Guys, in the question, I'm sorry. I mean, I either way, if, if I'm going <sighs> to... Lesbian, I'm specify, sorry I didn't ahead. specify in the question. It's like, would you rather be the side chick of a high-status man? When you start out with any high-status man, I didn't say the man is married. He's just a high-value man. You always start out as a side chick anyway because he's going to explore his options. He has multiple bitches on the rotation. So would you rather be a side chick or just be the main girl? Because the average man is just going to choose you more than likely. You can work your way up to be the main girl for the... The high value guy, but you okay. still have to, you know, go through the vetting of like a year or two with the. Okay, with that. so yeah, yeah you and can then, get there, but you got to do the work. And in all reality, like if he have forty k, if the blue collar have forty k, I'm probably not even getting financial benefits anyway. So, so which it's one is like, better? So I guess I probably will be the side. Like I'm be the main, but I'll like I don't know. Like it's hard because <laughs> okay. I honestly don't date but men, both but of them I'll are be like a hype mate. You don't date guys? I don't. I are, don't. Are you lesbian? I am. I never. I never had a boyfriend. Never did a guy. Well, come on over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's like Makes not sense. so easy to answer these. So wait, you're a lesbian and you've been <laughs> answering all these questions. <laughs> because I have a lot of homeboy. Like I see a lot. I have trust me. I see a lot. Like I have a lot of friends and like Bruh. I have a lot of homegirls too. Hell, Chris. All right, Chad. Hell, Chris. Uh, she got invited by uh, Messi over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so hey, Bitch, listen, I'm this, man. No, Chris. All right, fantastic. God, damn, you brought a lesbian on. Bruh. All right, what about you? I'm weak. Um, the main girl for the regular guy. Yes, blue collar guy. All right, mm -hmm. cool. What about you? 
I'm going to say if they both exercise in their options, I might as well go big and try to bag the, the high, yeah, high, the side, quality, the side, high quality. Okay. I don't need my sauce. You know, That's smart. Might actually compete. Might as well. I mean, I'm not going to settle for the 40K. Okay. That's smart. That's what I'm right. <laughs> she playing games. Okay. Yeah, I believe in my sauce for sure. Wait, a question. Are you a lesbian? You asking me? Yes. No. So why the fuck you invited her? I didn't invite her. I invited she hit you home. up first and she invited me. <laughs> L Chris, L Chris, <laughs> who the fuck? Are L Chris in the chat. Bro, okay, right. good, fantastic. No, Zena. All right, what about you? Goddamn, oh, Zena. Um, <laughs> only difference between the Chris, main chick and the side chick is that, I mean, only similarities. That they're not, they're not the only one. Regardless, you still got to compete with other riches. Whether he's a broke nigga, whether he's a broke nigga or a rich nigga, you still got to compete. So, you rather cry in a Honda or Ben? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Since I heard that. Fair enough. Uh, did anyone else have something? Someone was trying to say something over here. Well, I, I did have a question. Go no, ahead. no, no, no. You got two questions, nigga. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Three hours in, nigga. Three hours. Yeah, three hours in, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Too ready, man. Too well, ready. it was going back to, I guess it was the point as the being the side chick to the, um or competing to be the side chick or to be the main chick to the high value man. And my question was, how many side chicks actually like get a promotion and be the main chick? Wouldn't her odds be the same if she just stayed the side chick? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what comes with the territory. You always have that risk. Okay. that was. Yeah, there's always that risk. I mean, you can be everything to a regular guy or be something to a higher status guy. And that's what it comes down to. What I've realized, though, is that most girls would rather share a winner than have a loser to themselves. <laughs> yeah, can I change my answer? Instead of, <laughs> instead of blue collar man, I would say the high value man now. Okay. I've what made you change your mind? Because it's right. Like, why stay with the man? Obviously, the high value man has like i'm not gonna fight for him but again i'd rather be hanging out with somebody that's intelligent and smarter and made their way up i'm not saying maybe he's i'm not trying to i want to say like an intelligent man that well the blue collar guy could be intelligent too right. he just won't be able to give exactly. you the same well, i mean i mean exactly. also financially intelligent because okay. that's yeah, what that's the real answer i'm yeah like okay. settle, yeah, so, um how are you a side chick if they're not like in a relationship or married like how, how are you Oh, yeah. well, because, I mean, when you're with a guy that has women, you're always going to end up being a side chick. So then how are you the main chick with a guy that's cheating on you? Because well, he's, he's not cheating. Because you can have a... Well, here's the thing. Because regular... you can hold a title. Because when get... Okay. When men deal with women, you have girls at different levels, okay? Mm -hmm. You have a girl that's your main chick, right? That's the girl that gets, you know, the affection. <laughs> she might... She, she That's the girl you give gifts Travel. or trips or whatever. Yeah. She gets certain benefits, right? And then you got girls that are like maybe side chicks or girls that are just hoes. Remember the whole the whole sex only category that I mentioned? Mm -hmm. There's a there's girls in that category. There's girls that you take serious. There's girls that you'll sit there and listen to problems of. There's girls that you would never talk to outside of sex. That so sucks. it depends on the girl, right? Where the girl okay. falls. But only a minority of men can actually do this. Very small minority of men. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else? Nope. All right. Well, next one. Uh, Miami Dade Police goes, we outside waiting for these criminals. Thanks for the business, boys. We got you. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's wow. For, you better be careful uh, uh, for, for you two because you got the scammer boyfriend. And then <laughs> Allegedly. Fuck 12. Fuck 12. Allegedly. You seem very sad. What, what's wrong? Was it because they pulled your Instagram up? No, I'm not sad. I'm just... Your Instagram looked great. I was about to say, she's bomb. Um, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can pull mine up next if you like. like... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, rise your shine. What's worse, a man in a relationship buying another woman a car or a woman in a relationship having relations with another man? Bad question. Mm. That was that? a horrible question. Bad question. Bad question. Bad question. Bad question. Bad question. Yeah. Well, that well, man that question. Okay. The man is showing that he cares. He cares about the sure. other woman. So. Fresh of balls. You handle business in Vegas introducing Amber to your Bayesian pipe. Now it's time to do the same. With Christina, we hear your cheeks calling. Fresh is the booty whisperer. Once he starts clapping cheeks and lights up ET, fresh, take it away, my brother. <laughs> yeah, next, uh, next, next, next. Yo, chill, bro. Uh, Jork can dance. Let, uh, Drugs. A joker is bad. can dance. Mohammed, thanks. Drugs. I appreciate your your love, bro. Uh, but we don't got to give oxygen to bums. Uh, joker can dance. Thirty bucks, ladies. Myron is an expert who's talked to thousands of y'all. It ain't even fair at this point. All your problems could be solved if you listen to him. I don't think they give a fuck, bro. Uh, yo, I've not big up. Peaceful protests will be held across the globe at Romania embassies in support of the Tates. Tell your fans to attend and please not be knuckleheads. It's peaceful. We have to uh, be positive and strong reflections of Andrew and Tristan. Yep, absolutely. That's awesome. Uh, AMS uh, goes, like the motherfucking video. Is that, is that really? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, what's up, Fresh and Fit? Myron, the lay stat has now changed. It is actually two 
out of three men are not getting in, in, it in. The news is so big that they're even discussing it on CNN. Getting serious out here. Guys, get your status up to the victor goes to spoils. Damn, so it's even worse. So yeah. 66% of men are not fucking girls. Are these men that are also in relationships or are these single men? Okay. Uh, these are guys single. that don't even have the cap- they don't have anything. Well, to be fair, uh, OnlyFans money is going up then. <laughs> if that's the case. Yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you did you guys real quick? Did you guys know that a, a majority of men were struggling with women like that? Did any of you guys know that? Raise your hands if you knew. <laughs> you did? You did too? Well, Anybody can, else on the couch? On the show before. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we could all guess that. Yeah. Yeah. You could guess it, but would you actually guess it? You Did could you see that in not. reality. Yeah, yeah because if you're not balling, women's not going to pay attention. No, I, I think, never know because a, a lot of guys men be capping. Struggle. Men like to they put do. their yeah, egos A lot high. of guys be all right, capping. All right, one at a time, real quick. Um, Somebody on the couch has something, then we'll come back to the table. Go ahead. Somebody on the couch. Yeah, I was just saying, of course, because if you're everyday men, women aren't going to look at you twice. But I mean, it depends on demographic, too. Like, we're in Miami, so you have to be realistic, you know? There's a lot of competition <laughs> amongst men. Like, like I said, women. <laughs> Our gold diggers. You don't think they're gonna? She took the Sorry, money. they're okay. gonna go and talk to a man who they know can provide. Anybody you know? else has some over there? But yeah, definitely they're gonna talk to a, a thing, man though. that could provide before they talk to someone who just looks so regular and typical. Like they definitely gonna go over the man who look like something, right? Women for the man who look like standards. can't even buy. Who's gonna complain about me ordering order sh- order things on a menu for dinner? Okay. Uh, somebody else has some over here. They're trying to say something. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to say, fuck you, Jonathan Sparks. He probably single and broke. <laughs> he don't even know how to capitalize letters. He said none of them deserve or, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, That's crazy. Going on his grammar. That's why he paid out. $50. So yep. Go back to high school. I mean, but he, oh he is telling the truth. I, I, He's probably not a high value. The, the reality is that most of you ladies don't really deserve and or qualify for a higher status guy. <gasps> To be honest with y'all, that's your Most opinion. Yeah, Most yeah, but you don't really know us. You just asking us it's all these your opinion. No, questions. I'm gonna take my like, okay. Fact. I'm gonna take you know what? How about this? How many of y'all think you qual- Wait, all of you guys think you qualify for high value, right? <laughs> all of you guys did. Yeah, we all did. Yeah. Okay, and every other girl that comes on the show also thinks that they qualify. <laughs> How many of us actually have high quality men? <laughs> All right, but, no, 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 yeah, there, there you go. Thank you. Someone's using their brain. Yeah. So, because I mean, actually have one. I got seven. I got seven. Seven's a good lucky number. <laughs> you got a guy that you're supporting. I got. She does. You got a criminal. <laughs> oh, oh no, you're the criminal. criminal. Sorry. <laughs> She's the hustler. Like, have, oh, you got one? Yes. Oh, you're working on it. All of a sudden? Yes. We're in the team. No, she's in the team. I think you're the ting. (laughs) She's getting tingly. I I, I think that's what it is. I think you're the ting. It's your opinion. It's my opinion? Yeah. Why do you think it's my opinion? Because you're going out based off notes of things that... I'm going off of your answers. No. I think that's pretty accurate. I really don't. (laughs) Our responses lead to our mindset, is what he's saying. Nah. So then what have you been saying all show? Well, what exactly constitutes as being a high value? Please let her answer. I'm sorry. Let me answer. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, you're trying to judge off our. I'm going off your answers. Yeah. You're judging our character off of podcasts. That I've asked you questions on. Not fully. I mean, you're. Yeah, I mean, I, I asked you what you bring to the table for a high status guy, and a lot of other girls said the same exact traits you said. Okay. See? So that means you're not that <laughs> special. Apparently, to you. I mean, you. if you're saying the same exact thing as all the other girls. To you. To me. To you. Okay, tell me what makes you special then. To the have, other guy. I don't have to tell you. Exactly. Yeah. There's no, there's, you You are not that much different from other women. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what you say. It, it should be apparent is what he's stating. Nah. If it's not apparent, then it's not your best foot forward. Nah. Why are can, you here? Yeah, can you, can you tell me why you disagree then? <laughs> exactly. What huh? I said. Why are you still here? Why are you special then? Prove me wrong. Because I am. How? I don't need to prove myself. My presence is. <laughs> Your presence is special. Yeah. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. <laughs> For the Bible tells me so. <laughs> Cut her some slack, <laughs> man. Hey. If you wanted to leave, just be nice. I'm just asking questions and waiting for a response. Like, I'm not the one making her look crazy. Yeah, he's not. He, he ain't doing too much. I'm just know. asking simple yeah. questions and just listening to responses, trying to see down, where her head at. And I'm telling you, quite frankly, that you know, a higher status guy might not go for somebody like you. I mean, like, why you when there's other girls that bring the same exact thing to the table that you bring? 
and you got some baggage. You've been through some trauma. You're supporting some random guy in Texas. <laughs> like, uh, uh. no, I said I was. Also, you're not doing it anymore. No. Did you, she not say a second I can't ago? even lie. You yeah. did say. You did. Yeah. You were single. Yeah. You're single. Uh, uh, he sends you. You send him. Yeah. yeah. Blahzy blah. He doesn't send her anything. Full cap, my nigga. Yeah, she <laughs> said it. Cap, bro. I can't even lie to you. But... Yeah. You're full cap, man. Up. There you go. I know I'm not crazy. Uh, <laughs> you... All right. Jonathan Sparks. <laughs> After listening to these women, none of them deserve a high value man. They only offer disruption. Green shirt is so delusional. Play this back, 304. Your future selves is begging us to bring back shaming, negative behaviors, relationship status, cats. Fair enough. Uh, I am TMK goes, guys, I have such a headache with all these mental gymnastics. (laughs) Go smoke a blunt, bitch. Oh, Oh my God. Master Hansel, uh, ladies, raise your hand if you watched the previous podcast before tonight. I'm really surprised at how delusional this panel is tonight. I don't think any of the girls have seen a show. Maybe I one. Have. Yeah, we have. I've, I've have. seen it, but I've not the clips. Not the one oh, from clips. last night. Okay. AMS, you're not faithful if you advertise yourself. Ooh. How many girls have sexy photos of themselves on Instagram? What, what, is, what, is, what is sexy? Nah, I, I don't know. Oh, like that. When you're single, though, you're, who has a man but has provocative photos of themselves besides her? Anybody else? What is provocative? I have videos of me on the pole to promote my business, but as is that considered is that considered provocative? Me on a on a pole? I mean, yeah, if you're not wearing clothing, business, yeah. I have clothing on. I do have clothing on, but I mean, regardless, clothing. that's a guy's business. Thing, like, but I need, I need skin to be on the pole. Like that's the part of being in pole fitness, right? Pole. right. But the guy pole is going to be like mm. pole fitness. Yeah, just do push ups. Yeah. God damn, the fuck? <laughs> it's not the same. It's not. All right, how many of you think your wife material? <laughs> Who thinks that their wife material? All right, pull up Columbia's Instagram. Pull up uh, her Instagram. Uh, who else thinks they're white material? You did too, right? Mine okay. Is private. Now let's pull up uh, the scammers' Instagram too. <laughs> uh, let's see if they're really white material. Chris, you got it, right? Um, yeah, they're below. He'll, he'll pull them up here in a second for all the girls that think that they're white material. I count of four, right? One. Who else? You. Oh, well, okay. One. Oh, you too. <laughs> all right. One, two, three. You got it, Chris. You see who 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 got their hands wait, up? Keep wait, their hands wait, up, ladies, so he knows. Oh. Keep it strong. She's pulling some Instagram right. stuff. Look, right. well, now everybody uh, wants her Instagram pulled. Almost pull. every girl thinks their wife material. Fantastic. Everyone uh-huh. wants her Instagram pulled up. No, okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go on to the next one. I mean, it's already in the description, so we don't need to pull them up. But this is just going to be funny. All right. <laughs> where does a man, uh, where does a man find a high value woman? Because I'm out here in these streets, and it feels like they don't exist. Thank well, you. Why are you in the church? Church? Why are you in the streets? That's your problem. Yeah, looking for women in the streets. Bar, the streets. Bar and in, and uh, in that's a big YouTuber top water show to him. Yeah, you ain't gonna find him in the streets, bro. You're you ain't gonna find, you ain't gonna find a, a wife in a club. Like when men go mm-hmm. to the club, they're looking for somebody to fuck, for a hookup, to, like, to hook up with. I didn't know what, All right, what men was being. Relax, chill. <laughs> she said she has to let her speak. No, no, no. Hey, 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 yo, chill. Let her speak. I'm saying, like, you're a lesbian, you know. No, but it's the truth. I have a lot of homeboys. They do the, they, I see it for myself. You see it for yourself. I mean, this might be a controversial take. I don't think there's a such thing as a high value woman. Oh. Mm. I think, and and what I mean by that is because the thing is, is that women already have value. Okay. Women are born with value. They don't have to earn their value. It's treasure treated as such. A woman is only high value when she can pull a high value man. And then him giving her his last name is what makes her high value. I feel like a high value woman is someone who's untouchable. Untouchable. What do you yes. mean by untouchable? Beyonce. What? Untouchable. She's not. Beyonce she's is actually not reachable. Woman. She's not reachable and she's not used up. Okay, you were right with the used up part, preserving yeah, exclusive, her value. Exclusive. But yeah, I mean, I would I would argue that Beyonce is not a high value woman because she's she, the things that she has that make her valuable aren't traits that men care about. She has status and money. She's a famous it's singer. Just cool. But men don't value clout in women. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But you don't think any other dude would wipe up Beyonce okay. if they had the chance? What? You don't yeah. think any other dude would wipe her up if they had the chance? Well, just, they'll just wipe her up status? for money and the status, but they don't really mm-hmm. care about the, that. That doesn't like mean that. that he's happy or satisfied. Yeah, like, like I mean, Jay-Z ch- cheated on Beyonce. Oh and she ain't go nowhere. <laughs> because Jay-Z has more empire. value. Yeah. Jay-Z has more value than Beyonce does. Status. From a sexual market standpoint. Mm. Because... Jay Z can easily go get another bad twenty-one year old. Beyonce can't find another Jay Z. Mm, that's, that's a true. fact. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Women that's are replaceable, fact. and I hate to say it like that, but once you reach a certain status as a man, y'all all are pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. Women are not that special. That's why 
a guy can easily have 5, 10, 20 girls and women are okay with that. But men are not okay sharing women. Women are okay sharing men, but men don't do it the other way around. I have another good also question for you, Mari. Yes. That's also because so, of sperm and eggs. You're right. You're right. <clears throat> My question was, yeah. girls who do stuff like OnlyFans or IG Miles, sexy content, you don't think it could just be like image is just switching and turn off or on does it really define them as a person or their character okay, when it comes that, to dating that, that, that's a good answer Plays that's a good part, question because they're just monetizing you know yeah well okay what if I came up to you in the club and I had baggy shorts and a white t-shirt on and it was dirty would you give me a chance <laughs> would you give me a chance are you trying to say that first impression no. like, would, it, would it give you a chance answer the question no, 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 no. you wouldn't right Holds you judge a book by its cover but you know I'm a multi-millionaire I'm successful but you ain't give me a chance right I'm sure. It's okay. perception. So it's the same exact thing. They call it how they see it. A guy, right? If I see a chick on private jets on her Instagram, sexy photos, she in the Maldives, she in Dubai, etc. I'm gonna assume she's a hoe, even though she might have paid for all of it herself. But am I gonna get gonna sit there and get to know and see how she actually funded the trip? No, I'm just gonna assume that she's a hoe because it's a stereotype. Stereotypes, whether people want to accept it or not, typically are based in reality. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Most girls that have these types of pictures are hoes. Mm -hmm. Bitches don't pay for Ferraris. They don't pay for Lambos. They don't pay for expensive trips. Dudes pay for that shit. Right. Most of the time. Some girls pay for it, but most don't. So I'm going to assume she's a hoe. Just like you see me with a dirty white shirt and baggy jeans. You're going to assume I'm a bum. You but is that saying that you have to dress proper every day because you're not? So if you're a bum, then we should... That's just scenario typing though no, you could be yes. still you still fall yes. in that category yes you even the richest man yourself. barely wears belts sometimes and ties his stuff up with shoestrings that, it's all but, but if you it's didn't, how they value hold on you missed the point if you didn't know that prior you would you wouldn't move off of what you see human beings judge a book by its cover that's how we are we don't have time to sit there and get to know everybody and learn their trials and tribulations and struggles like she said trauma right in an ideal world maybe but no one gives a fuck about your trauma. Nobody cares that you actually paid for your Maldives trip. And nobody cares that I'm wearing a dirty shirt with baggy jeans and I'm multi millionaire They don't give a fuck. Hey, you look like a bum. I'm going to assume you're a bum. I'm going to act accordingly. That's the worst you problem. You look like a hoe. You dress like a hoe. It looks like you're a hoe. I'm going to act accordingly. I'm not going to take you seriously. That's the world that we live in. Women judge a book mm -hmm. by its cover all the time. But y'all get mad when we do the same thing. Because how can you prove otherwise? There you go. I mean, I could sit there and talk to her and get to know her. But am I going to do that all the time? No. You can't give her the benefit of the doubt. Has to be our first impression and representation. Facts. How do you represent yourself? That's how it is. It's all about perception. That's life. It Unfortunately, is. And perception. We all judge a book by its cover. We do. That all is right. a fact. Next. Uh Eric Gatlin. Damn Iron Fresh. I watch your shows, all of them regularly. How the fuck you keep explaining it to these women? I'm losing hair just watching in frustration. <laughs> Ladies, IG or relationship. Keep up God's work, fellas. Okay, that's a good question. I'll go around the table real fast. We'll start here and then work away. Would you prefer an Instagram or a marriageable man making fifty thousand dollars per year? Shoot. Um, I would probably give up my Instagram to have a man. Fifty thousand per year? Yeah. Average guy, five for seven. I would seven? take it. I would take it. Five Whatever. Seven? Okay. I don't care. What about you? Whatever. Average man or Instagram? The average man. Okay. What about you? Average man you or have your to Instagram? Choose between both. No, you yeah, you got to pick between like one of the Instagram. two. Average Instagram. Average man. That will be cool. Not the best looking guy, but average. Or Instagram. Instagram, period. Oh, shit. Okay. Period. What about you? Average man or my Instagram? Yeah. Like, but you said like average man in five foot seven. Yeah, like... five eight, not six eight. Oh. Mm. Uh, I ain't doing she it. Ain't doing it. <laughs> I ain't doing it. What about you? Average man or Instagram? My man. Stop the cap. <laughs> fuck you. Okay. <laughs> so, so fuck you. Okay. 50K per year? Say it again. Uh, Fifty thousand dollars per year? Can just break it slowly. Bitch, I'm fucking done. <laughs> Fifty thousand a year, or your man, <laughs> or your Instagram. Mm. Your Instagram make Good more question. baby. Right. Yeah, your <laughs> Instagram. Nina, Nina, Instagram Nina, can you ask the question in Spanish for her one more time? I understood, no. and I say good question. Okay, so which one is it then? My man. She's She'll go so for a guy that makes less money five Yeah, we can do money together. Stop the cap. But you said earlier you wanted a guy that has money. My man. Stop the cap. That's what she wants. That's what she, she wants. Want man. Man. <laughs> I choose the man. You don't like my She's answers. Colombian, man. Because it contradicts what she said earlier. She said she didn't care about men before, and now all of a sudden men. Ooh. She said she cared about partnership, though. 
She wants a man. So that's what she said. She, she, oh, she like said she cared about man. purity. Literally an hour ago, she was all about, nah, I can be by myself. I don't need she a man, blah, blah, blah. She could be by herself. I never she did said that. She value herself. To value herself, she said she will be by I herself. I never said you never that said I that. don't need a man. Oh, you damn. Only yeah. when you say that he's, he's cheating on me. It's been a cooker. Bro, this is crazy. I think she's yeah. on like another planet. <laughs> yeah, she's on. <laughs> Contradicting herself all over the place. We live in a different planet, for sure. No, you yes. do. No, you do. You I'm and on me. planet Earth. You and me. You're on the You and world. me in a different planet. No, I'm on Earth. Very far. I don't know where you are. Very, very far. You're very somewhere you else. And me. Very far, Mark. You yeah. and me. And you too. And you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Instagram or a marriageable man, average guy. Man, you said marriage. Now you just say yeah, average. marriageable average man. Hey y'all, I'm going to Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. now, what about you? Average man or Instagram? Just y'all me. That's just my man. I mean, is your guy average? No, I'm just saying in general. I just just. Okay. No. What about you? I think that's cap, but that's fine. <laughs> what about you? Um, at the average man. Are you sure? Yes, I don't. I don't really like social media, so I would just shoot the guy or talking. Okay. <laughs> what about you, average man or Instagram? <laughs> average man. That's cap. That's cap. <laughs> well, no, she's been supporting her guy, bro. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my God. They've been sending money back and forth to each other. Uh, He's filling her out. Whole wild service going. Uh, All right, what about you? Um, how do you determine what the average man is? Five foot eight, about five foot seven to, yeah, five foot seven to five foot eight, and making about thirty-seven to fifty k per year, depending on the state. Six feet. Thirty. Don't lie to them. The average man is I'm not gonna, six feet tall. There's still six I'm, feet I'm average man. There is. Instagram. About. Do you, who said there's still six, average men that are six feet tall? I did. Are you aware of the fact that <laughs> average the average, average man is the majority? <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I mean, I, I guess. Stupid. But it's like, no, some, some guys really Yo. could be six feet and they're the most average, stupid, like people. I think you just need no, to No, he's talking about like more looking. typical. There's more five, eight men than there is six right. feet. Only about 15% of the male population is six feet tall. Okay, okay. We're speaking like. So that's a minority. Yeah, like, Generally uh, speaking. So that, that is by averaging. definition. Okay, I agree percentage with you. Percentage speaking, a averaging. minority. All right, what about you? Average um, man. I'm true. Like, well, no, I'm asking her. She didn't finish. Oh, Sorry. she said Instagram. You go with Instagram? All right. Yeah. What about you? Well, Bronx, I don't know if this counts no, for no, you. No, no, not pass. <laughs> oh, we, but, go ahead. You yeah, would want yeah, I mean, you don't average like, you don't woman? Men, right? so, yeah, yeah, pass, uh, pass. I mean, if yeah, you don't date men, it don't... Yeah, but what if it was, like, just an average just person? Like, I'm making it just general. Like, I've been answering these Thank questions you. by generalizing them, like, a person. Yeah, but the problem is that women don't have the same standards for men that they do for women. In other words, a woman will accept a mediocre chick if she's bisexual. Yeah, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I would... If I'm... Before I take care of a man, I'd rather have a bitch for, the, for that like mm -hmm. I'll provide for her before I provide for her that's, yeah sure. that's what I mean like yeah, if you're exactly. gonna get with a man you're gonna have way higher standards than a chick yeah, right. exactly like if only I was... women could be mediocre not yeah, men yeah. okay the pass. <laughs> <laughs> what about you average man or Instagram the average man okay what about you I'm choosing the gram okay for <laughs> what about you that way that make average your man I just gotta stay home be quiet Thank you. Average yeah. man, I just gotta stay home. Oh no, you gonna have to work, bro. Clean. I gotta work. Yeah, you gotta work. <laughs> you average, 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 average baby. man, you need, you, hey, unless you're okay on like 40, 50 K a year. <laughs> Y'all ain't going on Yo, no vacation. See, without that you Instagram. Ain't going on no vacation. Yeah, you ain't going on no vacation. You're asking to pull the rest of your life. So which one is it, average man or Instagram? No vacations for you. <laughs> that Instagram make your bread. Average right. man or Instagram, uh -huh. which one? Definitely not forever. I'm asking her. Social media ain't forever, I'll take average man. Okay. You said I know, oh, but yeah. All right, AMS. Uh, Potter looking feminine. Oh wait, crop top with boobs out. Okay, come be come humble, humble with me, baby. baby. Ah, what? What? Wow. Yo, do we got those IGs ready, Chris? Who's the oh, Potter? Yeah. Who's All the right. crop top? Who's right. the Potter? Oh, I, think I don't even have to. Uh, <laughs> Joker can dance. Fifty bucks, ladies. Why don't you believe being a mother is bringing something to the table? For some reason, every one of you forgot how critical having you at home was to our survival as a species. Yeah, and not only one girl said being a mom. And that's after she had a child that she realized that. You don't want to date single that. mother, so why would that be something that would... No, but just having it in your you, like, just having it in you, like, the quality of, of motherhood. We asked, like... what would you bring to the table to a high-value man? <laughs> None of you said being yeah. a good mother that will be there because for the child. Because what is me being a mother to my child that's not his child do for him? Because eventually, like, if a man's with you, he wants to have a family and have wrong. a child with you. Not you necessarily. Yeah, you're well, myself. I'm, I don't I'm have just saying, children. just earlier, your your answers were there. Well, keep in mind, keep in mind that when we had that discussion, we didn't know you were a single mom at that yeah, point. Yeah, we didn't know. Mm. 
Nice try, though. I mean, that's not your business. Yeah, and well, also, I'm just saying. So when we asked it, we asked it in hindsight as far as like, what would you bring to the table to that man? You could have said, I would be a good mother, etc. We didn't know you were a single mom back then. Now we know. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, <laughs> Anthony Melendez. Ladies, in the context of relationship, can you define what is a man and if, if who you describe is who you've dated? Mm-hmm. Uh, rephrase what is what? a man he's saying what Confused. is a man I mean, bro they could Have barely you tell you what men wanted bro i don't think they're gonna be able to tell you that uh w nina she's a great translator we need more of this fnf latin edition now nah, man I'm, I'm losing brain cells with it uh ams the fact that so many women have their notch count on their phone is telling in itself any other girls have their uh body counts on their phones hey no. i just want to know like i just really want to know i just want to know <laughs> okay uh, yo okay so who said that their wife material again Raise your hands. All right, let's start pulling up oh, these IGs. I saw Go like, ahead, Chris. Whoa. Let's do it. All right, so who's uh, Chelsea? I'm Chelsea, but I, I, my hand is down. Right, like, cool. I, I ain't have my, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my hand. I got to work on right. myself. Who's up next? <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. All right, so let me see. I'll pull it up, and then you tell me. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Here we go. So who who, who's this? That's me. That's me. That's Hennessy. Okay. <laughs> so Hennessy said she's wife material. Let's go ahead and scroll through. She on a jet ski? Yes, ma'am. Oh man, Jesus Christ! Whose cars are those? Definitely my. Rookie. All right, let's see what the audience thinks. It's called a rent audience. Rent. If she's for the streets, hit one. If she thinks she's white material, hit two. Let's see what the audience says. We got... I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. I'm a okay, artist. Okay, let's see what the audience says. So it's not a private account. It's a business. Oh, okay, sure. It's a business. Period. Uh, okay, resounding ones. Uh, Period. They think That's you are my for highlights. The okay. Tell them. Well, Definitely not for the streets, baby. That was easy. Okay. <laughs> it's proof in the pudding. No, well, the audience is saying one, so they all they all think Fuck that you're the for the audience. streets. Even though there ain't streets. no proof that I'm for the streets. That's, oh, that's the fact. Okay, now who's up next? This is who's you. Up? Okay, you think you're white material too? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's scroll down on this. All right. Funny though. All right, uh, chat. Give us ones if y'all think she's for the streets. Two if you guys think she's white material. She's beautiful. That's not the question. <laughs> hey, I'd wife us. Are you a man? You're not a man. No. So your opinions right. are relevant. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Okay. Let's see what the street what they say. Where you see Once. what they say? Uh, right here, which is a bunch of ones. Okay. They think you're for the streets too. <laughs> Who's that? That's her right there. She don't look like her pictures, right? Yo, this is really crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo. Okay. And ladies, here's the thing. We got 15,000. Oh, 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 damn. Okay. Sexy, wait, can uh, I? Who's this? Hey, we real. just said next door for fun. Wait, who this? Yeah, who? That's right here. That's all right here. Shit. Who? Click on it. Who? That's single mama right it. here. That's single mama. Oh, this is right. single mom? No, it ain't. Yeah, that is. Yes, it is. That's definitely That's her right there. What the fuck, bro? I can't. The internet, man. Chat. Don't blame me when I'm finna go to the platform. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Uh, let's see what they say. Okay, that's a once for you as well. Okay, they're saying you're for the streets also. Okay, god damn. Uh, you know what's funny? Shouldn't got two pictures, but you're for the streets. <laughs> Right there. Yo, okay, what the fuck? shit. She yo, look good there, though. Yo, I look like your pictures. Yes, I do. Don't do that. I ain't gonna lie. She's she all right. Yo, Chris, she pull right. up her picture again. Oh, oh the only pull up her picture again. Pull up oh, that one. Okay, now hit camera six, nigga. She look right, right? Yo, come no, on, man. Right. Is that the same girl? <laughs> what? <laughs> yo, that's because that has makeup and stuff on. I don't have makeup on right now. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. yo, oh, man. All right. Uh, she look awesome. rizzy, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Let's scroll down here. Let's see uh if the key is um Guys, one in the chat if you think she's oh, oh, the car, in the car that's faster than yours, unless it's a land bike. Look at the dump truck, click right there, stop. Yo, click on the Mustang, it shows my dump truck. No, 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 no. That's right. 
So, so far, every single girl that we've shown has gotten a one for uh for streets. This right here, she can do it. What is a one mean? I'm a boring person. All right, let's see this girl here. That's me. This is my Wifey. She's wifey. wifey. She even has some vegetables. Oh, vegetables. Yeah. Let's see. Let's she see. Gets, okay. <laughs> No, she for free. She give no, she give it one. Stop playing with her. Yeah, she oh, wifey, man. Hey, listen, she she only betrayed us too. Yes, yeah. all my family. Right. You, you can betray us too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The chat, the chat is, uh, chat is giving her twos. Couple niggas gave zero, which is hilarious, but that's a whole other thing. That's the one. That's the one. Not me, that's my client. I do copy okay, my uh, let's see. I already know what the chat's gonna say on this one. One <laughs> or two in the chat, one or two for the streets, guys. I didn't say I was a white yet. Here you Oh, that's her next to you. Okay, so she said she's white material too. All right, let's scroll down. Let's see if she's white material, guys. Give me one in the chat. Y'all think she white material? Sorry, streets or white material is two. They said zero. What? It's crazy. <laughs> one. They said one. Let's see Man, here. she like wife to me. She look like she yeah. wife. She look she alive. Ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> they don't care about your opinion. Oh. This is the men. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one cares what y'all think. All right. Uh, okay, one. Somebody all right, so all they're, the they're giving you streets as well. Not the streets. Down. Streets. Okay. Uh, and then who was last? Was there one more? I'm giving... Oh, okay. Hold on. So, private? Who's, whose Instagram is this as private? That's Hers. me. Smart <laughs> woman. Okay. The smartest uh, one at the table. Okay. I wish you could see my photos, right. though. It's on so my private, baby. Private. Okay. They're going to give two here. Yeah, she snapped. She snapped. Okay. <laughs> There's my small business in my bio, by the way. I make jewelry. Okay. Period. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure none of the guys will buy it, but let's keep going. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, who's up next here? Who's the last one? Who's that? Uh... Oh, that's, that's top that's, model. That's me. That's, that's top, top model. model. Okay, then. All right, Columbia. Uh, guys, give a one in the chat if you think mm -hmm. she's for the streets it's or pretty. two if you would uh, wipe she's her. She's working out. She's the modeling. She got a wedding let's dress. See. Ooh. Wedding dress, but I ain't married. I don't wipe the material. That's just my job. That must have been for Halloween. Huh? She got a private jet? She got a private jet? Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, they give a one. That's a top model. That's why a top model. That's Zero means they're not attractive. That's fine. No. She's very pretty. You look beautiful, baby. They're giving ones here in the chat. They're hating. Oh, she's very pretty. So I know. Said, how much yeah, per hour? Pretty. <laughs> how much per hour? I'm fucking weird. Hey, I'll pay no. for that. <laughs> so, no, no. I she said, she was, baby. She's beautiful. You were at the car show. I remember now. She's not studying. Again? You were at the car show one time. Which one? In for another on yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wore with them. Yeah, yeah I remember now. Okay. I should remember where, where Nora from. Okay. I wore with Paz, with Paz All right. So, uh, yeah. ladies, of uh, all of you guys <laughs> that we showed your Instagrams that thought you were wife material, uh, the chat pretty much said that it doesn't give off wife material vibes. They're like, ain't for my. So what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't show everybody's um. Yeah. Because only some of you raised your hand, raised your hand. I didn't I raise, raise my hand. I raised my hand. She raised her hand. Y'all still put her shit in your Right. Y'all still. We have I mean, I mean, here's the thing. What we have more? Uh, three more. Yeah. Three more. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we always yeah. Like, this a lesbian. Uh, that's a wife. No, 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 no. That's, that's a wife. Uh, that's why. Who's this? That's that's, that's right. Right. On the couch. Yeah. Oh. Right here. The artist. Let him talk. All right, okay. one in the My chat. Instagram if you guys think she's white too. material, I'm sorry. What one in the chat? If you guys think she's streets. Two in the street, uh, chat. If you guys think she is white material, let's see what they say. Okay, we got a two. We got a two. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got one, two, baby. You got two and Her. zeros. She's got some twos. Dang, twos. That's crazy. It's given two. Right. Abundance, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I think they're giving two in contrast to the craziness. Yeah. Yeah. That's me right here. That's me. I'm wife. All right, next. He said a 1.5. Oh, that's Why? me. Why <laughs> 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 like that? Why would you me like that? Why would you me like that? That's me. I didn't expect that. Oh, fitness. They're giving her... Ooh, right, let's next, watch uh, that. Who's that? That's me. He's saying one, though. He's ugly and he's talking about one, 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 one. Ladies, remember the question wasn't 
oh, is the guy that's judging you attractive? The question is, I know, based I'm just on her Instagram, that. does this girl give you wife material vibes or streets vibes? And most of you guys gave street vibes, unfortunately. I'm just I saying, street though, vibes if they too? could talk shit, they could take <laughs> it back. Yeah, bro, I could take it too. Bro, I'm the so girl excited. Out street <laughs> to your podcast because you brought us like a hood rats. What? Take here. accountability for your Instagram, bro. Like, what? Oh, God, God damn. <laughs> like, what do you, what do you, you mean? You looked like, away. You chose it up. I you said, okay. It. I didn't look I'm not good. saying you. I'm saying y'all oh, as a podcast. Somebody said, said y'all, 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 no, y'all. And then, then we got here. <laughs> yeah, you on the screen. You're accountable. That was Chris. That was I Chris. mean, it doesn't change the fact that you, your Instagram gives off like street vibes. Like, I mean, that doesn't change anything. But what if I like, like how you tried to deflect there? But that doesn't change the fact. Like, but my Instagram is, is, to, is to promote business. Like, all you saw was pay for this and guns. Yeah, like, street make money. Yes. Street I'm going to be honest with you. What sales? Honestly speaking, that shit's trash. If you want business help, I got you. <laughs> okay, well, so Cole Fitness and Guns. Your qu- I, image, I got you. The image quality is terrible. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I got an Android. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I'll link with you, Fresh. I'll link with you, Fresh. I charge, by the way. Okay, hey, I got the money. A thousand an hour. <laughs> I got the okay, money. Let's go. Uh, okay, yeah. Dub, right side said, uh, they, they're not getting wiped. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think girls understand, though. Like, yo, guys really do judge you off your Instagram, though. I'm not trying to lie to y'all. Like, no, that is they do. Oh, they do. Okay, okay, but pictures? they be hit you up off the Instagram, and that's how yeah, you get, like, sex. most of the play. So. For sex. Like, for, for example. Sex. It be either here nor there. But, for example, like, look at Laura London Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, she don't, she don't have no provocative posts, nothing. Like, she... Acts like a young lady, like a lady. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Like... She got tired of getting dogged out by rappers. <laughs> <laughs> she, she started with the shitheads. Look yeah, how many she started, she started doing at... that dumb shit and realized, damn, if she I put my sexuality first, Wayne. men are gonna take me. Look at yeah. China. She deleted her OnlyFans, got yeah. baptized. She, she called no herself person. Angela she Wayne. Wayne. She That's all they have tattoo and all that. Face fill is all Nobody that. can be she, a city girl forever. A lot of them waking Man, up. She saved. But at that point, it's too late to come back. <laughs> right. But if yeah. you yeah. wake yeah. up yeah. once yeah. a whole, yeah. like, like for Amber no, Rose, it's definitely late. Like, like, oh, yeah. And Black Twitter. Once a whole, your whole can get deleted. Your whole can get deleted. Your whole can never get deleted. Your whole never get deleted. Let's play a game. The game is let's play, spend two more hours here. I like cool. Games. No, yeah. fresh tomorrow. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I will say this. Let me ask this two real quick, ladies. No, no, no. <laughs> if you had a whole pass, do you think you can recover and get men to take you seriously? No, yes a whole no? pass, like yes a whole no. pass, like no. I went down the hallway for my whole pass. I'm gonna say no. Dre said your whole list can get deleted. I'm gonna go with what Dre said. So you think your past can, you can still fix your past? Like a guy will take um, a Lil Wayne said, I don't care if you was a prizes too. I don't <laughs> care if you <laughs> had every year. Uh, I'm moving on. <laughs> what about you? Do you think your past, do you think as a woman, if you used to be a hoe, you can still. If you do like long, long hard work to fix yourself, then yeah, but I no, really the don't think is, so. You think men will? No. Okay. What about you? Hell no. No? Yeah. What about you? <laughs> if I move to another state, yeah. <laughs> But the question is, assuming the man knows your past, eh. oh, you yeah, know. serious. depending know. on the type of man he is, I'll just say that. <laughs> <What about laughs> you? He's you never gonna trust you. It don't matter what you. man it is. All right, Columbia, what about you? Do you think if a uh, man knows that you used to be a hoe, that you'll be taken seriously ever? Yes. Okay. Because and he's never gonna trust but, you. Be, why? Because what? Yeah, because this past makes this woman today. Ow. So it's worth it. Boom. To you, not to him. <laughs> <laughs> Smartest thing you've said all day. Okay. What about you? No. No? No. Why not? Will they take you serious? Yeah. I, I, just like you said in the beginning, you judge a book by its cover. So if you have that entitlement or that thought, it's there registered. There's no take back. That's like saying you do something, it, you're always going to judge a book by its cover. So yeah. therefore, are your you okay are with healthy. limiting your ability to find a man with your OnlyFans a profession that you chose in a scrim? I mean, I don't care. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. okay. <laughs> like, I don't care enough. All right. Fuck. Oh, fuck. What about you? Do you think it's a girl can, uh, if a man knows her past and she came with a past, you interested, it, though. can we fix? <laughs> I mean, so uh, what, I'm interested. I, you make an eye contact with me across the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was talking to you, so I don't want to look at you when I talk to you. It would be awkward if I looked at the camera while I'm talking to you. Is it, is it strange? Why would you choose it, Myron? Yeah, Myron, two signals. Two okay. signals, Myron. Yeah, I mean, I guess making eye contact and speaking uh, to someone is weird. Yeah, what but, about you? Uh, I was just saying, nah, because I mean, a guy <laughs> likes a woman with 
less experience. The less experience, the better. Shit. Okay. What about you? Um, no. Damn. What about you? Not at all. So why are you flexing your trauma? <laughs> <laughs> because my trauma has nothing to do with my wholeness. I don't fuck niggas. That has nothing to do Not with my trauma. trauma. Stop the cow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, fantastic. What about you? No. No? Okay. <laughs> what, the question is, do you think a guy will take you seriously or give you a chance if you knew that you were a hoe in the past? Most of the I- time. I don't think I don't think so because even if a guy will, will, will be willing to take that step with you, he's still not going to trust you and he's still going to lack some respect because at the back of his mind, he's going to have the idea mm-hmm. okay. about you being a hoe. All right. What about you? No. No. Damn. What about you? <laughs> nah, because if I hear something about him, I'm not about to take him serious either. So what would you hear about him that would make you say I'm not going to take him if seriously? He's a hoe. Mm. Oh, you wouldn't date a guy that fucked a bunch of chicks? You wouldn't even Stop know. The cow. You Stop would the not cow. even know he's a whore or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you okay, know. he could probably lie about it, sure. But if I hear something like about him from other people or everybody keeps saying it, then I'm not about to take him serious either. Really? What if he's a nah, great man? Some guys go through their whole phase. What if he's a they great some, man? Okay, to each their own. That's y'all. That's you y'all. still got to be like, I heard this phase. about him and he's a great man, but I don't want him? You might want him, but he's not a great man to me no more. Okay. That's your sure. opinion. All right, you know what? Let me ask you a question. Let's go into a dream world. One person's trash is another person's treasure. Period. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. I take it. You're, you're I a musician, it. you said, right? Yeah. All right, let's say you get with a guy and he's a musician as well. You're a dream man, right? Attractive, makes money, takes care of you, all that, right? And you guys go on a five-year anniversary trip to where you guys met in, let's say, Los Angeles, right? Both of you guys kicked off your music career there. And he gets down on one knee and proposes to you. And you're like, damn. And then after he proposes to you, right, you end up going through his phone. And you're, you know, it's the best day of your life. And you go through his phone and you find out that he fucked 10 bitches in a porno uh, five years ago. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Are you going to go ahead and be... call up that wedding with that dream man finding out that he fucked 10 bitches I... five years ago before you? I wouldn't be oblivious for five years, but I'll say if it was five years in deep, then no, I'm not going to care. But oh. I'm talking about offer a Okay, now let's switch it around the other way. Let's say he finds a video of you fucking five niggas. Oh. You think he's going to stick with you? Mm. Hell no. no. Hell, hell no. no. Hell no. Okay. Just like I answered no. multiple no. questions. No, 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 but, okay, okay, but that, that's what I'm trying to prove here. Women right, in general, no. hold on. Women in general don't care about a man's sexual past assuming he's not gay. Men, however, do care about a woman's sexual past. That's mm. my point. I answered no to the question, but some women, I would say. so. My, theory, my, my example just proved that you don't care about it either. <laughs> if I was five years deep, then I'm not going to care, but I'm not going to be oblivious for five years. I'm definitely going to find out before that. You do realize that if you meet a charming man that's attractive and is like does everything right, that he's fucked a bunch of bitches, right? Mm. Maybe. No, the answer no, is yes. It means yes. Of course he has. Everybody's not the same. Bro. Bro. <laughs> he has the experience. Are you aware? Well, you probably aren't, but mm. guys that get girls are rare. Okay. Do you fuck most guys you talk to? Definitely not. Right. Maybe they're weird. They're awkward. They're not charming. They're not charismatic. They're boring. They stink. Right? Stink. Something wrong with them. <laughs> correct? Okay. So. So only a minority of men are attractive, right? Yeah. So if a minority of men are attractive, that means most girls are dealing with the same guys. Okay. Like, it's just the math. Like, just think about it. If a dude is charming and attractive. You to disagree. I'm saying you cool. No, I'm just saying, like, does it, like. What you're saying doesn't drive up with reality. Like, oh, I wouldn't. No, I'm just saying that's me personally. That like, if I heard something about a guy off rip, like, I'm not gonna fuck with him. Interesting. You say that, but that's cap. That's one thousand percent cap. If Future walked in this room right now, you fuck him. Hell no. <laughs> I don't know where that shit been at. <laughs> Hell no. I already know Future. No, no, no. Oh, you know him? Oh, okay. No, I'm saying like we all already know. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Have you met him before? That's not what I said. Mm. Why are you trying to put words in my mouth? How do you know him then? I'm just saying we all know Future Ben with everybody. Bro, he if, he, if be he walked in this room right now, you would switch up. Pretty much. Drake too. Yep. Nah, Drake. Yep. I value yeah, myself. Yeah, I respect yeah, myself. Smiling and I shit. stand on my morals and what I think for okay, myself yeah, okay, and my okay. life. Are you, are you still single? Yeah. You artists? Come on, man. Y'all just must not have met some good women. I think that's... Uh, oh, no, it's just that right. y'all be capping, bro. Yeah, oh, I want a guy that fucks bitches. Yes, you do. Stop, man. Men that can fuck uh, girls crazy. are attractive, bro. Yeah, men no good women. Anyway, we already proved it with my analogy that she would still fuck with that guy. Even after she found out he was fucking bitches. Um, also, I don't know if y'all noticed, but the two blonde hillbilly chicks are plants. Obviously, came on just to be contrarians. 
What is a <laughs> okay, first of what all, what is a First of, first of all, all yeah, y'all. She had to beg me to come on here. I wasn't even gonna <laughs> come. <laughs> Hold on. Second of all, and I am a hillbilly. In your profile picture, you might look like you might be Caucasian. You're probably mad because I said I don't fuck white men. Okay. It's a Spanish name, though. It's a good person. Angel Cardenas. He's a good person. All right. Okay. Someone doesn't study geography. Cardenas right. doesn't mean anything. We know somebody. You mean Chris Cardenas. And he's white. Angel Cardenas is one of the most Hispanic names ever. Yeah. Well, I know somebody with Cardenas as the last name, too, and he's white as ever. He might look. He actually might be Hispanic. You, you, just you can judge somebody by their name. He's not Hispanic. Are you one of those black Hispanics that look Caucasian but they're not? He's white. I know that. There's Cubans that literally look like white people. They are. Colombians, too. Mexicans, like. There's a lot yes, of them that Jamaicans look, look white, too, and they, <laughs> you know, they Jamaican. All right, next. Uh, speak the Spanish. Nature's chill. As a young woman who's getting married very soon, I feel for men out there when I watch FNF, whatever, these 304s don't understand what men want at all, and no women on earth can take care of a man long term. Love FNF. By the way, Marin has a very attractive mindset. Wait, hold on. You got married? She got ass out of her picture. She got ass out of her picture. She got ass out of her picture. Call it bitches 304. She got ass out of her picture. She got ass out of her picture. Are you going to respond to her shooting her shot? Or is it? Because that's not what we're talking about right now. She's got an attractive mindset. That's all. She was smiling. 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 What the heart shit on that? All right. Allegedly. So, Allegedly. Appreciate that. And then Zoe again. Did OF Zoe? Did OF and found your podcast? Just bought your book, Myron. You've changed my mindset drastically. Shout out to y'all. Uh, I plan to quit OF as soon as I can. Replace my income to pay my bills for my daughter and I. That's the cat. Hey man, let's glad see. that you're switching up. But let's see how long that takes. Let's see what happens. Uh, topic to discuss. F and F. Thank you for opening my eyes to these three hundred fours who deserve less. I am now making one hundred ten over one hundred ten k a year and lost fifty pounds. I'll be spreading the knowledge of male worth and non simping to three hundred fours. P.S. Zena, you are so beautiful. Good Lord. Who's the... Uh, you say it right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, AJ A1 goes, Man, I think you'd get uh, the point across a lot easier if you bring up the fact that guys lie about their body count being higher while women do the opposite in that regard because they know their purity is what's important while it's uh, different for men. Uh, well, no, I think I described that earlier when I asked them their body counts and they were uncomfortable. Ace, these three or fours have seen more boxes fall than Mike Tyson, Tyson in his prime. prime. Yikes. Or more boxers fall. Boxers. Oh, okay. I see what you did there. Leonard Firestone, this is for F and F having to deal with this panel tonight. SMH, stay strong, G's. Leonard! Yo, my Shout out to you, Part of CEO Network. He said, That's Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I touched your soul with that one, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we heard Cubano you say. Or Colombiano. We heard Cubano. you say. Come back with some more money. For more yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> Cash at me. <laughs> Directly, baby. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. We got here. Who's up next? Rumble. Rumble. Uh, okay. Shout out to our Rumble people. Uh, Rumble. Lowest IQ panel ever. God damn. Myron, I hope you don't lose your hair from this shit. It's too late, bro. <laughs> I lost my hair already. Too late. HK, W stream, WFNF. Missed you guys. Fresh W blogs. Thanks, bro. Cool. And then the last one, Xena boy, 420 to the 304 two for Myron. Just because you engage, I don't mean you. Uh, okay. Uh, Fine, God. That's crazy. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, just because you're engaged now doesn't mean you didn't have a basket. Yo, you're a savage, my guy. Wow. Wait, who are you talking Yo, to? Wow. Who are you talking to? He's talking to her. He's the only one engaged. Wait, but, but wait, the oh, man that you're with. Oh, he was talking to the comments. The man that you're with, that's his kid, right? Yeah. Oh. I'm like not understanding this. Right. You don't have to. No, father. Child on the web block. No? It means a fatherless child. Yeah. But she, but I'm saying that the, the, well, the, he means yeah, no, oh, yeah. I I had had it. It. He's saying just because you're engaged doesn't mean that, like, I guess you're that you don't yeah. have a bastard yeah. child. But, yeah. but she's saying that, I that she's like, engaged to God. is like, a child. I'm yeah. good on this side. Yeah, so. but she, he's basically saying, like, the, you that doesn't mean that Danny the man could leave you. Like, your man could leave you is what Danny he's saying. Try. He, he definitely tried. He definitely tried. Yeah, yeah, it's literally not that deep. Like, I'm not like, <laughs> not it's not personal. It's no, no, like, no, no. Your shit, but by definition, he, he is right, though, because that means your kid is a bastard. No, bastard means a bastard. No, if a kid is made out of wedlock, it means like, yeah, by definition, a bastard. Yeah, saying. that's what they that consider what, I, thought it was, I thought it was uh, it was fatherless. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's out of wedlock. It's fatherless. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Okay. It's a Christian term. Oh, that's like that fine. Get married, bro. Back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. Back, in the day yeah. back in the day, they would, in the day, they would kill bastard children. So basically, they have to be before they have married. Ma- after yeah. marriage, yes. they have to be born after like marriage. Your honeymoon is when you can have sex. Okay, guys, in the Fair chat, enough. this was a great show. We're gonna end it here. And um, mm-hmm. no thank you. No, nah. that was stupid. <laughs> that, on, last, that, that was a right stupid right That was a stupid I just say one more thing. Fresh, do a last thoughts because today it was afternoon show, so the girls came here. What'd you say? Right. All right. Last thoughts. Do last thoughts. Take a fresh one. No, 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 no. Hold on a second here. This nigga's rushing me to end the show, Chris. So, L, Chris. Because you, nigga. I know. Go ahead. All right. We'll start with the couch. Uh, give your last thoughts uh, or disagreements or opinions, whatever it is. We'll start with uh, with you. Um, same thing I always say, really. It's, a, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for putting us on, you know, and feminism. <laughs> Profound. What about you, Miss? I don't like guys that get around. Yes, um, I'm gonna say follow me on the gram if you like cool music. Um, that's it. Fantastic. Thanks what about you? Oh, thank you for having me. I had a really good time. For real? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn. All right. What about you? I would say. <laughs> yeah, listen, y'all. Stop trying to fucking play me, you man. Because I was about to say some shit. I was about no. to say. Okay. okay well, no, no, no. Stay no, you're fine. You're fine. Go ahead. It doesn't matter what you <laughs> You know what? Since it don't matter sense. what I think, I was gonna say, women stay open minded. Thanks for having me. Following the oh. gram, shop Subi. Alright, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I just want to say thanks y'all for having me. You guys stupid. are great. I, I feel like show. I got y'all some, stupid. Some was that really you on Instagram? No, no, you got that. You got yes, that. that's me on you Instagram. Got Stop doing that. Because right. what do you look like on Instagram? Oh, y'all follow like my Instagram. Look at cat. I would say I look like my pictures. <laughs> probably there's not. not much DMV, you, there's not pro- much difference. We probably can't see your gray hair in your Instagram. Wow. You actually can, wow. I think. Whoa. Yeah. You actually can. Mm. Yeah. Do you like oh, no. fish? Gray hair is attractive. The grays are sexy. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Gray hair is good for men. Do you like fish? I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you like fish? Yes. Mm. You like catfish? Okay. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. This guy, bro. Oh, did, wait, did you have anything else that you had for that? No, I don't. Yeah, fantastic. What about you? Did you learn anything? Um, Who's saying that? Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Who's saying this? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Okay. Follow me on Instagram. That's all. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Did you what did you me? learn? None. I learned a lot. <laughs> what about did you learn? To be quiet. <laughs> One thing. Okay. That what you learned. Come on, Chris. Stop. I learned a lot about men. What did you learn the most? What's the most important thing you learned? I'm like, I'm gonna keep it at that. Thanks for coming. Fantastic. Learn nothing. What about you? Um, thanks for having me. Oh, she was here. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all stupid. Yes, I was here the whole time. Every time I try to talk. It was just everybody was talking, so I was... all right. Now, nigga, really? Can... You didn't, I didn't see you put your hand in here, nigga. You looked at me like many times when I raised my hand to talk, and then you just was like, Okay, <laughs> how many times? <laughs> Hold on, yeah, how many times did I say, Okay, did someone else have something? And you didn't say nothing. Yeah, facts. There were plenty of times. I, I mean, remember I vividly. raised my hand, but then it's like everybody just went past the topic already, so it was no point for me to go ahead and say what I had to say. Be more aggressive. Nigga, we didn't see your hand. Hey. No. Aggressive. There were so many times where I said, Okay, anybody else had something on the topic? And we were on I the topic. I had to call on you to talk. And you would be like, You didn't just say nothing. Well, yeah, because then Mama. after. Y'all talked about the topic. It was pointless for me to say what I had to say. All right. Okay. I definitely gave opportunities. You just didn't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you? What about you? I mean, yeah, shit. I learned a lot about a guy's mindset towards, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. different mindsets and shit. Yo, she was mad when I put up her Instagram. Yeah, yeah. She, like that, she did not like that shit. Shit, nah, y'all. Nah, 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 Thanks, guys, for having me. It's been a nice shit show. I'm glad to be a part of it. <laughs> well, my IQ to... did not drop. I've always thought like a man. I came hey, in here y'all. confident in this. Hey, y'all. If you think like a man, then why would you say men care about independent women? Do, do men stupid. do not want just not to watch the stupid word? Nonsense. Men do not want an uneducated woman. What does that have to do with being independent? 
independence comes from it, knowledge. You can't just be independent with no knowledge. No dumbass is independent. There's they're, plenty of women that are independent very, that aren't educated. Yep. And there's plenty of women that are educated that aren't independent. 100%. Okay, now we're going on IQ drops. What? What? Uh, what? It's, common, it's common sense. <laughs> What? what there's what? different what? types of knowledge yeah you're literally now you're just pulling iqs out of that no because you're trying to conflate someone being educated while also them being independent and i'm arguing that someone can be educated and not be independent all right you're, okay but there's, there's plenty of girls that have bachelor's degrees that are educated but they're not independent they have no common sense but there's also a bunch of girls that have no degree and are independent very codependent you don't have a degree you're independent right i mean i have a cosmetology degree yeah <laughs> no but you don't have a bachelor's degree you're not <laughs> educated not a in bachelor's the traditional degree. sense but you're independent correct <laughs> she just dissed you Slow Never. it down. She I mean, do. Yeah, like I'm slow it down. down. We're just you're still pulling IQ. She said being independent still comes with IQ? education. I am. I pulled the IQ card. I pulled the school card. Now we're all just going on who went to college. That has nothing to do with your IQ either. It doesn't. So what are you bring up? We, we, hi, 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 hi. Hi. Stupid. Let's <laughs> 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 restart this intro. This is an ending, <laughs> not an intro. Y'all are starting a whole outro. new topic on me. So get us yeah, out of here. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of here. Adios, amigos. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest, man. Yeah. Only women get the privilege of being dumb, bro. No offense. Hey, you look cute while doing it. Holy! Yeah, yeah, thanks, bro, yeah. as a man, yeah. if you're dumb, you shit. are fucked. It don't matter how good looking you are as a dude, bro. As a chick, they could be dumb and still make okay. it through life. Yeah. Alright, what about you? Speed up, dumb. I think the war need more love and we need to accept each other and we need to respect each other. That's my opinion. Oh, Thank bless you so much. Bless you. Bro, you don't respect broke ugly niggas, man. Stop, man. Stop. Girl, you? Say, she, she thinks she had a pageant again. She just like, oh, you, you leaving? Uh, something no. else? Oh yeah, no, no, it's her, her turn. Oh, okay. I just want to say thank you guys for having me. Follow me on Instagram. I'll teach you how to climb a pole while shooting an AK forty-seven. Oh, okay. 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 Follow me. Okay. Bro. Hello. Oh, oh, Chelsea ninety five five six. Green okay. two. Abdul, get the rocks. <laughs> what the hell? What about you? I believe we can all learn from each other. Columbia, if you want to go, you can leave. But this is the last opinion, no? Yeah, yeah but, but like, I mean, you're like, yeah, the, 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 the girls aren't leaving. The yeah, girls like, before you haven't left. So why are you, why are you getting up first? Why are you sound man? Italian? You got me. I mean, why are you getting up first? Here, you can leave. Yeah, yeah. Why are you getting up first? If you don't want to, if you don't want to be here, you can Italian, leave. It's totally no. cool. We don't want anyone to feel forced or obligated to stay. No, no, it's not forced. I think it's the last okay. opinion. So it's okay. Two, we got two okay, minutes. Well, hold on. Just wait for these people okay. to go. Yeah, we got two minutes. What the fuck? I believe we can all learn from each other if we practice self-awareness. I Period. I can fly. <laughs> Period. Y'all follow me. Are you, are you, are you, you consider yourself self-aware? Very much. Hell no. I would argue. To <laughs> Very the much. Everything I ever did was on purpose. Yo, Hennessy. <laughs> so you dropped out of high school on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Very much, and I'm paid. <laughs> Legally? <laughs> every legally. <laughs> she said every legal, every legal way. Definitely unaware, but okay. Allegedly. That's why I went to school for business. Yes, ma'am. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought you said you dropped out. Yeah, you, you dropped went out. to school for business? It doesn't matter. You can learn what you need. You don't need knowledge to Period. start fresh. a business. Come on, fresh. I'm sorry true. to tell you this. You if you need to go to school for business, <laughs> you're not a business woman. <laughs> I'm just saying that right now. You can go to go school ahead. for business and still learn tools. Period. Yeah, fresh. Period. 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 Period, Pooh. I would just like to say to that guy that commented, um, oh, my parents got married two months oh. after oh. having me, and that makes me a bastard child, but they're going 30 <laughs> years strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay. So I have faith in my baby. relationship. Shout out to all the bastards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were right. Same. I was thinking about it the whole time. Can I say one more thing though? Like besides yeah. that. But to to be fair, most of us are bastards though. Yeah. 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 We, we all <laughs> bastards. I would just Not like me. to say that I had a great night and I really appreciated this opportunity. It was really fun you to hear energy. all of you guys talk. Shout to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for contributing. I'm sure your man is happy with you as well. Hopefully. I just want to say I agree with earlier. I think that we could all learn from the collective. Like, we're all connected. No, we're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> What'd you learn then today? Um, <laughs> don't do that. Good no I came with a knowledge today, okay? I was spit facts. So... What did you, mean, you spit those you facts? Made bold statements that were kind of off edge, and I don't know where you're going Everything with them. But... I said made sense. Okay, what did you say that was spitting facts? Um, I had said one thing that was like that 
you know, it's an equivalent challenge with the men and the women. Because if I go out, I'm gonna get out. Anyways, um, I mean, you my said Instagram, you can't remember. My Instagram is star cvvs. That's all I got to say. She can't remember what she said. <laughs> we. She I'm not going down a monologue about what I said. Y'all can watch it back. You said it. <laughs> watch it back. You said it. You can't remember. Watch it back. She hit back. She hit back. Watch it back. <laughs> watch it back. 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 Okay, we got a show on Wednesday, man. Guys, get your oh, money up, man. man. <laughs> so, so you don't gotta tolerate it's this. It's up. Okay. <laughs> this ridiculous, bro. We need that money. Oh, this is a great <laughs> show. Yo. Get my book, Why Women Deserve Less, in stores right now. Number one bestseller, hardcover, audible, Kindle. It's all going to be out there. And guys, join the CEO Network. We have Brandon Carter today. We got tomorrow, Pedro McDemi. And then we got Friday, special guests as well, talking to Zoom call. So join our group as well. Cool. We'll catch you guys on Wednesday, Dan Bozerian interview, and uh, another After Hours. We'll catch you guys. Peace. Peace. I ran, I ran so far.